Mamash Senshi. It's time for more Elden Ring. I'm gonna go to Dragon Barrel. That's the idea, at least. Which should mean killing some more dragons and getting some other things. Main thing is there's some things that will only show up at night. Also, I can take off this helmet now. It Honestly, I can just take off this helmet, period. I don't need it. So the big thing is... Hmm, that's not a lot of blue flasks. Big question now... Hmm. So I think the first spot I'll go to... Dragon Bear is just going to be back in deep super well. Once that happens, I think I will... Uh, clear out... A group of... There is a rune bear over this way, who I think I'd like to take out, but I also need to pick up... Change out my spells. Also... Alexander is supposed to be over this area. South of the Korean study hall. Around here somewhere. Somewhat close to Jarburg. Then after that, and... I wonder where my water, water is. Should check. Alexander should be down here, I think. Somewhere around this way. No? Somewhere around here. South from Artist Shack, then, maybe? But... To Alexander. Talk to... Bogger should be able to get some stuff. Progress in a couple of quest lines. Also have Hugh over here. Hello. Let's just do that and come on. Ooh, okay. This Lane Dale Knight is a bit stronger than I remember. Well, whatever. It's probably piercing damage versus slashing making the difference. So is Alexander is somewhere south of the study hall. And I uh, not there. Hmm. Oh, okay. He is around here. There he There he is. Oh me. Could use an oil pot. Hello. See a friendly face. Nice. It's the initial encounter we missed, more or less, over in Limgrave. In an oil pot. Make him slippery. Oh, okay, so this is just the original one. We might even get our... Okay, the wiki... Oh, and he's cracked too. The wiki does not say... Think about this. It says you're supposed to use an oil pod here, so I guess we might get a chance at the emote from the initial first encounter we missed. Hmm. Oh, I think we need to oil him up. Right. So we need to make him slippery. Uh. Okay, so no, I'm wrong. But I might still get the emote, hopefully. Do I have an oil pot already? Slide it more smoothly, slippery. Let's use, let's check. Do I have any oil pots? Growing pot, oil pot. Right, so I do need to make one. And roped oil pot, melted mushroom, and that's simple. Okay. Toss this at him real quick. Oil pot. Soak them in oil. Oil infused. Heavily susceptible to fire damage. Stop. Stop. Please. That's my face. Stop. Should work. He is oiled up now. And will this do it? Oh. Hmm. So do I need to oil him up from this side? 
Interesting. Okay. Ah, and we did get the emote. Nice. Triumphant Delight. Might be able to get all the emotes then. Maybe. Wait, wait. Oh, okay. Gestures. So there's one guy in the bottom of my sword. Let me see. On my sword, I have to calm down after being ensnared. Strength, fall ray, summoning Tregoth. So we need to summon Tregoth in Ruins Room Precipice. That's right. Otherwise, I won't get the casual greeting. Let me just check what other options are. More than thought, finger snap, burning cry, fancy spin. Yeah, and Trumpet Delight can work in Mulgarnia too if you miss Stormhill. Oh, interesting. Huh. Okay, so there's nothing I've missed so far. Hmm. Oslo, Incha. Big thing is summoning Tregoth. There's also the ring gesture from the pre order, which I did not get, obviously, but. So maybe I could try to get that by co oping Maybe. Oops, prayer, desperate prayer. Pass the reds at the very end of that quest line. Two fingers. Inner order, outer order. Totality. Extreme repentance. Cross legs, cross legged. Right in the boiled prawn. So I. Right, and we get one from rebirthing, so we should spend one. Now we gotta remember to use the prawn. Okay, hi! hi. Sword is sharper. As a oh, my oh. Thanks, I'd like you to have this. And okay, we got some meat. Oh, dear me. I'm oilier than a toad. Interesting. Yeah, there were countless oil jars in Jarburg. And now I know what it's like to be one of them. Oh goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to say or Nothing else to say at the moment. Yes. To have a home, though not to return. Look out from atop, drew closer and closer, stuck in the hole. My mockishness. Can I cleave to the past? Gelmir over there. Tempering himself. I wonder how he talks. Oh. Okay, cool. Now I suppose. Oh, and it cost FP to throw that oil pot. That's funky. Huh. So, Jar Baron should be over here. Chat with him. Hello. Anything new? Ah, Hello? You know what a poacher Jar Poacher. They hunt us. Right, Smash for the innards. And then take us away. This village is kept secret. So, oh, I think we're safe here. But you should be careful if you ever meet Oh, I'm not a jar. I hope Uncle Alexander right, mention Alexander first. again. Those awful poachers. So that's been mentioned, so that I should get Diallo's to move here eventually. Those okay. Now we gotta remember to go over to... Bogger. Should be fine. Buy some prawn from him to Press his quest line. Hello. All right, mate. Want some more prawn, do you? Did I buy any? Not sure I ever bought any. Ah. Uh, now we can talk. The guidance of grace. More or less. I can't see it at all. Makes no bloody sense anyway. Why some no-name shithead like me should get caught? It's funny how. Much crassery talks compared to everyone else, really. Yeah. Maybe he's been broke for a good long time. That is actually true, though. Hmm. Should get that gesture. There we go. We can lie down. <laughs> okay. 
He should move over and make boiled crab now. Go back over here. We order our buffs. I don't think we'll ever need order healing again. We didn't, frankly, we didn't even need it once. So. Oh, right, and just do rebirth, rebirth once is a joke. What am I gonna do? Just reorder. What stats could I even reorder? It, well, everything's at 30 now, so I need another level before I can do that, really. Prawn, Pub and Meese, Over Salting, for the Crayfish. No, that matters. Delicious, all the same. Hmm. I. Well, I could get one more level from this. And then just reorder it as a joke. Just to get the gesture. And then. 46,000 more, basically. <laughs> About. 93. Okay, so 24 or so more. Let's use this. This should be good. Almost. And, hmm. Need 36 more. Hmm. Might. Yeah, okay. Bit above, but we'll be fine. So we'll put this into something other than Vigor, and then just reallocate it to Vigor. Sure. Okay. There we go. Could be silly if we wanted to. But I want to be born anew. Sure. Let's do that. And I said I'd never use one of these, and then... Square one, reassign all, can't make attributes any lower than their initial level determined by origin. And, well, if we really wanted to be funny, we could. <laughs> there, there, no purpose in that. It doesn't even increase my magic defense by all that much. It's funny to think. Compared to what I had, so we'll just... There you one. 30, 30, and simple view, detailed view, 30, but yeah, you can't go any lower than original, oh right, cause, right, 26, 25, oh, you, you can't actually, oh, well that's interesting, and, and now we can do this. That just shows what went up and went down. I was confused for a second. Okay, cool. Balled up. That's all. Now. Okay, cool. All right. Well, we we did that. <laughs> Not much of a point to it, but got the emote. Now we just need to remember to summon Tragoth, so I don't. It's the chance of the other one. My spells back around should be fine. Theory, I don't think I'll fight Moog today, but I can reach Moog. So I need a crystal tear from Altus, and I'm not sure I want that immediately. So Blood Flame Blade, Golden Vow. Nice thing is that I can use this even without. Even if I don't have. A rune arc active, now that I've actually got 25 faith at base. That's useful. Then we just put on actual damaging incants. There we go. This somewhere. I Eventually I think that'll be Discus of Light or something, but I don't have access to that quite yet. So I... This is sad. Uh, that's pretty good. Starlight and... Sure, we'll put on the red as great bow. It's cool. Put our... Gilbert Gwynston staff is going to be my best option. But in the end, it, I don't know how much I'll even really be using magic in any real sense. Over here, we got all this. Let's put this on and then take Runebear on. 
Yeah, I wonder how scary this thing is going to end up being. Okay, cool. Hmm. Oh, well, we should probably also take the flask for a bit of defense, because uh, this white rune bear is probably going to be pretty hellish. Oh, yeah, I dodge and cut. Ooh, well, actually, it's not that not that bad. Thanks, and... Hmm. I... Can I... Okay, can I... Okay, interesting. I... Alright, can I... One, and... Oh, well, I... Okay. Okay. Alright. Hmm. Well, I... This is surprisingly not all that bad enough. Okay. Thanks, I... Okay, come on. Heal, heal. And get up. Dodge. Thanks. I, hmm. Someone needs more boys, and that person is me. Okay. I dodge. And oh, okay. Fun. Not really. Yet. One, two. Okay. And oh, big roar. Right. Okay. And that took way more than it needed to. Okay. So we got that back. Hmm. Feast blood and. Huh. Yeah, many times I try to kill that thing with sorcery on my first playthrough, and it just would not work. Hmm. I know they do resist magic, so it makes sense, but still. Oh, and just a stone sword key. Okay. Not horrible. Okay, so nothing over here immediately, then. That just leads down to the crystal of that school of graven mages. Which means, in that case, goal should be put my something blunt back on, and honestly, I there is a part of me that feels like I should go and maybe just go to Fort Wade right now. Just check how many smithing stones I have. I have enough for. I do not have enough to get it through. I would need a bell bearing in order to level up the... There's the... Prelate's Inferno Krasier. And that's going to be a colossal weapon, which would be an upgrade to this thing. Which is why I'm holding off on actually upgrading the Great Club, even though I could upgrade it a decent amount. Take it to plus 18 now, if I really wanted to, and then even to plus 21, but... It's not going to be as could actually take things to plus 23. But until I get... Because Inferno Krasier is going to be a colossal weapon, which will be a decent amount stronger. Not just in terms of damage, but when I use Lion's Claw on it for poise, it'll be even better. 45 stance damage instead of 42. The big question is... I know that Giant Crusher has some weird quirks about its stance damage on a fully charged R2, and I'm wondering whether that was a glitch that might have been fixed, or just it's not supposed to be as damaging to stance as, say, full charge from... Uh, full charge from any other weapon, because the same is true of the Inferno Krasier, it also doesn't deal as much stance damage on its fully charged R2 when that's normally volcanic stone. You know, they could drop it in hot gas, crafting items on Mount Gelmir and here apparently too. But given that the volcano, I mean the Prelates Inferno Krasier, which I'll get from Gelmir eventually, knocks enemies up, kind of does a big golf swing with its charge R2, have fully charged R2. And the Giant's Crusher does a flip similar to Lion's Claw that can pancake enemies like Lion's Claw. And that might... Some people say that it's probably intended behavior, that since they have those added properties, they're not supposed to be as useful for damaging stance. But the big thing is that if the fully charged R2 on Giant Crusher, when I eventually am able to use it, did good stance damage, I could put Crag Blade on that instead of actually flipping Lion's Claw to get some really ridiculous stance damage, especially when combined with a flask of phys a physic flask that boosts its stance damage, and that would allow me to absolutely trivialize a number of boss encounters. Oh, and that blasted the skull away. 
That was just a golden rune wand, so it's not as if I'm really worried, but... Ruin fragments... One thing I can really do with them, I think, is make warming stones. If I really want to be really funny, I can make frenzy flame stones. Which will damage, build up madness. I'm not sure if they'll, if they'll damage, but they won't heal me if I... Oh, and golems are coming. Maybe I should have taken magic fortification or something. Oh, whatever. But didn't expect projectile weapon. But... Can I... Oh! Okay, well, we dodged that. We need to... Smart about how we handle this. I... Hmm. I... And... Do oh, well, it... Actually did not do that much damage to me. That's a pleasant surprise. But, as I was saying, being able to keep enemies more or less stunned would be very, very nice. And we can just keep hitting the feet, because I'm not sure that actually getting a stance break on them will be a real option, but we'll see. Especially since it's falling down now. Oh, well, we should be. Might be good. And, there we- oh, well, the damage is quite strong, too. I there we are, and, wow, it's almost dead anyway. So let's just do one big hit on the belly, and there we go. Exciting stuff. I heard that this place would be very difficult and painful, and... Well, maybe it is if you come here at a much lower level than I currently am. Which, to be fair, is how I did it when I came here on my first playthrough. And I was not able to beat the Great Jar's Warriors at the end either. Yeah, these golems do respawn. The big thing is that they drop these magic great arrows very, very rarely, and they're very, very strong, too. And dodge, dodge, and okay. Second, I thought I might get roll caught. Oh, thank you, Satsu. Thank you for the raid. How are you doing? It's nice to see you again. How are you doing? I saw you were doing Genshin earlier. I know you were talking about the new area recently. What do you think about it? And can I... Okay, I... Oh my goodness. That was embarrassing. Main thing is, unless their way, their arm goes to the ground, I can't exactly hit their weak point. Oh, nice! I... Is it all explorable right now, or are you talking about the areas that are just currently accessible? Either way, I, I've heard good things about this story. I know Wanderer is pretty heavily involved. What's his plot relation like? Because I know a lot of people have said that they do a pretty good job of showing off his character, in particular in connection with Mini Durin. Yeah, but I am not going to be able to get my stance. Oh! Oh, nice. That's good. Oh, okay, so actually the stance break works just fine. So actually, probably I'm better off using... Just hits on the belly. Well, that... This guy is painful. Well, we took him down. There we go, cool. Good old golem, and we got great arrows, but not like golem great arrows. Somewhere around here, there should be something I can pick up. Grants me... Okay, but I already used the Physic Flask, which means 242. Is that maximum? That's impressive. Uh, how do you think it stacks up compared to earlier limited time areas? Because some people I heard said it was almost on the level of Golden Apple Archipelago 2, which I still contend to be the best limited time area compared to the others. That's fair. I... It does look fun. I'm excited for all the little puzzles, too. So the Great Jar... And where do we challenge the Great Jar? Hmm... The, jar, the very first? Knight of the Great Jar's Red Summon Sign. Interesting. So we take this guy down and we'll get a special talisman, I guess? Touch Red Summon Sign, Knight of the Great Jar... Oh, they have a Millennia Fit. That's fun. So let's buff up real quick. Take them down, maybe with Lion's Claw, depending on weather and how they dodge. Duelist Knight of the Grey Jar, summon his adversary, and... Oh, goodness. Come on. I... Mmm. I... Alright, and... Oh, of course they have the Waterfowl Dance. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Come on, and... Can I... Slam it... Okay, well... Mm, slam... Okay, alright. Mmm. This is... Certainly something I... Okay. Mmm. And... 
I this is not such a great option for uh, PvP. Ooh, okay. Hmm. All right. I maybe I should have Blood Pants Fang on right now. That seems to be a better option for stuff like this. PvP. That's always Blood Hounds. I, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Wow. Okay. Huh. At least they don't heal. I. Okay. I. Come on, you. Hate this absolute mongrel. I. Okay. Nice. And it's gonna. Okay. Of course you have Waterfowl. I. Okay. And I, that range was of much to be desired, and I really okay. I, all right, and not uh, okay, and move back in. Main thing is just I don't predict them being able to heal, so I cannot. Thanks, I and move back in for cannot roll catch it. Oh my! What God! That's ridiculous. So what weapon can I even use here? You're kidding. You're kidding. Okay. And that means no rune arc. That was some bull. I, in the end, the damage they deal is based on... Well, the big thing is I should have had my flask available. That was a mistake on my part. Still really, really annoying. Hmm. Just gotta go back, take those golems down again, but that was rather obnoxious. So we'll get Great Jar's arsenal from that, which means eventually means I'll be able to equip that for more equip weight, but I don't really have heavy armor. That I feel any particular need to use or deal with right now. Is that? Oh, there was an item there of some kind? Interesting. Didn't even see that. This is. Oh, the spiked palisade shield. Interesting. Okay, and. Oh, I. Oh, this is the wrong club. I'm stupid. Okay, I. Okay. Hmm. And. Oh, oh well, alright. Thanks, and. Out of the way. Slam again and... Okay. Interesting. You fell down to a point that I can actually hit you. Nice. One. Two and... Oh, wow. It, that was easy. Check out that palisade shield then. A gravel stone? From here? Cover in spikes. Selects a damage negation. Shield bashes. Enemy with holes. Nickname a hard shield. Oh, they're just a bunch of... These are all gravel stones. Right, because this is Dragon Barrow, but there were no ancient ancient dragons here, if I recall correctly. The big thing is that I could use this to make Dragon Wound Grease if I felt like it. Not sure I ever will, but... Because in the end, when I take down dragons, I'm going to do it with Great Bows. Yeah, but okay. it takes more stance damage when you hit exposed areas, but can still break its stance even without, so that's what I'll have to do. So over and can I there we go. Deal with that. Thank you. Slam. And can I again? And need another. Cool. There we go. Take you out. Go for another big critical. And there we go. No more goal. Uh, that back as well. We gotta reclaim our oh our runes. Even if the stupid rune arc is now gone, you really gotta hate that. Hmm, let me just think. Huh? How do I want to deal with this? So Bloodhound Fang is probably going to be the best option. The main thing is I need my I have active in terms of oh I do need to get a few more foul feet from when I actually start fighting bosses. To talk to again to make okay no the summon signs stay that's good some minor relief but on blessings balloon blessings boon well we should summon one first so that main thing is if they don't have waterfowl dance it should be much more manageable we'll see what happens that mm, out of the gray jar summon his adversary this should be more than doable I oh hmm I all right. 
Hmm, this is... Oh, oh, and of course you're... A... What? You've got to be kidding. So what can I do to meaningfully stun lock? Of course they've got Waterfell Dance, Corpse Power, and other kinds of ridiculous cheese. I shouldn't expect anything else at this point. But what kind of weapon do I have that, honestly, my best choice is probably going to be the Great Epe. Because right now, this... Or maybe I could be funny and try using Star Scrooge Great Swords, because they are... I did get them to plus nine. I did very much do that. But I can wield them via two-handing. I... Hmm. Well, this is going to be interesting. And I still... Not having a Rune Arc active, and therefore having five less of every single stat is rather painful. But... Main thing is, I don't need to kill every golem. Though it would be more convenient, because it means they wouldn't be shooting at me from behind. The big issue there is... If I don't take out the second golem, it will shoot at me. While I'm trying to take the Great Jar Warriors on. And once they're summoned, I would think that the fog, what would block them? But even still, it... It's the kind of thing I need to pay attention to. Come on, come on, I and... There we go, we broke that. We got a big overkill in terms of stance damage, and... Well, you know, if we can't actually position ourselves for the critical, we can at least... Just wail on its chest. And then... Here, just gotta avoid the big arrow. Those things, I think it's about a 5% chance at base of dropping a bundle of five of the magic great arrows. And it is really funny that they're really quite strong, but you need to... Oh, and right, they do have an AoE, but when the player uses them, they don't have an AoE because, well, you know, we're not allowed to have good things, I suppose. They, they hate us. And stance break with that. Always good. Kill that to get it out of the way. And using Great Epe will hopefully allow me to take down the Great Jar Warriors and get my Talisman. I I really did not expect it to be this hard. Because I'm pretty sure it doesn't scale with level. It's just... Or at least... The enemy spirits who show up are based on people who have beaten the Great Jar challenge before, and you need to take down all three of its summons in a row. Well, actually, at least they don't heal, at least as far as I can tell, without dying in between. And that is certainly something. So, we'll do it like this, put on blessings. Should be a good opportunity to summon, and we should be able to get everything up by the time the other guy shows up. Put on Golden Vow. Then grant me, and is it, I think it's the same guy again, maybe. It looks like it, I, mmm, okay, I, alright, mmm, okay, cool, and can I, really, I, okay, hmm, really good at using Ashes of War, and can I, mmm, so we can just, okay, that's a good way to roll catch, so I'm, that's a lot of status build up. I oh my goodness. I all right. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Main thing is that they don't heal, but that is some small consolation. I all right. And hmm. main thing is I okay. I and we that was dangerous. I okay. Thanks. I probably if I got. The better version of Impaling Thrust from the Naga Kiba with the Yura, that would probably be good. But the Bloodlust buildup on Bloodflame is quite strong, too. Surprise to me. And nothing from that. Duelist Vanquished, but we need to take down two more. Awesome. So there we go, we can do that, and... Mm, but we're running out of Tears Flask. It's gonna be worrisome. Actually, we can summon this one, but... Take this down, presumably. The question is, how many impaling thrusts we'll have after this? Uh, frightening. Still like this, we got a lot of these. So I, okay, keep our distance and poke. Don't have a lot of poise, which is good. And okay, 
That works quite well. The main thing is, good chance that a single hit would kill me without much trouble for them. So I probably need a bit more in the way of uh, tear splash. But I... Hmm, it deals a lot less damage, but it still breaks stance. So our silly options arrived and... Yep, it just... Wow. That's actually crazy. Okay, so I need to reallocate a couple of flasks. I need... Probably four blue flasks would be enough. The main thing is making sure that I can apply all of my buffs before any given fight. All three. This is a surprisingly difficult challenge. I like that. If I had some more rune arcs to burn, that would be nice, but that does not appear to be what I have to deal with. But this... Starcaller Cry could be interesting, but it's very, very slow. have to try tanking attacks, which is not something I can probably manage. Put our claw back on to take down the golems on our way, and then... Beat up all those warriors of the Great Jar. I... wonder if there's an extra bounty of runes besides the ones you get by killing the spirits. The fact that the spirits are giving me so little is also an amusing surprise. I might have actually forgotten to put on my defense increasing flask too, which would be interesting. And to be fair, the stance damage... Big question is, and I'm not quite sure whether the stance damage effect applies to poise damage, because I'm, if it did, then that's useful for ensuring that they don't fight back, but if it doesn't, then it's not really doing much for me. Because I can't open them up to a stance break if they're just players, because players don't have the same stance system as basic enemies. It's certainly something. So I will simply proceed onward. Thank you, and out of the way. Oh, we can jump that. That's convenient. Let's use that so we can heal up when we get a replenishment from taking this guy down. Make sure we don't miss anything. And here we are. Over here. Crush the belly. Critical. And that will do it. So now we put our great Epe back on. We should be in a position to slowly but surely poke them all to death. If we really wanted to, I could... You know... Maybe I should go for parries. It's an idea. Yeah, I... It would be fun that way, too. Hmm, we'll see what happens. Seems Boon is good if we need to have our Physic Flask up. But the Misericord is not leveled in any meaningful sense. And I don't think I'll do it until I get a lot more... Smithing Stones, and especially Smithing Stone Bell Bearing. It, it's a matter of when it'll be responsible to do. We'll see. Thanks. Summon you. Not of the Great Jar. What equipment does that guy have? Hmm. Glenn grant me, and... Now we switch. Alright, cool. Hello, thank you. And cut. All right. I, oh my goodness. Okay, that's tough. I, and can I? Okay, interesting. Of course, use golden ballot. No, it's up. Oh, come on. I, all right. I. Ah, uh, Malekith cosplay. I. Thank you. I. Dodge and okay. Can I? Oh, I. No, you definitely can't. Cannot. Make that work. I. Oh, okay. All right. And hmm. Of course, using Death and Death, I hate this. And, hmm, okay. That is definitely going to work much, much better. Uh, and, okay, all right. Hmm. It, it's a fun idea to parry when it works. Uh, okay, right, and, oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, it's... It would have been funny if it had worked. Unfortunately, the chances of it working are well at best. And can I... Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure I'm not... I'm, come on, you... Really? Okay. Please. Thanks. 
Main thing is, that's a stagger, as long as we can bait you out every attack. We can, don't have all that much poise, so I, okay, thanks. Sub, and we need one, thank you. Cool, kill, there we go. It worked out, kinda. Hmm. It's one of them gone. And pairing is not going to be an option for me, probably. That's sad. I'm just... I like the sauce root. Golden Vow. Flame Grant Me. And, oh, well, the buffs will maybe expire a bit. But I've also got a bit more time for Blessings Boot to heal me off a little. Hello, adversary. Come on, come on. Get over here. There we go, and oh, right, Ruin's Greatsword. That's right, and oh, well, oh, okay. I did not think that had the crazy hyper armor that didn't, you're kidding. Okay, all right. Hmm. And doing, okay, decent damage, and okay, can I, hmm. Okay, and, alright, can I... Sub, and... Okay. This is a good option. Can I... Okay, but no counter frames there. That's kind of sad. Thanks, and dodge. Hmm, that worked pretty well. Okay, cool. And just sub again. What do we want to do with this? And, oh, okay. Interesting. Can I... Nice, and... Counter frames would have been fun there, but I... Okay, cool. And... Mm, dodge. Oh, well. Alright. Thanks. I okay. Thanks, and... Okay. Interesting. Mm. And my healing effect is gone now. We need some more Tear Splash. Blessings Boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. And now we need that. And flame grant me. And hopefully this will be the last I need. And I won't die to this guy, hopefully. Poking is poking is a good trick. Okay, we'll take that heal. You are. Hello. Thanks and ooh, right, the impale is. Ooh, interesting. Well, you're weak. That's good. Uh, okay. Sab. Ooh, okay. Fight like Ensha. And, hmm. Is that Bloody Helix? Should be, I think. I oh, and you got. Nah, that's fun. Not. Hmm. Sab, and. One more, and. Thanks. Alright. Just one more. And finally, it's done. It'd be really nice if that gave us a rune arc. Well, okay. And we completed the Grey Jars Challenge. And it won't say anything, but a rumbling and the Grey Jars Arsenal. That was cool. Great Jar overflowing with weaponry, vastly boost maximum equipment load. Great Jar grants this talisman to their warriors. Carry as much as you can, grow big and strong. Huh. Well, in that case, actually enter the Kaolid Coliseum now. Which... I don't think we'll have anything of note in it, but we can do it. Can unlock another way to fight the arena. For what that's worth. Because with spirit ashes are permitted for use in battle. Oh, nice. That's fun. Combat with spirit ashes, and... No, no, no. Oh, and we can select any... From any Coliseum, and also from the Effigy of America and Round Table. Can't do that in there, and here we have it, Kaywood Coliseum. Not that it means much to us. And that side area is blocked off the side, and this is nothing of note. No item ahead, no secret ahead. The secret is dying in a stupid way. This isn't really much of a secret at all. In fact, one might say it's pretty commonplace. Okay. Let's go back. I think there might be other things over here, but... I should pr Oh, there was that minor urgery. I should probably use this as an opportunity 
Is there a way to get in that skull? Seems like there should be. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Probably try to take down. Farm some of those birds for the sake of their flight pinions. No, for their foul feet. And give me. Hmm. Over by the Great Bridge, and I'll do that with Gravitas on a large club. Get that over there. Oh, it's interesting that. Hold me for every minor urge is jars by it, if I recall correctly. So, not all that special. Come on, give me a foul foot. That's all I want from you. Five pinions are nice for making great bolts or great arrows. The issue is, is that. If I'm using a great bow, I'm using Radon's Rain to kill dragons, at which point I'm just buying Radon's spears. So. That was everything in Deep Sea for Well, I think, so. Get rid of that and then farm. By the impassable Grey Bridge. Should be able to get a good amount here. Use that every time to kill a boss to get more runes. Yeah. Put on, and it. Is it still equipped? It's not still equipped. Okay. Let's change this out to... Ashes of War and... Gravitas. Yeah, there we go. Cool. It... I guess we can take magic. Not that it really makes much of a difference. Let's put on... America's Scar Seal for a tiny bit of extra arcane. And then use... Silver Foulfoot. Yeah, there we go. Boost item discovery, and this will make things very, very doable. It's a good place, and can I... Nice, boom, it well. That did not work all that well. Send it over the edge. So, let me... Oh, but actually, I could also... Wear the arcane increase. Yeah, okay, there we go. A little bit more. It won't make a huge difference, but no reason to not get every little bit that helps. Four to a foul foot. See how many we can get in the three or so minutes. Get from the silver foul foot's item discovery bonus. And boom. Doesn't even do all that much damage, but it's not a problem. So it is all about grounding enemies and doing that pull. Hmm. Starcaller Cry could be fun for that if I could make it work, but Foot and it's about one every time, and the runs take seven, eight seconds max. Can't pretend this is the most engrossing activity, but if it works, it works. Always gotta get max out of that rune acquisition. Is it being... I would much rather be overleveled than underleveled, I will say that much. Yeah, it does seem as if Impaling Thrust are probably Piercing Fang, which is the slightly slower but more damaging version that also completely pierces shields as opposed to Impaling Thrust and partially bypassing shields. What's interesting to me is that, and of course that one dropped an item when it fell off the edge. I bet it had another four to four to a foul foot, but it is interesting that that Waygate has stayed completely... It stayed active, even though the Redon Festival is over, but maybe it's different because I did... Oh, we got three that time. Nice. Because I did totally clear out the castle before I even activated. But that said, I think it's probably related to Jaren's questline, the fact that you can't progress his questline until I actually get Comet Azure in there for. And then... Stars of Ruin from Mossad and Celia Hideaway. Because he needs to be able to go kill the sorceress in order to actually move out of the castle. So I suppose if I hadn't gone and went through the castle beforehand, I would not have been able to pick up the Red Hot Wet Boy or any other kind of treasure there. It would be locked off until I progressed the sorceress's questline, which is kind of crazy to think. And it, it always seems as if the middle one, when it flies off, drops something. That is unpleasant. Okay. Then the next order of business will be to pick up a bunch of golden fireflies from Wimgrave, which I do believe is still the best place to get it. There's one over in Mulyrinia by 
Super River well, but that takes a bit more effort. Okay, and we still got... Okay, the effect is gone now, but it's only 14. I... Uh, we should be okay. It's not as much as I might like, but we should be okay. Hmm. I... Well, let me just see. The silver one is... What's increasing item discovery? Oh, so is the effect of the arcane boost from that, I think. That makes some sense. That's how it's showing up. Is it separate increase in item discovery as well? Huh. Let's go over to... Misswood Outskirts, go down and get enough golden fireflies to craft 14 of those, and that should be enough for all the fights of note that I'll be doing today, I would think. Big thing about it is, as I was saying, as long as I remember to pop that my room game goes up, and that eventually needs more levels, more treasure, more lots of things, and it... Again, it is always better to be strong than weak. And something sees me. So a teleport back is not possible right now. So maybe this does make it slightly worse of a location to farm in. At night, it would mean... At night, they would both be asleep. Presumably, which might make it easier to teleport out instead of just having to actively go back to the grace, which would logically cut down the farming time by about a third, I would say. Logically. Is there, there's a time to go over, the time to collect, and the time to go back. So it's not directly in half, but still it's a meaningful difference. Big thing is, we go over here by Kaelin Ruins, we can go over to Dragon Barrow. And I think... There should be. Bell bearing hunter should be around here too. Let's put on our trusty Bloodhound Swing. That said, I. Over on Altus, there are some ruins where I could get the Bloody Helix, but. And there is part of me that feels like going there right now. So that would be my best piercing weapon, but mm, we'll wait. I've skipped over enough already. I got the golden seal early, order seal early, I got. Well, it, the big thing is that I don't know where... Riveblood Ruins are off the top of my head, like I did with Golden Vow and... The Golden Order Seal. That would take a bit more poking around or looking on the wiki more than I already do. So I think I'll just sit with it, because I probably won't be killing Moog anyway. I would honestly want to use Bloody Helix to take down Moog, because he is pretty believable. And beyond that, he also... It's coming over after me. He's weakest to all physical types of damage, other, I believe, other than Strike. Bloody Helix is also just a good source of damage. Here we are in Dragon Barrow West around to that shack. There's a merchant who I'll be able to buy things from, and also bell-bearing hunter encounter, which would mean presumably putting electrify armament on this. And is that another giant dog? Amazing. Just what I like to see. Come on, and I... Okay, thanks. And, oh, interesting. I, okay, that is a pretty crazy amount of damage for a dog. Just a deal, casually. Okay, I... D okay, alright. One, two, and... Can I dodge? Can I, yeah, dodge or dog? Can I... Thank you, and... Oh, nice. Can I... Well... Hmm. That... The stance break wasn't all that bad, but... It... The fact that it was able to take down around half of my health, over half of my health in a single hit, is frightening. It... Dragon Barrow was spicy. That seems to be the case. 
The question is, can I sneak up on this thing for a... Well, I... Alright, never mind. Okay, cool. Okay. And dodge and... Can we... Cool, zoom back and... Mm -hmm. I... Alright. Dodge and... Do okay. Mm -hmm. What? Huh? Okay. Well, that was a, an interesting way to die. Huh. I might be better off... Well, for one, I could buff. Honest to goodness, this is the kind of thing I should buff for. It... They might just be dogs, but... It... <laughs> this is... It's something. So, then... That was around here, I think. So, Evergel around this way. Maybe Balmage Hughes. It's interesting how this wall splits, because that chasm suggests some level of catastrophic geographic change. But there is that one painting which would give you Rain of Arrows. Hello, how are you doing? Welcome, Italian. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. We are working our way through Dragon Barrow. I went down through here and took on three... NPC invaders. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're surviving. Like I said, we took down some NPC invaders in order to get a talisman. This is Grail's Dragon Barrow, which means I'll be fighting. If you remember when I did this, when I played about a year ago, there was that one Elder Dragon Grail who I fought, and I'll be fighting her again. But not with a mage build this time. So we'll see how that goes. Come on, come on, get over here. Yeah, yeah, the really big one who doesn't move. But what is really funny is that apparently the co-op mod specifically makes her actually wake up sometimes and try to actually fight you, which never actually does anything. Oh, well, I... Oh, okay. That wasn't good, especially since... You know, I didn't even think about my rune stain. I lost a lot of runes there. That was not good. I hate these stupid dogs. I hate these stupid dogs so much. It... Why are they... Why are the dogs so strong? Honestly, they're more threatening than the dragons. Which is ridiculous to say. Because the dragons are relatively slow. If you keep your distance, you can just... Well, to be fair, I could just try using... Frenzied Burst or something on them, but still. I... You know what? Maybe I will. It's not like I have much to lose at this point. Honestly, let's take the Physic Class too. I... This is what it's come to. It's the amount of effort I need to put into killing these... Random dogs. I... Okay. Come on, come on, and... Shoot, and... Okay, cool. Alright, and... Another hit, and... Boom. It kind of worked. And wait, what? No. Okay, whatever. Uh huh. Hmm. Losing that and losing that rune stain is not fun. Let's put on flame Grammy strength again. We need a bit more of that. Go over for this red eyed dog and come on. At least we can snipe this thing. Hi. Big question is what counts as counter damage here? I okay. I all right. Thanks, thanks, and can I... Hmm... I, how did that not hit? Okay, never mind. It, can I... Uh, need to... Oh, please, you... Really, really just... Got up. Okay. Come on, I... Alright. I... What is up with these ridiculous dogs? I, okay, can I... Move back in it? I... No, no, okay, okay. Bye. Thank you, thank you. I... Why, why, why is it always, always the dogs? Why do they do so much damage? Okay. In the end, I think maybe I could actually take them down from horseback and kite them. I don't think they're the kind of things that should be fighting on foot, one way or the other. Got the fire damage boost from that. Got this. Now we can. Got the 
advantage of... Well, or not. Okay. Mm -mm. Time that takes is a little inconvenient. But I... Mm -mm. you really keep our distance. And of course there's another dog there. You've got to be kidding me. Why is it always dogs? Well, only because in reality there are no dragons. That is a very... Has, any, has anyone ever told you that you should be a lawyer? It's a very lawyerly way to see things. I, oh, and of course that... Really, really, okay. Of course it lived on 1 HP. It's so stupid. Okay, come on, come on. Up. And, okay, so it killed the other. That's good, and... Give me, give me... I know it was the point. I'm not that stupid. But it's an incredibly lawyerly point to make. And we can blast. Okay. I I could see it. I could see it. Come on. I, without any of my other... Don't really have any good projectiles left. I, okay, and just... Can I... Thanks. And can I... Mm, dodge. Mm, just focusing on individual hits instead of weapon art. Probably will work. Maybe. Probably take more damage on the head. This is... Aggravating. They are... They're hurting me. Hurts me on a deep spiritual level. But at least... Is that... That should be a... There should be a grace over there, presumably. Yeah. Dodge and... Can I... One... Two... Can I... Dodge and... Oh, okay. One... Two... Oh, nice. There we go. Okay, so all I had to do was just fight them, and of course it's the sheep. Okay. Fight them using this. Yeah, exactly. There you go. Let's go back in time to ancient Greece and lie to people. That's what you should do. Let's take down a few more of the dogs, and here you are. Well, seen a customer. You're the end of the earth, and just gateway. Hidden cave. Land of Reed's armor, strips of iron fastened together, grimy outer mantle, reeds from the warrior's birthplace, some nostalgic thoughts of home, and that's basically Sekiro. Kinda, it's a miserable civil war, remained alienated from cultures of its neighbors, some to both stoic madness, or so it is said. Some people think that refers to Sekiro, but to the extent it does, it's not in a sense that it's in the same setting, because one is historical fantasy and one is definitely not. Which attack, and that's actually pretty useful. Cestus, but less inducing. Rivets, we can buy one ritual pot, and I have four now. Granville stones, that's limited. Guess I could buy a Lost Ashes of War for fun. Well, then. Then maybe maybe it'll be like fate. Town of Sully, built in the graveyard of the precipice, we've already been there. Gil and Kaled, we'd Redmond Castle, and that is not new information at all. Both of those things we've already done and engaged with, but the main thing there is just spaces for that information in game before the wikis were available so there are reasons so what then and oh sky shot and that low stance high up in the air arcing strike from above when it comes down light bows and long bows interesting every now and then on twitter you see some sort of historical aesthetic account talking about how posting a picture of some woman and saying this is what ancient Greek femboys looked like and it's and then someone invariably says okay are you straight I thought you I thought you were straight it's the most bizarre thing I'm, I'm sure you've seen that I'm sure you know what I'm talking about oh and that oh a fully charged heavy is enough for a kill one Two, and... And we made that work. In the end, if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you don't know what I'm talking about, count yourself lucky. It's a good thing if you don't know. So we actually got... Hmm, what are we going to be able to restore? The main thing is making sure that I can sneak up on it and get... We also do more stance damage to something that hasn't seen you yet, if I recall correctly, so... Let's just try- oh, well, alright, thanks. And how did these dogs swim? It- it's something. I- okay, can I- 
Thanks. And there we go. Yeah, it... It's interesting. It... For... For reasons of personal safety, I have no opinion one way or another. I... I say enough stupid things already. But... As I was saying... Down over here, I think. Well, this goes to... The Kayla Divine Tower. My question is... Going to be anything over here. The big thing is when we go on that divine tower, be able to fight a godskin apostle at the bottom, which is something I think I would want to have a rune arc available to pop for. I'm just surprised that maybe I did. Oh, and oh, it's a dragon corpse. That's fun. I didn't even notice that. But that I. There's going to be a Godskin Noble at the bottom. There's going to be... It's got to go over here and take down the Bellbender Hunter who will show up. It... Well, it... I've probably said this before, but there, there are multiple kinds of androgyny. I think we've talked about this before, but... As I was saying, as I was saying... I... If you're familiar... With the Diary of a Wimpy Kid books, there was a movie based on them some years ago. And I remember that... There was also a sort of... Supplemental book detailing some of the production that was presented partially in the style of... One of the original Diary of a Wimpy Kid books. Also, the Diary of Olympic Kid author is weirdly active on Twitter. He gets in a lot of fights, apparently. You're probably familiar with the I'm not gay Greg meme. Knowing you. So can I actually go down here, or... Is there going to be anything inside this skull? Let me check. Uh, what else is... I... No, there's nothing there. Oh, wow. So what did the teacher say? I, I presume you told the teacher about what was going on eventually? Or did he... Well, a lot of them do. Well, well, basically... And this... I'm only familiar secondhand, but essentially... Somebody made... Basically a long extended Dire of Olympic Kid fanfiction about... Greg and Rally, mostly Greg and Rally as they got older. And Rally became a, success, a successful businessman, and Greg just totally crashed out. And eventually, Greg ends up being gay and has a heartfelt confession of love to Rally. And Rally is not, and it leads to angst. But it's all done, and I wonder how they did it, but it's sort of a modified style. Sort of based on the style of the actual original books, but of course, you know, they look different because they're older. Oh. 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 Hmm. It sounds vaguely traumatic. Let's see, and that... It's interesting that you can't check the description there. Well, whatever, we gotta wait till night and we can take out the... Take out the bell-bearing hunter here. Let's put it to Nightfall. Should make the guy disappear. And is the merchant still there? So if I... Merchant's gone, which means he should show up. So let's put on Blessing's Boon. Should also right do this. Electrify Armament. Golden Vow and Flame Grant Me Strength. Right, Flame Grant Me. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. Cannot. Nice. And cannot. Dodge. Dodge. And cannot. Take and. Dodge. Ooh, okay, alright. And cannot. Thanks. Stop. And there we go. We can get a critical. Nice. Fun. Ooh, big damage. Good stuff. And cannot. Stab. And. Okay, I. Alright. Thanks. And dodge. Cannot. Ooh, how did that not hit? Okay, never mind. One. Dodge. Do okay. Dodge. And 
Duh. Ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Okay. Huh. Hmm. It was doing pretty well, but... Mm hmm. Okay. Maybe... Maybe it's your wife's destiny to move to... We're Japanese. Move to Japan and... Join the Takarazuka review or something. I could see it. That's the time. Go to Nightfall. I'm sure you know what that is. And then... You gotta rest again and make the guy disappear and make the bell bearing hunter appear. And this is going to be... I think this is the hardest bell bearing hunter encounter. Because there's one on Altus, but... Dragon Bear is supposed to be more difficult than Altus, if I recall correctly. The Takarazuka Review. It's an all-female theater troupe in Japan. Where... It's basically lesbians, basically. They do a lot of productions of old plays where all the roles are played by women. There we go, nice. And so, after all, it's women playing male roles, and it, it, it's basically lesbians, yeah. Okay, and dodge, got... Stab again. How did that not hit? I'm crazy. Going mad and cannot... Thanks, and I need more... Oh, come on. It... The tracking... The fact that you don't pivot initially... Basically, you get a lot of quote-unquote princely women dressing up in... Quote-unquote male clothes, playing male roles, and... What's interesting is that originally they didn't do that, and they just all wear... Stereotypical feminine attire... And apparently, if I recall correctly, it was, they were externally, the women in the male roles were externally required. Someone thought that the way it was before where they all wore female clothes was encouraging lesbianism. So the women playing male roles had to dress in male clothes, but it just had the opposite, opposite effect as intended, apparently. Or so I'm told. There we go, right. It's a good thing we actually didn't beat that before, because otherwise we wouldn't have been able to make that work. Wouldn't have had that. Too many weird people in your life. What? Are you talking about me? Well, it... You're right, but still. Thank you, and... Let's take this guy down. Thank you. Yeah, see? You would be... You would be suited. Right? Thank you. Get that going. Get a few more hits on Wake Up and Cool and Dodge. Oh, right. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, fun. I all right and can I take that and dodge and okay. Come on. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. This guy is interesting. Maybe I could try a lion's claw with a pickaxe or something to break stance better, but. Hmm. Okay. I feel as if the entire nation of Italy owes you an apology. In the sense that your Wi-Fi is so bad and you deserve better. So you could say that that's part of the hauling out of state capacity in the modern age. You having bad Wi-Fi. Do that, and I have that on first, so I can just reapply all my buffs at once. Set it. Blessings Boom probably doesn't do all that much. I guess not. It. It's probably getting blocked by some kind of chat filter. Okay. Now there is some auto mod that is outside of my control. Nice thing is we can get an initial. Oh, okay. I. All right. Thanks. There we go. There we go. Okay, cool. And wait for some of that stamina to come back. Thank you. Cool. And just one, two, and dodge. On. Okay. I, oh, come on. Come on, you. I, okay, so that's... That is dodge back. Okay. What? Really? Okay. Maybe I need to get... Okay, I need to get close for that instead of far away. Big thing is, I got too greedy on Wake Up and tried to go for two Impaling Thrusts instead of one. And go for one, but if I go for two, I won't be able to actually successfully dodge. Well, whatever. 
Okay. It. Oh. It. It. It's not really my place to comment. But. It. There, there was some meme I saw of it. Well, someone responding to a meme on Twitter. Oh my goodness, you've got to be kidding. Okay, let's get rid of that guy. Okay, there we go. Now we can put our stuff back on. I didn't think he would show up that quickly. Basically, it was a... And this is going to sound a bit crass, but it has to, but... It was some meme of... Someone sitting in a stereotypically masculine manner, and then someone sitting in a stereotypically feminine manner. It was both... Both of them were men. And someone... And, it, and the caption was, how top sit versus how bottom sit. And someone responding was just... Don't make this gender. Why are we doing gender here? And I... Oh, oh, that... Why does that have so much range? Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, okay, and... Really? But it... I remember years ago, where people who were gay were complaining about people coming up to that to them as a gay couple and asking, okay, so which one of you is the man and which one is the woman? And ba they basically said, well, neither of us are the woman. We're both men. And that's kind of the point. And now, at least, and I think a lot of it is just, he doesn't have telekinesis. Choke slams are pretty common. It's... This is literally that one meme of... Guy who has only watched The Boss Baby watching his second movie ever. Hmm, this is giving me real Boss Baby vibes. It... In particular... In fighting games especially... Choke slams tend to be pretty common attacks. For grab attacks in included. I mean, Ganondorf does it in Smash! Ganondorf does it in Smash, even. It's not even a fighting game, okay. But, as I was saying, uh, it, just, the fact that so many things are very much done for an audience now, for posterity, is, it gives me a bad taste in my mouth. It, dodge and dodge, can I, Thanks, I dodge, can I, thanks, and, oh, okay, there we go, cool. Okay, oh, you're in a pro wrestling, that's cool. It, interesting, okay, and dodge, dodge, and, okay, that's a good one, and, got dodge, okay, good attack, thanks, I dodge, okay, dodge, and, got dodge, okay, one more should do it, and there we go, cool. I was cutting it close, I was really... Eating my stamina up, but there we are, and you're done. Cool. That's all over. I would... I would respect that. I... I remember years ago, I was hearing someone talk about how... A lot of... sort of male streamers like me, you know, my specific subcategory, that they might be able to get more popularity among sort of maybe a male audience or just more mainstream in general if they had wrestling-style beefs. And... Honestly, I kind of feel... I did try that... Try sort of doing a bit of funny roleplay when we were, when I was playing Dokapon with Jack and Dom, how I tried to sort of be, play a villain, quote-unquote, when I turned Darkling, and Dom was just not having that. But I have said before to them, and they seem okay with it, that I'd want to be kind of a cartoon villain when we played on the Minecraft s &P, and to basically have them fight me all in the end. Have all of them fight me in the Oh, right, I could... I can ghost form, not... Love or ghost form? Okay. Let's just send all these through. Cellulivis, we got D, we got Regier. Just put all these through. So I wonder what other options there'll be. 
So now they sell gravity stone. They're out of... Out of rune arcs. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun. I liked how everything worked out in the end for Dokapon, especially since I won. I'll cop to that. But... All these bell bearings, and we could but We don't need to buy more somber stones. We have more than enough somber stones. Fidia's over here selling these things. We could buy... We don't need the Ripple Blade. We don't need do. We don't need the Black Leather Shield. Mm, okay. But... It was really funny, because... Okay, okay. The main reason I won, in my opinion, is because I did look up strategies ahead of time and try to figure out how best to engage things. Which was, of course, start with Magician, go to Thief, get Alchemist, and just claim at least one castle, ideally the second continent castle, and simply farm gems, farm money. And that's what I did in the end. It was... I wouldn't call it a bad strategy. It's, it was a bit of a passive strategy, and they did not particularly enjoy engaging with it. But again, it you know, a competitive game, a competitive game, and I did do things, but I'm actually kind of glad. I'm not sure if you saw the results, but okay, okay. Well, in the end, usually there is a bit of a lag. It's kind of inevitable. Just because the system needs time to do some parsing for the sake of auto mod, if nothing else. Dry, dry is a bone. Fool, dragon, surrender your strength. Feast on your heart. Hmm. Yeah. As long as you found that funny. As long as you found it funny. Well, he didn't. That's the thing. Is that he got really close, but... He got level 5 spell sword by the end. But the game was over before he could really get to Hero. He was just didn't mind at that point. It was interesting. Well, because it takes a ridiculous amount. To actually get to Hero. It's... Very easy for the game to end before you reach the requirements, and the game did end. Yeah, it is what it is. It's sad, but there's only so much you can do. The question is, go over here. We're done. We should be able to get a rune arc from the bottom in here. Should be some other sites of grace we can use to sure we're in the right spot. And that dog over there, and here we are. I went to this... At level 7 once, on a file with starting with Samurai, which was very, very silly. I don't blame you. It was a lot more interesting, quite frankly. Yeah, I... I am the bad guy. And out of the way, Summerstone 8. Oh, that's nice. Should be able to Summerstone 7 here somewhere, too. That goes down there, and I think the rune arc will be down that way. But this... Let's check Radon's great rune real quickly. Key items, Godric's great rune, and we should have the inactive Radon's great rune, devoid of any benediction, precipice at the Dragonbearer shore. It's right here. Well, it... Thanks. I can always count on you to cheer for my adversaries instead of me. Hmm, so you have to go on this route, I believe. Something over there. Necessary item ahead. Huh. I... Death would be easy here, so I don't think I'm going to be using a rune arc. At least not right now. I... Hmm. hmm. Let's see how... I want to do this. This should be... The item over here, and this is... Oh? Oh, and... Okay. Red main soldier. Thanks. Now, finding these things, these guys at level 7 was interesting. But now I can just stand break with a single impaling thrust and get a nice kill. Yeah, as long as it works. We have a productive employee, employer relationship, I suppose. If that could be said. Anything down there, or... Hmm... Somehow I don't think so. Doesn't look like there are any items here. Big thing is that this unique one, uniquely, this one is actually kind of a dungeon. All the others you just have to get to them and then go up. 
there's actually a boss inside this one. The Divine Tower of Lyurnia had a Godskin Noble on the bridge to it. This one is a Godskin Apostle at the bottom, which is different. Hmm. Maybe I'll wait to go down there until I eventually get inside, maybe. So in that case, my question is, if I'd gone down here... Oh, well, then I... All right. Two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. It's over that way, but... If I'd gone down here, then... I... Hmm. It's interesting. We're this way, and... A lot of ladders. I don't entirely remember how this spot is supposed to go. But I did do a silly rebirth, reallocating a single stat point, because that gave me an emote. And the emote I missed from the jar guy before I actually got by freeing him a second time. Which is normally part of the quest line, but the wiki does not note that you can get the emote if you miss it the first time by assisting him there. Which was interesting. Hmm. A lot of things this way. I am interested. Try jumping. Somehow I don't get the impression that that would be a particularly good idea. I, oh, right, there was that, so... So this just leads back down to where I was before, I think. So then I... We go down here, and... Huh, tough. It's an interesting spot. Hmm. This leads me back to where I was previously, and now it's raining, maybe even sleeting. It's cool how Dragon Barrow is a bit less rotted than the rest of Kaelid. It makes sense. But, as I was saying, some previews of the not long Dragon mechanics actually came out today. Well, some videos made by fans, and they looked really, really fun. I'm very, very excited for it. I think it'll be very, very interesting. The main thing is that... The question is the degree of correspondence between Help Me and Grass. So I suppose there was nothing here. Okay, cool. Hmm. Alright. Stone Sword Key from before could have been gotten through other better means than whatever. Sad. But, as I was saying, Kinich functioned very similar to the Dendro one and... Mwa... Mwa... Mwalani functioned very similar to the... Hydra one, so it was interesting to see how Kachina functioned kind of similarly to the Geo one, but maybe not entirely perfectly. The big thing is that apparently in 5.1 we'll be getting an actual 5-star Geo not one character, so presumably she would more closely approximate the Geosaurian. We'll see. The big thing is that I do hope that Movuika has an actual motorbike, and a lot of people don't like that idea because, well, it's not exactly pure high fantasy, but it, from the very start, it hasn't been a pure high fantasy setting. And there's something down there because, of course, there is. Hate my chungus life. And I, oh, okay. I may be stupid. Come on, okay. Stupid, stupid, stupid. But, the main thing is that apparently, but it, people, we aren't entirely sure whether it's the Pyrosaurian or just a Pyrosaurian, like, boss that we've seen. Because in the initial teaser we saw a red flying Saurian. Whether the Pyrosaurian will actually just give straight up flight, or whether that's something more akin to just the boss's ability. But what's very, very interesting is that if you look on Honey Impact... There's actually a fourth character in 5.0, and it's not Pyro Traveler in any shape, way, shape, or form. What it is is actually, quote-unquote, Pyro Archon Test, which is interesting because it has some sort of ride mechanic, which definitely sounds like the possibility of a motorbike, at least to me. So that guy definitely just dropped a smoldering butterfly, whatever. So jumping on that was a faster way, but I think going down from that branch also would have led to the same spot as before, just a bit longer of a weed up. Okay. Interesting place, and I- really, really- at least I had- at least I had Sacrificial Twig equipped. 
It's one of them gone. I... okay. I actually... I could use Torrent here. Yeah, talisman effects prevent it at the cost of your sacrificial twig. Okay, cool. But also, there is a twiggy cracked tier that mimics the effects for a short time, so you can use that before doing something risky, but... It'd be nice if that worked for rune arcs too, but... whatever. Hmm. Let's keep on going, try not to die this time, get up inside the tower. You actually get to the top pretty quickly, but to get to the bottom... I think it's actually pretty trivial to activate the Great Rune, but to go to the bottom and actually take on the... Godskin is another story entirely. Thank you. Break your sense. Cool. Climb up the ladder. Try not to die again. Probably end up dying again. That's life. Just see something. Mm hmm. But my mom and my sister actually. My dad had to drive into the airport very early this morning because they're flying out. Do a bit of college orientation for my sister, I think. So hopefully they have fun, they took a bit of a trip for that. Hello then, I roll and go for the stance break critical, there we go, roll. Alright, take that and go up here, I hmm. jump, this is not that bad, and oh well, that back step is not great. Just gotta keep jumping, and good old platforming here. Should let us get inside to an extent, and hmm. Well, this necessary item ahead. I... There should be a side of grace up top here. Probably be a good idea to activate that, yeah. I... I went to college in state. She is not, which suits her. It's the kind of thing she would do in the same way that going to college in state is the kind of thing I would do. I hope she has fun. She probably will. Apparently, she's already on pretty good terms with her future roommates. They've gotten in contact and talked, so... I'm not sure whether she'll be able to see them when she goes over today, but we'll see what happens. Oh, oh, right, that makes sense. That must have sucked. Well, maybe. Depending on how social you felt like being. Let's go down, and apparently there was a necessary item ahead. Let's go and pick up whatever that is, then. Can't see all that much down here. Well, you know, if it worked out for you, then it worked out for you, so. There we go. How do I? Is there anything over here? Anything over this way? Hmm. Does it look like it? It's nice that they break off some of the stonework and basically tell you where you don't need to actually be poking around. I like how... The fact that you don't have a real climbing ability makes the platforming a bit more necessary, which I am perfectly fine with. Oh, oh, so you didn't want to have to actually do that. That's fair. I. It's been a while since I actually did anything meaningfully significant for a birthday of mine. It's not something I really put much thought into. Oh, a Newman's Rune. It's not bad. That would take me to another level if I felt like it, but so would in a lot of other things. Hmm. That's fair. But in the end, it's sort of... If you weren't going to give yourself occasions to wear it, maybe, maybe it's not so bad after all. So let's get down here, see what else there might be. Do any damage, or... It just leads back over that way, huh? Oh, so this is where I was before, Divine Tower of Kale. Let's go to Dragon Barrel West. Try going down, maybe, see what happens. Hmm. I... I probably just have a bit of a different perspective, I... Okay, good. If you're okay with it, then you're okay with it, but... I don't own a lot of clothes. I wash my clothes once a week, and I have about enough clothes to get through one week and then wash them all. I... Maybe could make an argument about wasting water, but... I... Try to run a tight ship. I don't like having a lot of things, because that means having to clean up more things, too. That's just my personal philosophy. Anything down there, or... Hmm. Let's see... Over here... I also... And this, this might sound very silly to you. It will almost certainly sound very silly to you. But I actually like having a limited wardrobe. 
Because it makes me recognizable. In the sense that... Fair. I... It's kind of like how in... Colorized JoJo versions... Yeah, exactly. In JoJo colorizations... The characters all just wear different colored versions of the same exact clothes. It's basically what I've got going on. I- oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I- okay, heal. That guy almost decimated me. That's ridiculous. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. I guess my question for you is, if you were a JoJo character, what would your stand's name be? What do you think? Would it be the- that one gibberish song that's supposed to sound kind of like English that I don't remember. Would it be Funikuri Funikura? Come on. Would it be... I don't really know any other telling songs a particular note. So the joke's kind of over. Oh, be Bella Chao! We talked about it yesterday. Yeah, would, would you have Bella Chao as your stand? Nothing over there. We could drop down over there, but we could have also just jumped on that arch too. So we can get a rune arc over by going down this slope. Hmm. Big thing is, is that Radon's range should be a good way to kill those sort of trash dragons. Oh, oh yeah, if you, if you wear hoodies all the time, it would be really easy to be seen wearing the same thing all the time. So maybe it would be Funikuri Funikula, and it would be about the pizza time meme from... Spider-Man for the PlayStation. Maybe. Okay, come on. I could use Radon's Rain, or I could try to take these things down. But... Oh, alright. Okay. Huh. Okay, then. And can I... Come on, I... Oh. Can I... Pierce, and is that... Oh, these things have very low stance. And how much... Well... They get stats broken pretty easily, but they also just have high HP. Yeah, this would be Radon's Rain fodder. Well, not really fodder, but just something I'd want to deal with using Radon's Rain. We should put right. We gotta put my staff back on after one time I'm not needing it. Bit of extra light would probably help me down here. Well, let's put this back on. And how far is that dragon going to follow me? That's my question. Come on, come on. Keep on checking, and down here there are a number of things, including some good smithing stones. Got dragon wound grease, nice. Rune arc, and arterio beef, but I thought there was a smithing stone here. Is this? There we go, we got another somber smithing stone. Nine, and not one I wasted on. Star Surge Greatswords, and I should definitely put that on my Bloodhound's Fang. And then is. Is Lion's Great Bow at. It's great, but is it plus eight? That's good. So I'll use that to kill the dragons around Grail in order to kill Grail. It... Honestly... I respect that just on its own merits. Just for its own sake. Let's keep on going, keep on going, and... Well, it... And because you cared about your own comfort. Wasn't that why you wore it? Or... Okay, don't you dare to fall off. So we got down there, now we can go in the tower. I should probably get some water somewhere. Let's see what happens. But the pierce damage should be useful here anyway. Let's go up, we should be able to open this door now. And activate Radon's Great Rune. Oh, oh no. Okay, this does not open. So, oh no, it's actually right here. That's amusing. So everyone was operating under the assumption that they wore leggings for the sake of showing off. Okay, so it's not down yet, so... What is that weird streak? Is that a graphical anomaly or what? Let's go up. Should be able to take our activate our great rune and then go down to the bottom. What do you mean? 
Were they envious or did they just mock you or? That, you don't have to answer if you're not comfortable, but that's just, that's goofy. You know, why, why do they have to be mean to each other? It, it's just competing over what, high school boys? Okay. Mm-hmm. Does that list also include being gay? Upper wife. What? What is that? What? Huh? What? And here we see, and you can see it's actually smoldering. You can see a burning particle effect. Sort of the power of the great rune. And there we have it. We can activate Radon's great rune. Great rune restored, and that maximum HP, FP, and stamina. Nice. Short bear Radon. Children of Radon and Radagon became demigod stepchildren after Radagon's unit with Kree and Merica. Great rune burns to resist the encroachment of the scarlet rot. It's a bit of rot as well as the fire. It. Wow. So the question is. Maybe it was all projection. Maybe they were just projecting. Mm -hmm. I have said before that there's nothing gayer than a straight man. Maybe, maybe it, maybe it's nothing's gayer than a straight woman. Okay. Yeah. It, it wouldn't even surprise me at this point. And can I? There we, oh well, I didn't think that would do what it did. So is this door gonna open? Okay, red main circuit and a spinning stone too. It's not open from the side. How am I gonna get up then? Oh, I can probably. If I drop down here then. Are well, there are other ways to get there? And this a. What is this? Okay, that was a previously lit sconce, now unlit. Okay. Hmm. Is this to drop down and around? I have to get to the bottom to fight the god skin at the bottom. Okay. Probably get down there, but the question is what else? That can I drop down to that? That looks like something that would kill me. That That is strange. That is really, really strange. I okay. When I was in theater, sometimes guys would do stuff vaguely somewhere as a joke but nothing that nothing that black nothing that brash question is how am I gonna get down there grass so where are all the elevators this is interesting hmm come on come on what what did was he there was the guy there too it's just Oh my goodness. How do people think this kind of behavior is justified? Okay. Yeah, if it was right in front of him, that just... Well, I don't know. Hmm. Use that little sconce. And not being able to use the horse in here is... This is probably some of the toughest platforming in the game. Yeah, I, I, I saw. But it... Well done, therefore don't give up. Hmm. So what next? From up down, we don't have to dash, which is nice, because we get a bit more fun control that way. This is probably something I have to dash on to. I don't blame him, I would be too. But it's just... It's one of those things where it's just, how do you even respond to that? You know? It's just, what do you even do? What do you even say? I, okay, can I... One, two, I, Okay, dodge and... Oh my goodness. This is painful, I... Okay, alright, thanks. Kill, kill. Okay. Tough. Wards are on shield. I can use that elevator to go up, partially, but there were other things I needed to see. Hmm. Yeah. It. It's interesting. It's sad, but it's interesting. I. Yeah. Sorry I had to go through that. I'm glad to say that 
Pretty much everyone I knew was boring in a good kind of way. Let's go over here, see so what else might be in this drop down. Write in Japanese. So what did he write? With a marker. So what what was her what was her aim there? What was her big plan? What was her intention? Let's keep looking. This should probably open up that door. Yeah, so if you fall off and die, you can have a little shortcut soon after repeat the whole thing. But this ladder goes pretty far. So then, nothing here, or while we're ahead, still no hidden path. Oh. So do you just want Baka or something? How did you... How did you interpret loser in Japanese? Question is, how do I get down there? Oh, to... To accuse you of forcibly tattooing her or something? Hmm. What was it? It's not like Mudana Hito or something. Come on. What else is here? Oh, and we got it. Oh, we got it. Oh, my goodness. Did not expect that monk to be as brutal as it was. Oh, my. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. So I believe these are black flame monks. Well, that... That's whatever. Everyone's cringed at least one point in their life. I thought you were going to say that she... Tried to accuse you of forcibly tattooing something unseemly on her. Okay. As in, it was six years old, or you were six years old when you did it? That was a joke. A first grader being a weeb and writing in Japanese is... That'd be kind of crazy. You know, that's sad. I could have seen worse. Don't worry, I figured. I was being difficult. Monkey see, monkey do. Fair. I... Honestly... Back when I was really young, back in elementary school, all the other kids were in a Naruto, and I tried to be, and then my parents wouldn't let me watch it because it was too violent. And the funniest part is, is that, totally unaware of anything like that, my grandparents got me a bunch of Naruto translated manga volumes to sort of try to get me involved with the Japanese culture stuff. And then they were just taken from me and put in a basket for some reason, maybe to give me when I was older. And I just, I don't know where they went. <laughs> I don't know whatever happened with that. And, okay, I, oh my goodness. I, okay, thanks. And, mm, dodge. And, can I, mm, thanks. I, stab and stab again. Nice. And there we go. We can heal. These black flame monks are quite strong. Okay. Mm, all right. Well, they, they they did not have any specific intentions with that. It was just the way things happened. And it was funny the way things happened. Oh, wait. So, is family called... I think you said this, but family guy is called the Griffins in Italian. Well, it... I think, to be fair, there, there's a bit of mean-spiritedness in one that I wouldn't say is true of some of the others. No life I had. Okay. Or just kill me. Fair. American Dad is... Uh, that's what Seth MacFarlane puts all his time and energy into now. Because he still voices Peter and some of the others on Family Guy, but he doesn't write for it anymore. Just have him on as a voice actor. And he doesn't really care about Family Guy anymore. He has other creative products that he actually cares about making good. Let's go down here. Okay, so we actually didn't need to jump on there. Just go here and... Well, it... I suppose, but it's natural for people to get tired of things after years and years of doing it. Family Guy's been a thing for a while. A hot minute. Maybe even a cold one. Okay, so how much else is in here? Go around, get more monks, probably. Down required ahead, seek high spot. So probably that elevator portion, or... Hmm, what else is here? Anything else, or... You're welcome. 
Call that American Dad jokes. Come on, come on. Mm -hmm. But there is going to be another Black Flame mob guarding the path to Godskins. Is the thing, so... Drop down here, I think. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... There we go, and... We survived! Yay, okay. Why is it always Pickle? Rick? Yeah. So this goes down. I've never watched Rick and Morty. I have no interest in it. It... Okay, and that down there, that's just fire. Over here, and we can pop a rune arc after level in once. Presumably. Do that real quick. Criminal Minds, but not Family Guy. Interesting. Let's take another. Level up, and... This, should we take... There are probably... Hmm, a 339 versus... Yeah, probably just Strength. Yeah. Okay. okay, so we pop a rune arc after taking one of these guys down. I think over here, or... I... Again, I don't think they mind it all that much in comparison. And thanks. Very easy to stance break. Cool. Alright. Thanks, and can I- oh, okay, thanks. That- I thought I'd be able to break through that black flame. Whatever. And dodge, and okay, cool. Stab and kill. Nice. And there wasn't much there, but big thing is the bottom there's going to be. Actually, what's my flask right now? It's strength and- well, that should be okay. We're gonna use... Bloodhound's Fang along with Trina Sword to put that thing to sleep. We should be fine there. Yeah, yeah. So the Godskins are, again, pretty much the only enemy of note who can actually be affected by sleep. So we're gonna take advantage of that and actually sleep them. What I have right now should be more than serviceable. Let's pop a rune arc. We got a couple now. And, oh, well, that... It's not everything. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So in that case, we will... This! We'll pop that. We'll pop that, though. Oh, we don't have Blood Flame Blade. Well, whatever. It should be okay. Hi, then. Hi there, Godskin Apostle. It's like this. Get in here, right? Dodge. Got one, two, three, and dodge, dodge. Okay. Dodge. Okay, fun. All right, and slash. And there we go. Cool. Now you're asleep. And we get golden bow. And flame grammy strength. Probably put on electrify. Sure. We wake up, which will take some time. We will just get some fun hits on you. One, and two, three, four, and dodge. Okay, nice. Oh, we got that, too. Nice. Very, very good. This. Oh, my goodness. That was vile. Slash, and move back in for another, and take you out before you attack it. Oh, well, all right. Fine. I thought I'd be able to make that work, and got... Hmm. Move in for another hit, and slash, and there we go. Cool. Simple enough. Fun. Good old sleep. It's gonna puzzle hood, robe, bracelets, and trousers. Trousers. And music kept going. Big thing is, in the end here, there should be a decent weapon. Nothing too amazing, but decent. Space smooth skin, worn by the apostles, one set of served deaths and death, wielders of God slaying black flame. They were defeated by Malekith the Black White, source of their power was sealed away. Hmm. Just in death, black bracelets, patches of smooth skin, smooth skin, yeah. We've got the noble set before, but this is the apostle set from that fight. Oh, and this sends us back to the bat back to the start. And this should be the God Slayer's Greatsword. Yeah, it 
it's really funny how they abandon Tower of Fantasy. And how they're ripping off the other game that's arguably anime Spider-Man. Quillmide Queen, Squad Skin Apostles, appear in the hands of Malekith. Black Flames is wielded by the Apostles, Champ from the Sword, Queen's Black Flame. God Selling Black Flames, Looking Slash, Wall Attack, we're done HP for a while. And this is kind of like the Mortal Blade, kind of like the Mortal Blade. It, the thing about that game is that, the fact that Tower Fantasy was basically abandoned incredibly quickly gives me pause in trying out anything that studio makes. And it also just, they seem a bit uninspired. It, and I know that some of it is due to fan presentation of Tower of Fantasy as quote-unquote a Genshin killer, but it, I never, I could not really ever see it as having its own unique identity. It seemed like it was trying to just be the best also ran, and you just, what? High, high budget open world Kirby. They're never gonna make a Pokemon game with every region. It wouldn't even be fun. It would be incredibly bloated. You know, people have tried doing that various kinds of Poke MMO things, and it just. It does itself a disservice. Well. That's on you for being predictable. Okay. Oh, we didn't even upgrade that to 9. It, the thing about Kirby, and to be totally honest, I could see Kirby as, Kirby Gasha, or Kirby game where the abilities are, you know, my left stick broke down quickly, it's probably just because it's summer and melted. It, isn't there that one Pokemon Concierge show that's on these days? I feel like you would like that, maybe. Oh, tower center, center basement. I didn't even see that there were multiple. Okay. But the big thing with Kirby games to me is that Forgotten Land was really, really good because it was linear. That if a Kirby game tried to be... And this is... Basically, mortal draw. Fun. Well, I could do it in midair. That'd be fun. Hmm. Well, it. It's an okay weapon, but. Split damage sucks. It's got. I know it's got thrusting attacks somehow. It. I would like to be able to agree with you, but. I know that somebody makes, there's someone who makes mock-ups, animations that basically do that. Well, you might have to. Hmm. Super Dawn's Reign in conjunction with Great Bow. You go to killing dragons. It's my dragon killer. I... I don't make the rules, I just enforce them. Though I'd very much like to. But, as I was saying, Forgotten Land is was the first Kirby game, but it was actually also one of the most linear. More linear than even most of the 2D ones, but it was entirely to its benefit. Because the level design was basically structured around having one specific ability you use in each area of a level. And therefore, there were a lot more heavily on enemies that didn't grant abilities. And just other ways to make sure you would have the right ability at the right time. At least if you wanted to actually do the puzzles and get the side objectives. Because if you didn't care about that, you could just use anything really and it wouldn't be a problem. But the best way was always to use the right thing at the right time. And that was, it made for fun design. I liked that significantly, but... It's not everyone's cup of tea. Let's put on arrows. Actually, arrows sting, probably. That's good. Yeah, let's just see how much damage this does. Fun, and shoot. And I- oh, well that was 
Wait, what? There we are. Thanks, and cool. Shoot again, and oh, this is actually pretty spicy. Interesting, cool. Well, and there we go. That dragon is very, very dead now. Sacred Vow, and Golden Vow, Flame Grand Strength. And we put that back on, and go for more barrages. Thank you. Shoot, and another barrage. Cool. Take that, and... Mm, okay, I will be in for the head when it's slowly advancing. We can make that work a bit better, I think. And... Cool. Do this one more time. Shoot again. Fun! It... Grey bows are basically dragon hunting devoted items and weapons, which I like. One singular gravel stone, okay. But no ancient dragons around, interesting. There's always rump. Then, stars are stars bubbled up. Why is it always despair? Hmm. Danganronpa? Okay. Big question is, for another good side of grace would be, I know that there's one over here and probably one over this way, but there's an ever jail over here with Battle Mage Hughes, and I know there are also, there's at least one more cave in here too, with some beast men at the end, if I recall correctly. We'll see what happens. How do I... I could at least activate a side of grace over here, but grail should be in that general direction. Hmm, okay. It's... It's fun to be able to just hunt dragons with big old gray bow. I don't think anyone has a problem with that. It definitely made Fortis Axe a bit easier than I expected, but that's not necessarily such a bad thing. Okay. Then we Golden Vow. Then Flame Grammy Strength. Then Flask of Cerulean, and now we aim for the for that, and can I aim for the head now, and let's go for another, and shoot, cool, thanks, uh, there we go, and alright, fine. I could use another, actually I should have used a standard bone bone arrow for that. Let's see these stab in the ground too, which is fun. How many Radon Spears do I have? I have... I will probably want to buy a few more before I take on Grail. Big thing is honestly just... If I only use them for dragons, I only use them for Rain of Arrows, Radon's Rain, because the big thing with Radon's Rain is that you get all those arrows at the cost of one arrow. It's pretty ridiculous. Not in a bad way, though. This is... Dragon Barrow Fork. What about a spoon? Feels as if some things are being left on the table here. Mm -hmm. Sliding back around... I want to find a spot that allows me to engage... Avoid engaging those dragons on the way, but we'll see. Hmm. Grail will be interesting. We'll see what happens. Main thing is... If I just let loose with arrows, it should not be anything in the way of trouble, because it's... Kill five dragons and then Grail dies of her own accord. So there's some sort of karmic tether. But other than that, and is this the spot? Is this the spot? I... This does not seem to be the spot. There are just a bunch of lesser dragons around them. Okay, cool. Let's use... Golden Vow. Again. Flame Grammy Strength. And then it's... Time for more Radon's Reign. Cool. And... Alright, thank you. Cool, and just shoot again. Thank you. 
And one more time. Cool. And just like that, we... There we... Oh, well, whatever. Interesting. We just shoot normal bone arrows and... Cool. We do it. We do it. Sora does not fly like this. Sora is a pushover. Okay. Go over, reapply flame. Then grant me. Wonder if I might need to reapply Golden Vow. Maybe, maybe. Sara! She's an absolute pushover. I wish. I wish she was stronger. She's not. Yeah. I'm glad you agree instead of trying to contest the point for the sake of being difficult. Um, you've made some progress. I'm impressed. And there we go. Cool. And another. Oh, let's just use these arrows. And there we. Oh well. All right. Fun. All right. Cool. And yep, just bone ones. Oh, okay. It's sad. It. She is. Unfortunately, an incredibly one-note character. It. Because her entire character is really just. Outside the Ito crack ship, which, the fact that that's meaningful characterization of her says a lot. It... It's really all about her connection to Raiden, which isn't even particularly strong. It's a lot more of a character basis for Yai, frankly. But... Mm -hmm. Big question is, will the enemies in the Evergel respawn when I... Defeat Hughes. I think they probably will. Hmm. Go back around and see what's on top of the cliff. I probably have seen that already, but just in case. I did hear about that. I... Wish they'd just have it as an option, as a difficulty toggle. Because the fact that the original difficulty is entirely inaccessible is... It does not sit right with me. Because that's content being removed from the game, even if it's one-time only content. It... I care a bit too much about things like this. Oh, but you need a dragon to... Oh, okay. Hmm. So I need to lure a dragon over there to break that. All right, fine. Not really an- Oh, okay, there you are. Get over here. I can lure you over here and have you do it. Get over here. Come on. Let's break that statue for me. Get me a smithing stone. Are we gonna get over here? Oh, oh. Epic. Come on. I'll lure you over through this break in the wall. So far you'll pursue me and I need to break this. How far is your turning radius? Thank you. Come on. Wait, what? Oh, well. Well, that's true. It's just there were other things you also had to not take damage from. So you weren't, you weren't entirely wrong. Just partially. And we... Oh, well, I... Oh, it broke lock. That's insane. Stupid. Come on, I... All right, and... Thank you, thank you, and... This again. Just gotta wait for the... Another, and... Can I... Break this, or... Come on, I... Oh, well, all right. Mm -hmm. Where is... The statue we needed to break? Should be over here, I think, and it's... Yeah, over this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about that. It makes sense, but still. This is slow and painstaking. Give me a Somberstone 9 or something. That would be really nice. Come on, come on. Please, I'm begging you. Just go over, break that, and there we go. Cool, and we just... One more Radon's Reign, and... There we are, dead dragon. This is a 
Three smithing stone fives. That was not worth it. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, but I just killed it. I hope you can forgive me. Got that, and it was not worth the trouble. What? They are instinctively hostile. If I don't kill them, they'll kill me. You have to... You're impossible, I swear. Okay. What else over here? Oh, a big, a big one. It's not an excuse if it's true. Well. I think Hughes should probably be pretty vulnerable to... Bloodhound's Fang, or Slashing, I would hope. By the way, this is pretty ridiculous damage, so... That's just one... Oh my goodness, okay. Stop somewhere, why don't you? Come on, I... okay, slash, two, three, four, okay, cool. Have them back. Thank you. And Hughes, the only thing Hughes will drop is his own Spirit Ashes. Which is hilarious. I bought. Look over here. May as well take these guys down too. Yep, and they're simple. Okay. Come on. Come on. Rune fragment. Then another. Rune fragment. Use this presumably for more flash if you were sufficiently motivated, but. Oh, and you can see Heart of Aeonia over there. That's fun. That extends really, really high too. Didn't even really think to look. That is where Scarlet Rot and Caleb started. Not say that's all of Scarlet Rot. You can see nice view of Selly, and that's the arena with Nox Swordstress and Monk. Big skull over there. Okay. Hmm. Keep on going. Let the birds fly off. I don't really need I do not need to do this. Gotta see what Hughes is weak to. It's interesting that he's above Celia. Either way, he should not be too much trouble. The big question is whether Gabo Paima cast by him would one-shot me. That's the one worry. Battle Mage Hughes. Or Hughes or something. Slandered slash Pearson Holy. Huh. So Order's Blade could actually be okay against him, maybe. But he's actually resistant to strike, so... Honestly, honestly... We probably just go with this. For things that can't really be stance broken, this is our best option by far. Alright, cool. Celia Averjail. Celia. Here we are. Blessing's Boon. Electrify should work just fine. Golden Bell. Flame, grant me. And then, Cerulean up. Cool. Have that available when the time comes. And you are tall. I Oh, alright. Oh, and actually you do have a... Because you're a Haima guy. Oh, wow. Okay. Huh. No, this guy can be stance broken. I didn't even think about that. Okay, nice. Okay. That might have killed me. Whatever. There we go. Easy enough. Follow Mage Hughes. So it actually wasn't really a humanoid. It was actually this normal Haima guy. Okay, cool. Hmm. That was anticlimactic. And the enemies did respawn. Battle Mage Hughes. Came from Sela to study the Haima Conspectus at the Academy, where he became a Battle Mage. Haima Scholars seek to quell conflict with cannon fire and the gavel. Hughes developed a longing for it. As one does. Oh, there we go, and the dragons are back, which means I may as well go and back to the fork. Over here by... Actually, Fort Faroth would probably be my best way to get to... Grail. But I do need to buy a few more for Dawn Spears before that happens. I... I'm wondering how much, how effective it would be in particular. I, I could just buy as many as these, this almost level will buy me. Just buy this many spears and it should last me a while. Okay. 
It... In the end... I don't need that many more levels. I'm mostly okay. I've actually already gone through all of Fort Farah. That's all I got in the medallion that took me up to Altus. It is interesting that normally I have to go into a bit of Dragon Barrow just to make that happen. Hmm. Well... Okay. Alright. Hmm. Should be okay. The Ur Tree, there's another cave around here, if I recall correctly. The Dragon Barrow Cave. Lens rises over here, but we did already see that, so it's mostly... Bestial Sanctum, we've also mostly gone around, but there is the Black White Kindred around there as well. Hmm. There's a bunch of platforming south of here, but next time I die, that's when I'll do that. Oh, and there she is! Right over there. Exciting. So in that case, we got our buffs ready. Got... Oh, we're ready for this. Presumably. Can I even... I can't even lock onto her. Fun. So every now and then she'll roar and debuff me. But... For that, we can take down these lesser dragons. Honestly, let's use foul feet for all of this. Oh, and okay, well, alright. Mm -hmm. Golden Vow and. When grant me. This should be. Oh, but they have less HP than usual. That is more. That will sit just fine with me. Fun, and. Cool, and kill. Kill. And that's one down. Go over, kill another, and there we go. She took some damage from that. Go over, shoot. A couple more. There are five of these dragons, if I recall correctly, so... Thank you, and... Just do it like this. It's that simple. Okay. Cool. And just like that. More damage taken. Just like this, we... Oh, well, alright. Fun. I suppose, and... Mm -hmm. Alright. Do that. We're gonna have to do Flynn Grammy again after this. The big question is how much time we'll have with the buff still active with a foul foot. We should be mostly fine, but how many more? We got you down here, and what's your HP at? Don't quite see. Alright, so... It's like this, and... Another, another, and... I think the last one is over there, too. There we are. Take that. Cool. And big damage. Cool. And... One. And two. And probably another. There we go. Cool. Nice. And that should be the end of the rail, too. And that... How much more does she have? I... Okay, one more Radon's Reign will do it. Goodbye, Grail. And... Here we have it. Big Dragon gone. How exciting. Got a Rune buff. Still up. Yep. Big amount of stuff. Dragon Heart. Powers available. Draconica Power available at the Cathedral Dragon Communion. We got five Dragon Hearts from that. That's nice. I'll take that. I could pick up most of those dragon incantations now, I think. That's a big eyesore gone. May as well go and pick up a few more dragon incants, though I don't suspect I will particularly be using them. Kind of surprised we didn't see a great enemy felled or anything. Oh well. Over in the glowing puddle of blood. Jewel Dragon Communion, we got... Elder Dragon Grail, Incantation of Legendary Status, Dragon to emit a terrible roar, reducing the attack power and defense of nearby enemies, Mother of all Dragons, roofing all who stood before her like a looming mountain. And that one might be good to have, but two slots, wow. Thine own, and... Just see us eating a heart. Smarag, Devour, corrupted by Glintstones. Not forget his hatred, even as he's summed to the Scarlet Rot. This flames would burn them to ash, and we can... Just take all these. Why not? 
Yeah, okay, cool. So all the dried communion invitations currently available to us, we have taken. Cool. So in that case, we can level up once. I think I'll take a bit of... Mind is good. Every little bit of FP helps. Hmm. Eventually, I think we'll, we might reach a point soon, or at least with a rune arc. A single flask will not actually be full flask, full bar restoration. My question is, is... Are the dragons going to show up now, again? By the way, it, we're mostly done with KO. We got done with almost everything underground. The only thing left would be... Mogwin. Mogwin. Whatever. And then the rest would just be Altus, and then mountaintops of the giants up here, and... This? Right, because this is mountaintops, and... Well, you can actually see into Consecrated Snowfield and Mountaintops a little over here. This is about as big as the map is going to get then. Okay. Well, it got a little bigger up north, I think, but... We have... Yeah, because you see it extends up past this waterline. It... I haven't even really done much in Altus. And... Things are mostly done. I, but then, of course, I've got the entire DLC, which is arguably comparable in length. But, just the degree to which Radon's reign just utterly shreds through dragons, it, it's kind of unfair. But... Dragons around here are all gone, and we already, again, we already went through Fort Faroth. Dragon Barrow Cave, and then... It's the Black Void Kindred in front of the Bestial Sanctum, which... Honestly... There's enough of a chance of me forgetting about it that I had to make sure. Not to. But I think this is... Going to be the location where I'm going to have to do some dropping down. This looks like it, yeah. I don't want to do that yet, because... Well, there is that chanting winged dame over there. There's a high chance that I was a rune arc. So I think I'll wait until the next time I die. By any means. I... Hmm. Got... Is that a... That is a chanting winged dame. Okay. Cool. Oh, you are strong. Alright. Hmm. You are powerful. Okay. Just keep tossing, but still. It, this is worrisome. I, okay, and... Hmm, I dodge and... Somehow they're tossing... Coincidence scraps. That is... Maybe it's because Selly is nearby? This is really interesting to me. Huh. Okay, cool. And just dodge. And okay, fun. And you got a... Rancor? Huh? Oh my goodness. What is... How is she managing this? I... Because it's not even a... Pot she's throwing. She's just summoning... Rancor innately. Huh. That is... Rather quite strange. Message, strong foe ahead. Yeah. And, okay, that was just a bat. Hmm. Nicholas Lily... Was it over here, or... Know that around this general area, there is a drop-down. That leads to... One of the paintings. It is... Some trouble. Let's keep on looking and see what happens. Is that... That is... Okay. In that case, I'll actually take a bathroom break myself. I bet this is it, isn't it? This really sucks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... If so, that that's gonna be horse. It's gotta be horse. Okay. I'll be right back, too.
apparently, according to what I've seen about Elden Ring, I mean about Notlan, at least initially, and it might change during the quest line, you cannot use a, an individual story and dive outside of its tribal territory, meaning that it might be something that changes during the quest line. As sort of progress in uniting the tribes, that's what some people have mentioned. And also, of course, you can't take them outside of Nagan. But it's very interesting because it makes me wonder about how the individual characters and their abilities that mimic specific Saurian's traversal abilities, how those will work outside those tribe areas, how that will work. It's interesting to think about. It's just down to sell you. Let's jump down here. I want to see what happens if I try to go on that skull. There we are. Cool. Go around. Over this way. And oh, there are a lot of things up here. Nice. That's a smithing stone 7. Stone 7. Not bad. Stone 8. And stone sword key. Okay, it... I honestly feel as if there aren't enough things that actually require the use of a stone sword key. And I think... No, I can get up there. I thought for a second that I might have had to use the spirit spring to get there. Does not appear to be the case. Okay. Let's keep following the wall, then go back around the other side, but... I think we saw... Saw a couple of dragons in here that we killed before, so... I don't feel particularly compelled to do that a second time. You see, this is where... Wall breaks down around here. Let's check. So this just leads us over to where I fought Battle Maze Hughes before, so that's nothing. I fought two of these drakes in here, and I don't feel a particular need to fight more of them. At the very least, I killed two of the ones here before. I don't feel as I have to prove myself by doing it again. Unless there are others, which I don't think there are. I think it was only these two. Then the bunch that were around Grail, who we pretty much just killed. That... It was... Honestly kind of shocking to me. How easy that was, just with Radon's reign. It... To be honest, it's... It's more of a Dragon Slayer Great Bow than anything ever called a Dragon Slayer Great Bow in the original Souls games. Because unlike those, this thing is actually good against dragons, and very specifically so. You know, anything that you can hit that's a big enough target to take most of the shots is going to be very, very well handled that way. Okay, this is probably how I get that red main painting actually Let's see what i get from there this okay and oh we're above the minor earth tree but it still shows up yeah that's cool oh there's even a even a spirit spring i'm actually kind of surprised that there aren't any of the little guardian and he's over here on the overlook because over here by the other caleb minor earth tree they had Guardians are overlooking it that you could not access if you were just at the tree itself. Okay. Hmm. Keep on moving, see what else there's to see. And all that would get me, all that painting would get me would be Rain of Arrows, which is really funny considering that we already have the objectively superior, well, maybe not objectively, but the generally superior version in Radon's Reign. And anything set over here or... Ah, oh, despair. Likely sniping spot, but... Sniping spot for what? Nothing, really. Oh, I see some guardians down that way, but... Let's go down here from where Grail was resting. It... It was interesting that... And the wiki... Was interesting about it. I think it was a bit conflicted, but the fact that we had to deal with the final hit ourselves, that Grail didn't outright croak, it just put her basically just one hit away from death, and we killed the five other dragons. 
And it is possible to kill Grail without killing all the five other dragons if you just stick behind her and use her weapon, then Fook's blood loss, but it takes longer and it's very, very cheesy. And I know I did end up using arguably a cheesy weapon too, but it, it's, it's a little different, I would say. It... The main thing is I think I had more fun using Radon's Rain than I would have had I just gotten the Reduvia or a Katana or something that can inflict blood loss and just use that. Okay, and hitting the Dung... Well, not the Dung Ball, but... Yeah. Tear Ball that they roll also deals damage to them. I never was in a situation before where I really could check that. Okay. Two, thank you. Me when the plus nine. Okay, alright, thanks. I, okay, can I... Mmm, this is something. Can I... Slash it. That was almost instant death. If I had used a... Weapon skill, I bet it would have killed in one hit. I think that is a pretty safe bet. So then, the cave should be somewhere around here. Maybe down this way. Probably down that way. But, there was a big golem. I think it might be around here. I don't think it's by the Kaled Coliseum, but I know there are spots with golems and... Come on. Big magic golem with a magic halberd that does a weird, unique magic attack. Can I... Oh, alright. Hmm. Can I... Really? Okay. Hmm. Alright. And... Yeah, that does one-hit kill, but... A jumping heavy is almost as good, so... Can I... Thanks. And... Slam. Kill. I didn't think it would come out fast enough to hit me. Well, I, Whatever. I don't imagine you spawn forever, do you? Whatever. Even if you do, well... That's life. Slam and... Can I... Slam. Slam and... Sell only the poison it. Another? Really? How many are there? I... It... It wouldn't even surprise me if they were infinitely spawning at this point. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Alright. By the way, I... Hmm. So that wasn't the end of their group, because I didn't get back any flasks. So it might be here. Well, we got you. Right over here. And a Mikkel is Lily. Hello there. And... Slam. Kill. And that... That did it. Okay. Hmm. So what else? Anything else in this immediate vicinity, or... Suppose this was just the lead-up to that minor rudgery. That would make sense. So, then... Back over here. We already killed the... Putrid Avatar over here. Some time ago. Because it gave me the stance-breaking tier and the defense-increasing tier for myself. Down here, try to not die. Is this the spot? I think there's a good chance that this is the spot I need to drop down at, but again, not gonna do that until I have. Do I see? Is that magic down there? Maybe I'm going crazy. I'm definitely going crazy. To the extent I wasn't crazy already. Hmm. Is this it? Or. Oh, okay. Hmm. Seek down. It's definitely... Definitely the place, but... I do not want to come here until I'm already dead. So that I don't have to waste this rune arc for no reason. Let's save that input. Interesting. <clears throat> Brand, this might be the cave. I see a little path that seems to lead to... It's really weird, because it... Links to this open space, if this even is meant to mark a path at all, which I'm not sure about. Well, we can ride around, loop around, we have other things to got. Not that I really need that. Hmm. Keep looking. See what happens. And then, well, nothing right there or not. Ah, uh, now we have those Fulgur Blooms. 
Not again, not that they were anything I particularly needed, but. To get down there, though. I'm wondering what loops around into where. Okay, well. I think the cave should be over here, if I recall correctly. That aligns pretty well with what I remember, so. Yeah, okay. Farm Great Bridge is over there. We can explore there later. For now, we keep on moving. Oh, and what do you know? We got more of these guardians. Amazing stuff. Okay, cool. And charge that up. Let's go for the thing. Oh, we actually got the guardian sword spear. This is really good for dex builds, but. Eh. Ah. Halberd, long handle, broad blade, sharpened by the hard wood of old trees. Oh, it's wooden. Guardians of the modern earth trees, experts in the arts of combat. Skills great with dexterity and just all of these. And we could take things to 23 without much trouble. The question is what I'm going to take to 23. What I would consider worth it. Hmm. Keep on moving. Oh, and we got more guardians. That's always nice. Kinda. Oh, so these guys are probably part of that group from before. I bet. Slash, and can I... Will that hit? That will not hit. Okay. Well, you know, we tried. Can I slam that and go for another? There we are. Cool. And there we actually got a kill on all of them, which means we got... This flashback. That was our sign. And we got more of you. Okay. Cool. Alright, it surprised me how many there are. Guardian Greaves and... Mm -hmm. Alright, hi. Slash and... Oh, that was pretty good. Should be one more then in that. Grave Golden Greaves, Ancient Pack, not destruction, renewed eternal life as guardians. Right. Might be. Presumably one more. Actually, I... No, I think I had that. Keep on moving. Go down to the cave. Oh, there you are. Okay. Thanks. One, two. And we... Alright. Slash. Yep, and that helps a bit with a follow-up. A little. Is that to see? Let's see what else is left. And slam. Oh, nice. Since we got the hidden app before it saw us, we... There we go. And now it's just you. One, two, three. Actually, knocked you out of the air, too. Nice. That's there. Just keep moving around, take the fork. This is where that side of grace is, so... The... Cave should be past here. Main thing is, we can switch this out for... Blood Flame Blade, which will be a good option for... There's a bear at the start of the cave, if I recall correct. I've actually been in this one before. But beyond that, there should also be... The beast men at the end of the dungeon should also be weak to fire and slash. Hello, bear. How you doing? And slash and... Okay. I'll take it. One hit the bear. Hmm. That up and... Cave should be in this general area. I would think and more bears. Probably presaging a big bear at the end. So there's our cave, there's our cave. Exciting. Thanks. Thank you. It... I have no objection to bears dying easily. It... It's probably the best possible outcome, at least for me. Probably not for the bears, but... Since when did I give a care? I'm not a care bear. Maybe I should be shot. Okay, Dragon Barrow Cave, here we are, and we can get the plus two Flame Drake Talisman from those if I recall correctly. Even though I haven't even gotten the plus one, which I believe would be from Gilmir. Oh, er Kinda like how I got Cerulean Amber plus two before plus one. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. 
That could be an option. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Well. Something clearly just died. Hmm. That. That bear might drop something. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. I will. Do my best to kill that bear. Hi there, bear. And. Cool. And. Oh my goodness. That was really bad. Okay. I, thanks. And. Can I. Oh my goodness. Okay, can I? Thanks, and... Dodge, back in. Dodge, okay, cool, can I? Flash, dodge, can I? Oh, okay, can I? Slam it, okay, there we go, we got bear critical, and actually, well, never mind. Okay, cool. Heal, heal. Hmm. Alright, dog. Hmm. Okay. Cool, I, oh, oh my goodness. And of course they can use a projectile. That's insane. I, you know, that's, that's interesting. Certainly interesting. Let's put that back on. The big thing is, it's not going to heal. That's okay. Golden Thou, Flint Brand Me. Then we should be fine from here. Hello, bear. Hi, bear. Get over here. You're gonna jump at me, just jump at me. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Thanks. Alright. Oh, oh, really? You've gotta be kidding. Okay. Come on. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, cool. Just one and. Oh, come on, you. Okay. Dodge. Dodge. Okay. Thanks. Take it. Oh, well, okay. Heal, heal. This bear is bad news. Thanks, and can I go back in it? I. Dot. Okay, thanks. One, two, nice, and there we go. It only took a ridiculous amount of effort expended. And just beast blown, beast blood, and blunt into extra men. And basically, this was presumably meant to be a stealth mission where you avoid the bear. I guess I didn't feel like that. This talisman ahead. So the bear was essentially guarding this little passage. No well done ahead. No well done ahead? Oh, probably isn't, don't cook them, they're animals. And, nope. Okay. So here we are. Ridley Flower and Bull Goat's Talisman. Uh -huh. That one's good. Bull Goat's Talisman raises poise. Sprite and Stout Mighty Tregoth in front-chain combat. Summon comrade to those who fight. I... Once I get a fourth talisman slot, I might equip that. But not yet. Hmm. So actually, we'll be able to summon him later. Yeah. And... We'll also need to kill him, and then we'll get his armor, which is the heaviest armor in the game. And basically, this game's equivalent of the Havel set. Hmm. How much more and where? We got we can explore freely now. Warming stone. Golden room twelve, okay. First off ahead. So is that not gonna be a drop down or grass or grass horse? Roa. This way was just the way we came from. First off ahead. This is Oh, okay, so that's a drop-down. Hmm. So I wonder if this is going to be a drop-down or not. So over here is nothing at all. It's just crystal bots. Decoy. Minor Erd Tree. Okay. Incredibly minor Erd Tree. But this is probably going to be... Just the boss fight over there, so... Or actually, no. Huh. Interesting. Oh, more wolves. This is actually a bit like the Groveside Cave. That's funny. Huh. Wolf ahead and then wolf ahead. You'd think, right? Hmm. I... Let's just... Go down, get that hit, and... Can I dodge? Okay, I need to... 
Slash, 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 slash. Okay, cool. Hmm. Me. This fight might be tough. Well, it, the white wolf is the only one that is ever going to present a real issue. And we did kill that, but... But it's the beast men at the end that raised some questions for me. Welcome back. How are you doing? Kill the big bear. That's all you missed, me killing a big bear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Liar ahead and raptor didn't expect dung. That what? Strong foe, where are you, boss? It's just down there then, so. And I move back around up here to see what the There's gonna be another wolf in here, so uh, up, up dog! Oh my goodness. Thank you. This was all then. Try grass. Button cave moss. Okay. Interesting. Let's go down. Buff up. Kill the beast men. That should be fine. We have a lot of cerulean tears, but it shouldn't make a huge difference. It should be mostly okay. Down. It'll be two beast men. So. Let's see how well this suits us. Come on. Come on. Flynn grant me. May as well use the Cerulean Tears, just to be sure, and take you on, and two beast men of Farm Azula. Hi, and slash, and the Cleaver one is, okay. Slash, and move in, and, okay, nice, and can I kill, and that was simple enough. Oh my goodness, okay, cool. Run it, oh, okay, all right. Just gotta move over to throwing knife guy, who I think is gonna be significantly weaker too, and can I... Okay, interesting. Dodge it. Dodge it. Mm. One, two, and... Yeah, you're weaker. Much, much weaker. Let's go for the critical, and, well, nice. There we go, and... Critical foul foot. Nice. We actually managed to get the drop on that, which was very useful. Cool. Flame Drake Talisman plus two. See three dragons on there. That was a lot of runes for that, too. Huh. Big Trailsman plus two, Vastly Boost Fire Damage Negation, True of Red Ancient Dragons, Vastly Boost, Symbolic of All Matter Protections. Okay, cool. Let's just return to the entrance and keep exploring Dragon Barrel. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. <laughs> well. Probably level up. Before any of these runes maybe go to waste. Mm -hmm. What next? Maybe stamina is always good. Mm -hmm. Getting in a good position here. The question for me is. I would need 40 strength in order to wield Giant Crusher. And that is still a while off, so I probably... By the time I actually can meaningfully use Giant Crusher, I will almost definitely have enough materials that I could have upgraded Krizier and Giant Crusher. There's no reason for me to really wait, but... At least not wait after I've already gotten the Krizier... See what happens. Hmm. Faded early flower. Then I'm gonna run into any into any other dragons around here or end. Oh, just a big ball. Okay, cool. Okay, all right. That was something. I actually didn't expect that since Selly is. We are we are a long ways off from Selly now. Over here is just around a lens rise, which... And, of course, we got another, so... Yeah, I've just dodged that. Thank you. And just found these crystals. We already went in here and got the one thing from it, which was a memory stone, but... Even still. So we're by that gray bridge. Yep, a lens rise. This was... Yeah, this is the way to drop down, which... Again, I will want to do the next time I inevitably die. 
It'd be really funny if I just somehow never died again this playthrough. I... the chance of it are... chance of that are basically zero. But if I never died again and had... yeah, exactly. And therefore had to just risk that platforming. There will be other platforming that will probably kill me later. Particularly the Frenzied Flame Prescription under... Or Proscription. For the sake of clear pronunciation, Proscription underneath... Lane Ouch. That... That hurts me. That shakes me to my core. You can see that waterfall down there too, and... It's... No, I can't see far Missoula from here. Oh well. Let's go inside again, see if I can actually open the seal by going down. Well, sure, but... I was hoping that... Things could maybe gradually change, and something healthier could arise. I should have known not to hope for something so much. I need to constrain myself. Dream smaller. Okay, and well, this. Oh, okay, that's over there too. Well, I, I'll, I'll be back here later. I'll return later. So that I. Jump down into the spirit spring and get on top of the rise. Thank you. Cool. All right. No, because that's not true. Why would I ever want you to lie? You're here to torture me. It's okay. I get what I want out of it. Then there should be... Go over here and kill that school of graven mages. Might be able to open it up. Maybe a head required a head. Precious item ahead. It's pronounced cause, thank you very much. And can I can I mm, it's explode at all or okay. It's doing some damage. Thanks, and another hit. There we go, and will that open the seal on the rise? It Is it even possible to open the seal? Always you don't have the right oh it never opens. Wow. You're welcome. After all, anything said in Italian is automatically incorrect by virtue of being Italian. Actually, it wouldn't be by virtue, it would be by fault of being Italian. So it was necessary, but thank you for acknowledging it. Hmm. I've already been up there and gotten the letter, so let's check anyway. Oh, okay, well... and then double wrong. Because it was in Italian, but also incorrectly. Okay. Now I see. There we go. I'm glad you could see reason. So then I... Probably actually... Hmm. Yeah. Need to learn about image control. Maybe over here and then there. A bunch of guardians around there, but no minor tree there. It's interesting. Hmm. Oh, I can see that sort of gradually phase into existence. You can see the crystals on the other side very, very briefly. That's cool. Hmm. Alright. Oh. Hmm. That's where that Knight's Cavalryman is. Okay. This might be the part where I die. Maybe. Mm -mm. Yeah, exactly. Be happy. Let's put on... Try Armament. Should be good. Actually, almost forgot about this guy. Alright. So, we will... Busting his boom. We should also use this. Try armament. Golden Vow. And... Flame Grammy Strength. Should... Get over here relatively soon. Mmm, but that buff duration. Expecting him to come the other way, so we're gonna lose a bit of duration like that, and that's sad. 
Well, if we come from behind, we can get some stabs in. One, two, and... Oh, okay, goodness. I, all right, and stab and dodge. Cool. Stab. Okay, nice. And mm, stab and... Well, okay. Mm. Okay. And... Okay, all right. And stab. Stab. Oh, well, okay. Stab. Okay, never mind. It. Stab again. It. Okay. At least we don't have that much to worry about in terms of damage taken. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Well, okay. All right. Go on. Oh, well. Yeah, that was embarrassing. The delay on that is awful. The delay on that is outright awful. Huh. Hmm. Well. Oh. Well. Hmm. The big thing is making sure I can actually kill. Killing the horse makes the fight easier. That's what you always gotta do. Kill the horse. Okay. Busting. Then. Oh, but right, we don't have Electro Armament up right now. So, we can't do that on horseback either. Sad. Golden Bow. Flim Grammy Strength. Then we do that. These guys really are weirdly difficult. It surprises me. Ah, you're gonna turn around, but before that, we'll put that in. Cool. Stab and. Okay, alright. Thanks. And stab over. Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. And. Mm -mm. I think that horse is. Oh, okay, and. Mm -mm. Oh, nice. That kind of worked. Uh, but it's range is really really tough to deal with uh, okay stab and mm, that's hitting both of them though is the thing mm, okay well do that and really that's when you do your thing I hate you okay cool and just move in I uh, the circling is so Awful. I... Oh my goodness. Okay. Come on, you. Okay. Please? I... What am I gonna have to do? Use the horse? I might. Okay. Huh. Dodge... Oh, okay. Thanks. That really, really sucked. Okay. Huh. Cerulean and... Do we need... It... It's a disguise. It, he's a... Basically a... Disguised cavalryman. Or stealthy. Stealthy cavalryman. And... Hmm. We are and Can I... Hmm. Let's move in. We'll do that. And... Can I... Oh, okay. Alright, I... Set of horses down, we'll be in a good spot up. Dodge, and can I stab? Okay, thanks. I, I need more poise here. I know, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I. Hmm. It would be funny to just try using the bow on them. It might even work. They do actually tend to stay pretty still. It's certainly something. Okay. So we'll take this. Put some buffs on. Thanks. Golden Vow. Flame Grant Me. And, well, it 
It's a bit tough to catch up right now. <laughs> okay. Just do it like this. Do it like this. Oh, then. Hi. And can I take that? And just... Cool, and... Alright, that, that was not a good fit. I should try that, but... Mm -mm. Cool, and... Okay, I... Oh, right. Never mind. I, okay, cool, and... Mm -mm. We need more of that. That's right, I cannot... Okay, thanks. That stance friggin' that is disgusting, actually. I, cool, and... Oh, wow, okay. Hmm. It's an idea. Well, I... If I can make it work, I... Mm. The tracking, though, makes it... It was an interesting idea. Okay. Well, I should have seen that coming. Okay. But it... The real question is, maybe I do just try to engage him on horseback myself. Which... Hmm. Wouldn't be able to have electrical armament, but there are other things I could have. Big thing is the epee is not all that long. Tried upgrading the lance, but it's not great. Hmm. You know what? We have relatively little to lose. Let's just do it. Well, try fighting him on horseback. Thank you. All we should really need at the moment. We can reapply buffs whenever we feel to. Alright then, we will aim for the horse. And can I... Thanks, and... Oh my, okay. Thanks. Alright. And... Hmm, the... Motion values on horseback are not all that high, and I almost fell to my death. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Thanks, and... Okay. Funny if he just fell off. And can I cool and oh my that sweep was disgusting. What? Okay. That's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Hmm. But honestly, I would presume. Bloodhound's fang is probably gonna work better on the horse. Let's try to build up some bleed. Hmm. The question is, which ones can I have? Can I have them equipped at the same time? Hmm. Blood flame. Should be decent. Go over, put on. V. Will this take it to. That will take me to heavy load. Actually, if I took this off. Yeah, we can just put that staff away. Didn't need it for much, really. Okay. Take that. We put this on. Seems boon during our approach. Blood flame blade. Golden bell. Flame Grammy strength. And if I'm lucky, it should be a pretty good anti-horse tool. I dodge it. Can I? Oh, well, alright. Thanks. And can I? Well, hmm. Okay. Dodge. Got... Thanks. I... Really? Okay. This is some nonsense. I... There we are. And... Okay. Ooh, good. And. Hmm. Good damage to the horse. And I... Thanks. And... Okay, that's a good way to do it just because the dodge there. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. Hmm. Those are probably gonna be. Oh my, okay. Alright, and. Mm, heal. It. Oh, and of course there are guardians here. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, and. Can I. Mmm, but the aim on that is. leaves a lot to be desired. Okay, well. Dodge and. Mmm. Well, alright. Thanks. Mmm. Okay. And, okay. Thanks and take. And, Aim is painful, and mm, okay. I all right. We oh my goodness, you okay? And of course it's 
in this god awful position. How the hell did I go to hell? It the dumbest thing is just. Guardians interfering. It was easily the worst part of all of this. Okay. Well, all right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go over and try that again. Try to engage him. Boy, he's still on the bridge. And this is far away from my rooms, but I... Okay, whatever. Val. And... Grab me strength. It... Level of... Power exhibited is... Kind of ridiculous. Okay, cool. And... One and... Can I... But the it doesn't aim very well at all. That's the thing. I, okay, and zoom back in for a miss, complete miss. Okay, thank you. And I, oh my goodness, you. Okay, all right, and heal. I, okay, can I? Thanks. I dodge. Can I? Immediate and mm -mm, move back in. And, can I? Dodge. Cool. Mm -mm, cool. Dodge. Dodge. Can I? Ah, oh, you. Okay. Do okay. Mm. Alright, I. Uh, dodge. Dodge. Can I. Mm. Mm. Dodge and can I. Thanks and. Okay, interesting. Can I. Mm. I. Dodge. Can I. Dodge. Cool. Swing and. Can I. Mm. Okay, cool. The old end. What in the goddamn. What the hell? How did this stupid goddamn tree block me? Well, all those runes are gone. I don't really care. It's just... I'm fighting the terrain, not the actual enemies. That's the worst thing about this. It does feel to me like you're supposed to fight that thing on horseback, but it... The horse is so unwieldy. You know, the player control of the horse is so minimal compared to enemies that it just... It is never a good idea. It is never even close to optional to fight anything on horseback. Especially things that are mounted themselves. It... It's actually the deepest idiocy. It's profound idiocy. Okay. We can sneak up a little. But I should have gotten those runes run back. The grace. But it, in the end, it, we are not in a position where... My... Oh my... Okay. I thought that would actually do so. Okay. It... The iframes on that are very unreliable. It's kind of silly that they even exist. Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Hmm. Avoid going for the fall and put it all in. Okay, cool. Cool, and we can kill that horse. Come on. Alright, just get over here. And can we... There we go, horse is dead, which means we can stab you. And that's not even death. Well, whatever. Okay, cool. Thanks, and dodge, and another one, and final. <coughs> Coughing on pretzel. Well, it, it's dead. That bloodhound step is good. Keen affinity, temper invisible, touching at high speed. Faster and farther than a regular quick step. Use to circle out and walk on targets. Anyway, armaments. That could be good for going through poison, maybe. Yeah, what if they won? What if they did kill me? That'd be sad, you know? Maybe. Actually, order of business number one is... Go back over here now. Actually drop down. Because I've died now, and I don't care anymore. 
Oh, but we have to... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Okay. Understandable. Well, you know so you know so many. You could always go watch that American fanboy. Just getting up around here. Yeah, just going north from here would probably be the best way to get there quick. See what happens. I'm sure he would understand, especially if he burnished his ego. Now that the cringe Souls player who d who I was watching is dead, now I can just watch you. That's the kind of thing you could say. Hmm. Go down here and I... Yep, yeah, right. That's right. So you gotta horse that. Okay. Suit yourself. Yeah, I'm at 126 now. It's ridiculous. Sad. I wonder what leveling will be like once I get to farm Azula proper. Oh, okay, well my runes are here, that's nice. Funnier alive than dead. Well, yeah, you can only die once. The bit kind of gets old. Okay. Go down here and... Just try to get on this. I am losing my mind. I, can I? There we go. Yep, use the horse for that. Okay. Well, if you, as long as you, if you say so. I'll trust you on this one. Thank you, and... Hmm... Down there, and... Well, I'm not acrobatic, so that, whoever that is, I'm not sure that I have the ability to match them. I would not be offended if, well, well even, if you can manage to do a flip at all, you're athletic, even if it hurts you. That... Okay. Okay, we jump down here. Use the horse for that. Here we have those golems then. Oh. Ouch. Sounds painful. Hmm. Okay. So you're saying I should start hurting myself? Understood. Let's go over here and... Okay, so there's that... Blue golem. Okay. Hmm. Take it out. Should be fine, but oh, it doesn't have any obvious weak spots. That is interesting. Okay. Hmm. All right. There we go. And how much damage have we hit it on its belly? Okay. And oh my. Oh, oh my goodness. You are. This is ridiculous. Okay. Come on. Well, yeah, it... You have to be relentless. Absolutely relentless. Because not... It takes multiple criticals to kill this thing. Which is crazy. Okay, cool. And... One... Yeah, unfortunately... We can't get the magic version. And I... Oh, well, okay. Cool. Thanks. And... Cool. I... Dodge, dodge, okay, uh, what? Okay. Stupid. Okay. Hmm. I, that was really slow. I hate slow attacks like that. Mm-hmm. 
agonizingly long wind up and then hmm. agonizingly well stance damage here might be good for this one I don't think it'll turn it from a two hit into a one hit I mean a three hit into a two hit but still hmm. the thing is crazy Generally, God say to avoid fighting that thing and just run past it. Okay, cool. Hope your cat's okay. Go back down. Gonna have to jump this again. Right. Thank you, and... Just like that. So we have to kind of switch between horse and no horse to make our way down here. That is certainly something. Thank you. Turn like that, and... How am I gonna... Hmm... Let's just go down here then, and... Okay. What? Huh? What was I supposed to... Oh, what? Okay. Well, we still have that Twitter. Stupid. <clears throat> we only had that Twiggy cracked here. It, in the end, I, I don't even have that many runes to worry about losing. Whatever. Okay. Well, we can do that t two more times. Let's be a little more careful. Hmm. But at least it, there is not much left in Dragon Barrow. Then I suppose y'all go to Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Should complete Sifra. That'll be nice. You can chill out there. Get up to Mog. Maybe try fighting him once. Maybe. I'm not sure. Well, I would want Body Helix, which at that point... Mark him for later and then go to Altus after that. So... Hmm. This is weirdly finicky. So jumping down like I did before is not going to work. Presumably. Where are my... Where are my runes? Are they up there? They're... What? Oh, because... Right, because they used the... Twiggy cracked tier to... That's right. Okay, I... What? Huh? That's so stupid. Okay. This remains the absolute dumbest... Hmm. At least I'm not losing a Lunar to this. Hmm. Actually, just outright despicable. It. I'd like to say that Frenzied Flame Prescription cannot be worse than this, but there's a very real chance that it can. You know, just imagine more. Just those jumps, but more of them. Probably what's going to be like. Okay. But the fact that I couldn't stay on that branch was actually hellish. Okay, cool. And so how then do I... How did I survive that fall in the first place? I... Hmm. Can I jump down here? Okay, this is actually vile. Okay. You have got to be kidding. What is it even? Why is it like this? I... I would guess I need to just run and jump from here. And just book it and hope that... Yeah, that was necessary, but... Hmm. That is actually vile. Okay. So then, is this... There we go. Work our way down, get those runes back. Put on Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, and then actually, this is the kind of thing I can and should buff up for. Blessings Boon. I, you know, maybe. Don't think that'll do much. I sincerely doubt those things can bleed. Grant me strength. Take this and work my way down. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Take on the stupid golem. 
kill it and uh but we'll see how long those buffs last though. Okay. One two three okay. And how much damage from this we get? One two and oh nice, that was actually a meaningful difference. One two and three and there we are this should be enough i'm hoping go in and one two and oh my okay we're, we're close slam and mm, another another and kill there we go that was not worth it got a golem's halberd which well we already have one it doesn't deal magic though be cool if that one could drop a magic golem's halberd that was oh we, well Nice! I'll take it. That's good. Okay. This should be... A bit more. And... Not worth it. Do not engage. Yeah. Oh, and... Oh, okay. Oh, well. Oh, and right. Oh, this... That was just the painting guy. Cool. Ash of War, Rain of Arrows. That... Archery skill, perform from a low stance, ready the bow, burst of arrows in the sky, scout with the enemy with projectiles. It's both all bows. I wonder why they don't notate it as a gravity-related skill, honestly. And, oh, we... Right, we need to put on... Staff again, and at least it's not heavy load. Thank you. Go back around. Hmm... Well, we got that. It, we got what we needed, more or less. Hmm. So lens rise. Work our way up here. That's the Fulgur blooms around that little cemetery, and then I do think it would just be killing the black white kindred in there. I, in that case, maybe I'll just do that right now. If I do it this way, I can sneak up on it too. Sorry, but we do not have any death root for you right now. Hmm. Let's add. Flash should be. That's still good. That's more or less what I needed. So. Should be fine. My question is, what is... Black Blade Kindred. Kindred. Black Blade Kindred, Black Corpse Wax. And it... Magic, actually. Interesting. And then we'll stick with Scholar's Armament on that. Long time since. There we go. No, not Frozen. Scholar's, which is... Over here, right? Interesting how they group these... Hmm. Oh. Well, all right, then we got scholars, we got all these things. We buff up and chill and Oh he oh my goodness! I forgot I forgot about that. Forgot about that one. Oh my goodness. I'd have to I have to calm him down. I didn't think that would be That's something. Using his incantations and fighting with a Cincadea. Well this shouldn't be too bad. Main thing is, let's try to avoid accidentally killing him. Or deliberately killing him. Right, because after the fourth one, that's when he goes sicko mode. And okay, there you are. And Garog, Beast Corgiman, and Dodge. Can I. Bangs, I. Dodge, and can I. One, two, and. Oh my goodness. Alright, I. Presumably you would be weakest to. Slashing damage, so. Let's go outside and. Try that again. Hi, okay. Let's just get out of here then. Okay, good. Well, there you go. Hopefully you can trust that. Okay, okay. Walking your cats. That's interesting. This thing's boon. We'll put on... Scholars. Yeah. It's the kind of thing you would do. Then we win Grammy Strength. This NPC went crazy and I forgot about that. Or at least I didn't think it would happen. 
when it didn't as soon as it did, so I won, and eventually he'll calm down, so I... Nice, and oh, okay, alright. Not expect that to pancake me. Okay, and can I... Hmm, okay. Can I slash it? Okay, no! Okay, we only had to hit you a couple of times. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. Calm down. He's overcome by his hunger for death root. That's just a dagger. For him, he... Okay. Is there anything now that we put that away, or? Well, okay, so. Can rest now and bring him back. Okay, cool. So, is there anything new now that we've prevented him from going sicko mode? Or knocked him out? Be Honestly, it's interesting if we had to take him down all the way. Anything? Switch action doesn't say anything, so... Well, we don't have a death route to give him, so... It's not an option right now. Hidden path? Nope. Okay. So in that case, we will... Buff up, take down... We'll see him again later. Much, much later. We'll see what happens. And then, Skullward's Armament, but this... Black White Kindred is... Also something we need to fight. Another boss here, but we came here much earlier. And I just avoided this thing. It's too spicy for me. Okay, cool. Enjoy your catwalk. And can I... Thanks, and can I... Oh, good damage. Alright. And... Mm. Can I... Okay, and... Oh, okay, and... God! Oh, well, alright. Thanks. I didn't think that would build up, but I... Dodge, oh, okay. Hmm. At least I'm not... Dodge, okay, cool. And, oh, alright. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything is effective alliance for. Hmm. Hmm. That. Take this. Use this. Use this. Theory, it is possible to shoot the thing from inside, but the joke writes itself. Okay. And one. And. Well, okay, I, I'll write it. How did that hit me there? That level of ground travel is ridiculous. I, okay, cool, and I slam, and can I dodge? Can I again slam? There we go. Okay, okay, interesting. I dodge, can I slam again? Nice, there we go, cool. Thank you, and take the head, critical. Two, heal, heal, okay. And we dodge, okay, nice, and okay. Main thing is, now they switch weapons, so... Okay, hmm, interesting, interesting, okay, cool. Another end! There we are, we can finish this off with a critical after that crazy deaths and death tornado. Okay, nice. There we go. Nice. And we should get their two weapons, the axe and the sword, I think. Gargoyle's Black Blade, Gargoyle's Black Halberd. Nice. Okay. We have Black Halberd. Bronze Halberd, wielded by Valiant Gargoyles, medded with Black and Corpse Mech, Holy Damage, Mark of those who serve Malekith the Black Blade. Wonder why Garak is in here, then. Hmm. And Slash and Corpse Wax Cutter, Black Projectile, and deals Zest and Death Damage, too. Damage, Malekith the Black Blade. Alright. So we took that thing out. So there's... How much more left in here, presumably? What do you think? Hmm. We 
really gone through all that's relevant of Dragon Barrel. All right. Hmm. It's only 2,000 or so more. I tempted. But, yeah, sure. Get a level of arcane, everything 26 at base now. Hmm. Pull up, arcane, cool. Nice. Good stuff. In that case, I wonder where to go next. This will just work our way down and out from here, work our way south to reconnect with this area, and then cross the bridge, go to that little cemetery. And then I suppose it really would just be Mogwin Mausoleum. Hmm. There's also a little bit of... Hmm. Enemy. There are the bats down here who I mostly avoided. Who I'd like to actually engage. Just for posterity and to prove to myself that I could do it. As I avoided them going down to get the Cincadea. Which wasn't really much of anything, but. Also, the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, which I had. Dragon Crest Shield Talisman, which I have actually been using for a lot of time, but we'll go down, kill those bats, yeah, this is, you know, it's far Missoula style architecture, let's get up with it, and here we are, we can drop down into here, down a bit farther, go and kill the bats, which should die pretty easily to a frenzied burst, then next would be probably down here, Thank you. Cool. Alright. So in that case, we'll ride around a bit, find bats, and content ourselves with killing them. Doesn't seem like any of them actually show up on this upper level. Hmm. But it's really not as if there's anything I need it, but I need from them. It's a matter of personal interest. Okay, and we can way down here this way. That is more than workable. And we can jump. And oh, damage. How was I supposed to do that then? Maybe that wedge. Whatever. Come on, and it's like this, and boom. Oh, you're still strong. Still quite strong. Okay. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll take it. Actually, I think it might be. Lightning may well be better. We'll see. Hmm. Just kill a few of these guys and content ourselves with seeing the results of our labors. And can we... Yeah, that, it's much better. Lightning is much, much better against them. Interesting. So I suppose lightning, I suppose it would make sense. Lightning is good against aerial enemies. Okay. Hm. I'll take that. But it's, you know, you were supposed to be able to get down here with some trouble to pick up Sinkadea and the Talisman, given that it's a relatively weak Talisman, even if it's good for a lot of the game and a relatively weak weapon that just boosts bestial incantations, which, well, the joke writes itself. Which... And they do have strength scaling, which means they can... Claw mark seal, probably. I guess the question is... How much does the strength scaling count for if you were to just be leveling strength for bestial incantation? Not build, but have bestial incantations as an auxiliary. It we can do this quite easily now. Let's toss a couple of lightning spears at them for good damage. So then I what part next? I presume it's this ledge. Yeah, that worked. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. 
wonder when we'll actually get flash replenishment from this. Who knows, really? Point on my place. Alright, and there you are. That's a couple more. Thank you. It. Another sanctuary stone. Not a ruined fragment, but a sanctuary stone. Hmm. It feels nice to go in and kind of recapitulate all this stuff. Well, I can't pretend that it's taking all that much effort. This is going to mention a rip that down here or keep moving. Okay. So who else and where? Who else and where? Any other bats? Or... It's actually... It's a bit more here than I remember, though to be fair, when I was here it was mostly running away from the bats because I didn't exactly have a good way to take them on and I didn't have no good projectile. Not enough flash to use the projectiles, that's also for certain. Then... <laughs> Come on. And then we... Much more... Oh, there's... One just hanging off. That's fun. Can I toss that? And I cannot. Okay. Hmm. So killing all of these is not something I really care to do then. Just I'll fight the ones who I run into working my way down. Again, not as if there are any rewards at this point anymore, but all about posterity. And down there is is this the bottom? I think this is the bottom. I would imagine. Or... Let me see, is... Yeah, this is the bottom because... We have... This was the platform with... Talisman with the Cincadea and... There's beasts essentially crucified. That, that's something. And then, any more around here, or... that all? I think that's all, actually. And the one up there who I can just shoot down with a short bow or something. Get it to come down for lightning. Hmm. As if all I'm doing is trying to hit it. Just to wake it up and aggro it, the damage I deal is... Could not be less relevant. And where is my... Mm -mm. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. So you're up there, we can... Yeah, we could just use... The gray bow for this. Range should be good. Okay, cool. Oh, but using arrow's reach is probably going to be... Necessary for that. Let's do that. Go on arrow's reach. Bow effective range, and... Shoot. Thanks, and... Oh, wow! And that almost killed, too. So where is that bat? It... Okay. You know, I... I tried. Try to get some done, but... It... Yeah, it's not gonna be hittable for me now. It's not gonna go up and perch again, so... Don't really see what I could do to... Hit it another time. So I want to be silly in Trevor Dawn's room. That, you can see it squirming. That's annoying. I just barely see that being. I don't care. But I, I do care. I do care. Let's see if I can, can I clip its wing? I can! I'm goaded. Okay. It's back to the sanctum. Hmm. Bit of a crude way to do that, but whatever. So yeah, it... I wonder if I can reach... The... If I could go through ruins, ruins, ruin, precipice today, I probably could. 
It, I don't imagine it would take all that long, and the magma one at the end it would be a joke. Especially if I used Radon's Rain on it, which I probably would. But, we have a good weapon now. We have a really good weapon now. I like that. So, in that case... case how do I want to... Oh, and, oh, wait, what? Vulgar Militia with Death and Death. Excuse me. How does that even work? Militia saw. Long grip, vulgar militia, very effective at inflicting blood loss. Said to be used to cut up bodies to feed the militia. No first hand witnesses to confirm the dire rumor. Which probably seems to suggest it's maybe true. Because everyone just got eaten. Okay. Little pointy pillars over there. Don't see me much of anything, and that's just birds. Okay. Come on, come on. More vulgar militiamen down there. But really, it just... The fact that they get a special death and death attack is really funny, honestly. It's so silly that I can't even be mad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... It... Go over it and go for the pit, and oh, they got knocked so far away that they can't actually get the follow up reliably. It's interesting. Huh. But Flying Dragon Grail was over here. Let's try to not fall. And I killed it, he sure, with more. Using special incantations. Mm-hmm. I got that golden seed some time ago. So I think we'll work down one side and go back up the other, I think. Hmm. It's not that much around here. But if I Come on and slam. It is fun how they use the special incantations. And it I think it's only the ones here and in Forbidden Lands, because it Foreshadows their connections, too. Oh, and okay, we anti-air again. Huh. They were weeping, and we... Basically did an anti-air death blow. That's fun. I... Okay, I... Oh, alright, thanks. One, two, three... That was annoying. That not hitting was... Unpleasant. Okay. And we can... Thanks. And, well, we should have just jumped again, but... That pivot was nice. Physically impossible, maybe, but nice. So what all is around here other than Morgan Militiamen, one stone astrolabe, and thanks, and... So that left to right swing seems to go a bit... Right to left seems to go a bit lower. Left to right, not. I have not made use of Starlight Shards once. I am fine continuing to not make use of Starlight Shards. But... Hmm. Poker Militiamen here really are... Noxious. I, I will admit, it is cool how they have. That big Death and Death Slash, which is similar to Malekith's attacks, if I recall correctly. It's been a while. Thanks, and can I... There we go. Now that conserving stamina really matters to all that much, but still. And any... We got you over here. Hello. Big question is, when is it going to count as a group? And allow me to... Regen Flask. Hmm. It... There are just so many of them. That's the thing. So look like there are really items around here, or... Much to reward me for poking around. It's just... Congratulations, you had to fight vulgar militiamen, and oh my goodness, that's nasty. At least it, it's just holy damage, it didn't actually deal death and death build up, and what is interesting is that the baleful shadow actually did have a death and death effect, an actual death and death effect on the sword, whereas, 
And the... Oh, but that's right. The Gargoyle's Black Blade. It does. It has a pseudo death and death effect where it deals drain, but it doesn't actually reduce max HP. Vulgar Militia Armor. And... So is memory history. I'm talking on Sunk Watch Keepers. Since Battle Runs, Forbidden Lands. Century of the Dead. So I suppose this is... The prior of Battleground with the dead. It's, there is still some rod here, so it's probably Aeonia related, you would think. Thank you, and yeah, okay, fun. And uh, okay, we do seem to have a bit of. Oh my goodness, okay, heal. These guys are disgusting. Heal, and got. Yeah, okay, die, die, and. Oh my goodness. And having to fight multiple of those guys at once is actually disgusting. It. That's it, I do think, just because of how unique they are in a number of ways, they might be one of the better original enemies from Elden Ring. Because they're a bit patterned, I would say, after the Imps and the Thralls, but. Well, the Imps. Well, the Thralls, along with the Imps. The Statue Imps, Imp Golems. The Thralls from Dark Souls 3, but. It. Having projectiles, having, usually having bleed effects, makes them a lot different, and it means that the fact that you fight them in groups, when you fight them in groups, it actually does become rather painful. You need to watch yourself around them in a way that you don't really need to with others, and okay, that was just a, an animal. Okay. More over here, I, just another animal. Well, this is... okay. Hmm. We're here by that farm, Great Bridge. What is interesting is that this does seem to suggest, Grace being here, that you're supposed to work your way backwards. Kinda. Is that... Oh, there you are. Okay. Thanks. Cool. Die. This... Yeah, they're just not giving... not giving class. It's interesting. But farm, Great Bridge being there does seem to suggest that kind of supposed to... Oh. oh. Work your way south from Bestial Sanctum. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, and there you are. Thank you for your death and death. Oh, but it... It's an immediate... Inf I wonder what the mechanics are of the infusion specifically, because it's not entirely obvious. Mm -hmm. But, seems like maybe they do that in Jump Slash specifically when it's infused. That said, I've been killing them relatively quickly, so they haven't had much time to do much of anything. Mm -hmm. So in that case, we come back around and see what's here. Oh, but this actually does lead down to right where that... And that's Cavalryman was. What then and where? Hmm. Uh, three over that way. Twelve o'clock. Then the rest. All these giant gravestones with really not much. Presumably they might be the other beast maybe killed in a war. So now that Godfrey conquered sort of a bestial king. So, can I slam and can I one, two, three, nice. Actually killed. Then we jump and, oh, okay, thanks. One, two, three, and can we, very, very strange. I don't know what gives with, oh, well, it's probably because this guy was here then, maybe. But I get the impression that not all of them count as enemy groups. I don't have a group marker in the same way that a lot of others do. Right by that, and Farm Azul is over that way too. Alright, okay. Because hmm. we've been over there. Been over there. Hmm. I don't think I'm actually getting a map. The proper sense for Farm Azul. I think it just shows up when you get there. And, okay, there you are. Fine. And we miss entirely. Fun. 
Okay. And you are... Oh my goodness. I... Oh my... Okay. There were more of you. Dodge, dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. And of course there's poison you... Okay. Oh, they're poison rocks. Oh my goodness. You... Okay. Annoying, annoying, annoying. And I don't have flame cleanse me on right now. That's right. Okay. Cool. Getting close. And... Okay, we actually managed to hit. That's good. Die, die, die. How many we have it okay, amount of bolluses, so let's take that. Hmm. These poison stones are interesting. We can avoid most of them just by not walking on them. Hmm. But I They really, really, really try to get you here. Hi then, hi and okay. The damage of that is insane. And I really just have no... They haven't given me any healing back. That's insane. Okay. Still insane. Can I... Slam. One, two, and... Oh, well, we... Alright. Stay away from that and let that dissipate. Actually surprised I didn't get poisons. Wasn't be surprised. And there are more around here, so... Hello, then. One, two. Then, how many more? Was that all? I hope. The poison that got triggered during that one night's cavalry fight was not fun. One, two, three. Is that... Oh, well, there's at least one more. Fun, and... Slam. One, two, and... Well, whether that was it or not, I hope. But I can't tell by flask, because they haven't given me any. This reminds me a bit of the part in Dark Souls 3 Ring City, where you can drop down under the bridge to get Dragon Head Shield. Given that it is, well, there was a dragon here before, before I killed it. Alright then. Go over to the other side. There should be a few more. And if we're lucky, something resembling an actual piece of treasure. Thanks. One. Two. And. Well, we should have jumped in place. Okay. I. Do I hear a scarab? I think I might hear a scarab. I definitely hear a scarab somewhere. Hmm. Anything of actual value or note, or... That was a guy. Okay, and... Dodge. One, two, three. Oh, right there, so... Maybe some sort of bestial skill? Hi. One, two, three, and this is... Oh, it's a Somberstone 9. I will take that. There we go. Actually, very, very nice. That question is what I'll spend that on. I <clears throat> might be of a mind to use that on. Well, the seal is one thing. I, the main thing is I really should not have used. <clears throat> used it on Star Scourge because it does me no good. And there are other weapons I could have gotten a little bit of strength out of that seal, that the bow, the gray pine gray bow. It's sad. Can I get that other one again? I'm somewhere in Dragon Barrow. Okay. Go way down the bridge. Go to that co set of coffins and chill out. Hopefully there should be another in Mogwin. I know there's an ancient dragonsmithing stone in Mogwin, which is going to Bloodhound's Fang. Cannot be anything else. Well, it... Piercing damage is good. Bloody Helix is good. But Bloodhound's Fang is just... So ridiculously strong that... I do need to give it a bit of priority, probably. So that I hear another Scarab somewhere. 
That went down under by lens rise, right? What is... Wait. It's down here, or... Just check it. Oh, we got a scarab. There we go, good thing I checked. And what spell is this going to be? One, two, three, and... Jump, and... Well, whatever. Come on. Special constitution. And that... Special vigor of living build up a frost and blood loss. Gain intelligence, spell and heather wellness slipped away as civilization took hold in that. Okay, I guess. It's a thing I have now. Hmm. I got two golden seeds. I get two more. Normally I would get one more from this over is by that tree, so it's a spot I can use as a marker. That's where I've been before. There by the rise, over there by. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just these coffins, I presume we can desecrate another gravesite and go on to Moglin, which itself is technically another gravesite. Fun. Because it is a mausoleum. This way we got some things and it does not look like anything is act oh anything is actually here. Yeah it alright. Huh. Golden rune six, golden rune eight, and anything else of note or just a couple of crappy runes. Come on, come on. Hi. Golden rune, and then hmm. this I guess that was it. I, I guess that was it. We'll take it. Hmm. Oh, and so we did do this, right? So the only thing left to do, really, is use the Pure Blood Knight's Metal. Alright, audience grounds. Nice. Should be a side of grace in here. Mogwin Palace. Or... Mogwin Palace. We can use that, which is nice. Oh, okay. Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Hmm. Oh, we got a map. Map found. Mogwin Palace. House of Virons, in the lightless depths lies the grave of an ancient civilization. Is your Mog, the Lord of Blood, is building his palace to be the seat of his coming dynasty named Mogwin and whatever nightmares that may bring. Hmm. All right, and then palace, and now it says Sifra, because that is all of Sifra. Okay. There's nothing else in here, though, so I'm wondering when, if and when that will fill in to any meaningful extent. It might be. Might be Landell stuff. I don't know. Probably not. Okay, so this does actually start normally. Hmm. I know that there's a sending gate over in Mount Tops of the Giants that also takes you here. I think this is actually very close to the end. Yeah, so teleporting here via the metal is the easiest way to do things by far. Varre should be around here. This is out of grace, and this is Dynasty Mausoleum Entrance. Hmm. It would be possible to try to kill Moog, but without the purifying tier. Crystal tier it. Oh, they bleed easily. Oh, in exchange for building up blood loss as well. Interesting. Okay. Well, I... Alright, and... Can I... Cool. Alright, and... Yep, go ahead. Do your thing. And... One... Two, and... Roll, roll. Thanks. Bloody rotten corpses. Thanks, and move back. Go away, and such a low blood loss buildup. So it really makes me laugh. Mm -hmm. Assume we'd start over here, here. This is, of course, a faster way to get in it. Oh, okay, alright, and fun! Alright. Mm. Just let that happen. Who is going to. 
go sicko mode. Thanks. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. And just back up. Thank you. And using this just to disengage while doing damage is doubtlessly the smartest way to do things. And we can hit both. And we're not actually. Can't hit both. Mm -hmm. Hit. Thank you. Do that with relative impunity. I think there might be another set of grace nearby. Blood Rose. Fun. Okay. But it, it just deals very nice damage. There's no ifs and buts about it. But it's got to make sure that we w do not waste the opportunities to get golden seeds. It's a chance to get a second one. Condition than one that is normal there. Okay. And we can maybe hit both. Yeah, we can hit both. Fun. Funny if it bled the others too. Hmm. Alright. Just out of the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One slash and then. Bloodhounds, maybe? Sure. And that gets me out of the way of that. Cool. Nice. Hmm. -hmm. Jumping around. That's the question. Oh, another pretty big smithing stone. Yeah, we will get an ancient dragon smithing stone from going around in here, so we'll should be able to get some. Super stuff. Some plus regeneration. Eventually, it was one of these. One of these has to count as a group, you would imagine. That leads down over... Overlooks that. Okay. Mm -mm. Don't think you could actually get down there without dying, though. Oh, you could... Okay, well, I'll write it. Oh, okay. Fun! I... That was badly timed on my end. Okay. Hmm. How many more? The big thing is that blood loss is actually not that much trouble to deal with. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. Come on. One, two, and all right. Oh, that hit another one as well. Fun. That guy's got to drop a blood rose. Cool. Keep away. Thank oh, okay. All right. Kind of got teeth on him. That was interesting to see. How they expanded. I right. One, two, and oh, that was big. Okay, nice. I, you know, actually, we'll get a lot of chances to use staging boluses. We may as well. One, two, and oh, all right, and hmm, interesting. Not expect another runner. Thanks. Thank you. Explode again. Bloody rotten corpses. But it's is the question of how. Something like that would even work mechanically. It would have to be some kind of... It would have to be more of a swarm of flies than anything else if it were to actually build up blood loss. That is... That has got to be a golden seed. Which means I can't afford to pick it up right now. Okay. There. So I clear out every enemy and reload the area. With, uh, and then come back without reloading the area will be in good position. Mm -hmm. So... One... Two... It is cool that when things that don't have red blood experience blood loss. It's a different color. It's cool. One... Two... Okay. Thanks. Mm hmm. Very painstaking here, but it's necessary, I think. Well, you know, that's one fewer blood rose for me. Alright. Target lock, and... Oh, that... Oh, okay. Now I see. How much would... Frenzied Burst do? The thing is just not getting... I might end up having to use Starlight Shards for this. Not even kidding. And, alright, cool. Hmm. 
So just use Frenzy Burst to take out those crows from a distance. It would be nice. Does it mean I could go down there with relative impunity? The only thing I'd have to really deal with would be Sanguine Nobles, and even then... Oh, okay, and that... What is... What is that? That... Giant... Blood crab? Crab? Oh my goodness. I... This is a place. It's a place and I'm certainly here. But this is... One of arguably... Three areas you could argue are kind of the hardest, other than the actual, true, pure final area. And it would be this place, the mausoleum, as well as I... Oh, huh. That... What is that thing? I got the impression that it's probably very weak to fire. Let's test that theory. And... I... Hmm... Let's just see. Moglin, Palace, Slime. Red Slime, and it. What is it weak to? Giant Skeletal Slime, and it's weak to. What is it weak to? That means miss. Didn't do anything in that directions at once. Can't hit. What are they weakest to? And it's fire. Okay. Black Flame and Scarlet Rot. Hmm. Well, okay. Hmm. I guess we could try Blood Flame on it just to take it down faster. Hopefully. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four. Nice. We got Blood Loss on it. I okay. And these are slow. But, blood loss is the kind of thing we can rely on here. Okay, and, yeah, it... This is actually a bit like those pus of man. I mean, you know, the giant soul masses in New Londo and Dark Souls 1. That's what it reminds me of. And I... I would presume I can get another... Side of grace pass here, but the main thing is figuring out where the other golden seeds are so that I can avoid possibly. Basically, there are two golden seeds in here, but if you pick up one to reload the area, the other will disappear. So it's possible to get both, but only if you get kind of silly with it and just probably clear out most of the area beforehand so you can claim everything. Okay, well. The nice thing is that the explosions don't deal damage, so some blood loss build up. Mushrooms and not a blood rose this time. Interesting. Thank you. And none of these guys are dropping flasks. At least just, eh, I think maybe one of them did. But it's we are kind of in for the long haul here. It's something. One and when they die, they explode into a big blood loss inducing cloud, which is why I am using that backflip attack to finish them off. Which is slowly depleting my FP, but whatever. Oh, wait, if worst comes to worst, I can. These big crows in the blood swamp below that. I'm gonna try to snipe with Frenzied Burst because they reek to fire. But I think. There's a pretty decent chance that I might run out of FP trying to do that. But I could always just actually use my bow. So I'm not really that worried. Thank you, and... Okay, you see, there's inevitable blood loss buildup if you deal less hit to them in melee. Or at least, well, not actively trying to run away. And hello, hello. One, two, alright, and thanks. Cool. Do that on a couple of others then and thanks cool mm -hmm. take that go over get the other one take that so many of these corpses it's just i don't need to kill everyone but some of them do explode and that does give me impetus to actually do it well the other thing is just if i had i don't have any kind of aoe right now is the thing so really, if I had something like Flame of Frenzy, 
That would be very useful here, but I... Let me check my spells. I, I got Loretta's Greybow and that's it. I don't have any kind of AoE right now. That's something. Okay, okay, alright. And oh, these ones are stronger. Oh, okay. Maybe these ones are giant rotten corpses? Maybe. The other thing is that it costs a lot of FP to use when you're frenzying. Like I said, I'm in this for... The long haul. I can't afford to pick up anything that might be a golden seed until... Everything is dead. Right, cool. Thanks. Okay. I... One, two, three, and I... I can afford to just do normal hits. I have to be smart about it, but this would help consume FP. I have to wait and for Blood Wars to go down. And I, it's a whole thing. Okay, cool. But this is another location with treasure. Hmm. Gotta be smart about this whole business. And oh, actually, well, I don't know if I can actually get a backstab on them. Is the thing might not be possible. One, two. Three and oh well, all right. So this is the overlook to where we were before, and roll out of the way of that. Oh well, you can start like oh, and it makes it look a lot nicer into that weird red sky. Okay, fun. Okay. Hmm. Be interesting if that fire actually dealt void loss build up too. Presumably there should be another side of grace somewhat nearby. I'm trying to find it. Well, the real thing is. I need to find the midpoint. There should be a golden seed by there, and then I can just roll back. Maybe. It. There's a lot to see here, that is certain. It's an interesting place. A lot of these zombies. Hmm. Blood rose and roll, roll. Okay. So this then is. Stake of America, or... Clearly there's something past here. We had a fire. I can't take this. Is it going to be a sanguine noble, or... I'm wondering. It was... You'll see it in some time. I shot something with a gray bow. That's what happened. I, oh, wait, what? How's... Oh, it's sanguine noble. Okay, cool. And... All right, rush back in. And, okay, nice. Oh, my... Okay. That was scary. I- oh my goodness, okay. Well, alright then. Well, you're chasing me, so I can't actually... Well... I- <clears throat> okay. Oh my- okay, oh my goodness, I- okay. Thanks, and you'll- um, can I- Thanks, take that, and rush back in before we can dodge, and okay. One, two, and there we go, it's dead. Oh, and we got some stuff back, too. Exciting. Okay, I- Annoying, annoying. So is the merchant pass here, or which way? Uh, armor. Oh, here you are, hello. Must be a friend. Oh, yeah, it's here we saw, here's a customer. Buy an- oh, we got- we can buy some rune arcs. Nice. Buy five stone sword keys. Don't need these, don't need any of these. We, we already have the normal bloody finger. Drawing arrow, because it's Sifra, bird bolt, whatever. Got that, and it was really just the rune arcs. Okay, cool. There. Um, just apologize, very little offer. Because, well, he's kind of isolated. Okay. Keep on moving. Get past it. Oh, is this guy spawning infinitely? That is kind of ridiculous. One, two, and... Oh my goodness. Three, and... Oh, well. That was a bit much. Oh, but if... If they spawn infinitely, that is something. This is... Oh, a Lord's Rune. Okay. Well, I... Mm, and now we're... Now we're underneath. This is... Something. We have Blood Loss behind. And blood Loss. So I guess there were just a lot of Sanguine Nobles here. Makes some sense. Well, I... Thanks, and... There we go. Take, and... Move back in, and... That was stylish. I'm proud of myself. 
Okay. This is Smithing Stone 8, 3. So we're getting a lot of nice things here. This is... This is endgame. This is an, an endgame level area that we're in early to be silly. And one end. Can I go back? And, okay, my goodness. I, okay. We need to heal. Luckily, they can't heal in any meaningful way. But I... Can I... Spin and... Okay. One. Two and... Die. Nice. Okay, heal. Mm -hmm. We're dropping a good amount of runes, too. So I fought one of those guys in the Rose Church, but why are ahead? Other than that, hmm. weird place. So, go Sklavor, then behold precious item, bug oh bug. Huh. Precious item ahead, worry of wire. This is where I came from, or this presumably is the way to Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. Big question is, I don't think those nobles respawn. I should certainly hope they don't respawn. It did see Mausoleum midpoint, and let me just see where that Mogwin Alice. Where are the golden seeds? I. Uh, golden seed. Let me check. Golden seed. In Mo Mogan Palace, central island, southern part of the Blood Lake. Rocks behind the Sanguine Noble, near the Dynasty Midpoint, side of Grace on a body. And the Blood Lake reload, it will be gone. Picking both up without reloading. Southern part of the blood like and the Dynasty mid Mausoleum Midpoint, and those are pretty far away from each other. Okay. Central Island, Southern part, and... That's... Oh, that's pretty far. And those are far from each other. So that means is I will need to clear out the entire area if I want to get those seeds. But I, I do want to get those seeds. So I'm not going to rest at that side of grace right now. That would be a bad idea. And we... Seeing we noble, is that... Sir Albinorix, but... You know, I could just check the map. I will check the map. That... Rocks behind... The Sanguine Noble. Well... Hmm. So is it here? Or, what? I'm worried. Lots of Albinorix around here, too. Precious item ahead. On the Sanguine Noble. Is this a Sanguine Noble? Oh, there's an elevator here. Hmm. I... This Albinorix might be the death of me. Hmm. The rocks. Hi. So if we fight one of them at once, we can be pretty decent. And, alright, and... Okay, now they're all coming at me. Every single one of them. Great. Oh, and now you're rolling with spikes. Amazing. Thanks, and jump back and kill. Oh, well, I... That was some damage. Hmm. I... That would be a good idea to be smart about this. And just stay out of the way of that, and can I... Okay, cool. Take it. One. Okay, nice. And oh, okay. Well, I did not intend to do that. One. We'll let that happen. Three. There we go. And oh, we got their funny Albinoric blood. And mm -mm. how acrobatic. One. Back in for. A there we go. Cool. That means we take that, and then we kill a few more and for the location that golden seed. That is. That is definitely a Sanguine Noble. Can't be anything other than a Sanguine Noble. Which means we might actually like to buff up for that fight. One, two, and oh well now you're now you're active. I hate that. One and okay, cool. Alright, and mmm. Oh oh my goodness. Alright, okay, cool, and oh my okay. Now we run, 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 and oh god damn you! You've got to be kidding. 
That was so stupid. Well, it... Okay. Well, this is probably going to be the worst thing I have to put up with, so... We can try this again. Harry to Holy, if I recall correctly. I... Hmm. What I can do is go up here. So what this might be. Oh, and I wonder if there's anything underneath. Well, the big thing is I didn't pick up any of the golden seeds, so I'm not in a position to have to worry right now. Oh, that's just that's just the boss room. The boss room is right there. Oh well. And you can No, you can't see him. You can't actually see him right now. Here again, oh here again. Alright, well. Okay. This is death. Okay. Mm -mm. So then, we will go back down, try to take these guys out, and to get over there, not sure how that would even happen. Hmm. I do want both golden seeds. I don't need them, but the sooner I get them, the stronger will be, so. One, and, well, now they're, and the Sanguine Noble, too. And the Sanguine Noble, too. Amazing. And, move in, it's caught in, okay, well, Okay. Hmm. Wow. All right. So I. Hmm. The question is, how do I wear the Alban Orcs without wearing the Sing Me Noble over? Also. I gotta take. Some AoE. Honestly, I'll... We may as well try this. Okay. It's all just about... Pure AoE, that's what I'll do. Then actually, maybe I could try it here. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's actually buff up for this fight. That'll get a nice bonus from... Both of these, thank you. Then we like you'll flame them. We can do this while airborne too. Amazing, really. Okay, cool. Well I Hmm, maybe that wasn't quite what I wanted. Okay. Hmm. Well I I think Flame of Frenzy will actually still probably be a bit better. It's just that good. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take that. Should be okay working our way back now, but... The main thing is just, how am I going to get... through all these guys in a relatively timely manner? Oh well. Hi. Sort them one by one without attacking. Try to... Okay, cool. Just do that and... One, two, three. All right. Throw them over without aggravating the Sanguine Noble. I should be okay. Thank you. So you can fight them one-on-one -on -one without too much trouble, as long as you... ...them like this, and... Okay, now we got a number, but the Noble is still not aware of my existence. That's good. But if it's behind the Sanguine Noble, I would think it would be... Hmm. Come on! And... Oh, well, alright. One, two... Three, and come on, come on. I, all right. Hmm. And dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. And, well, now that guy's here. Now that guy's here. This may be a bad, bad news for me. Blood Flame Blade, and... Well, they probably have a Word of Blood's Exaltation-like effect, though, so... Not quite sure that's such a good idea. Okay, cool, and just Golden Vow. Flame grant me, and... Take this. And here we have it, we have our stuff, and just... Dodge a cut. Okay, thanks. Oh, well... Oh! Okay. Hmm. I should have restored myself to full health.
Well. I tried. Hmm. Honestly, I have... I have enough rune arcs. The strength I'll get from this is... meaningful. Mm -mm. Right now I could. The thing I could get from... getting a level from my... rune stain is... intelligence, which isn't nothing, but still. Level up, and... One more intelligence. That's fine. That. Some more defenses. Some of them. Hmm. Do I have anything heavier I could be wearing? I. Hmm. Best options I've got in terms of resistances. I. Hmm. Crucible Greaves and. Everything is worse but Pierce. I mean, everything is better but Pierce. She will take that. That. It's okay. Crucible armor is honestly kind of silly looking. Whatever. Heavy load and... Need to go... Mm. Twin Helm is... I look stupid, but... If I live, it's worth it. Better to stay alive looking stupid than die looking good. Come on. Come on. There we go. Go over and... Thank you. Cool. And... One... So, three, and that's a meaningfully increased amount of damage. I'll take that. Mm -hmm. And just roll. Thanks. Oh, well, we actually got a backstab. That's fine. And thanks. And what are you going to do next? You're going to... And roll at me and... Okay. Mm, but rolling towards them or even to the side, it, it's tough. Honestly, maybe that's the kind of thing I should be shielding. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Thank you. And roll. And okay. One, two, three, and... So now you're all aggro, but the noble is not. And this may be about as ideal as a situation could get for me. Hmm. Well, as long as they don't kill me themselves. That would suck. Buffing is going to be pretty crucial for taking that guy down. And, okay, cool. Thanks, we got that. And, hmm. Buff up to fight the noble, and can I, well, alright. Hmm. Maybe I do need a roll. I'm going to try rolling to the side for that. Come on, I'll have work. Maybe more of a Crimson Auric, maybe. Whatever. One, two, three. Just gotta be quick on the draw. Seal up, and then... Give myself every single buff I can manage. This... These Sangly Nobles are... crazy. Flame grant me strength, and this should be pretty good. Okay, and just go and charge and pull, and one, two, dodge! Okay, interesting. I don't like that. And ooh, blood wave attack. Alright, mm, dodge. Go in, okay, cool. And okay, nice. And got one. Go in, and thanks! Oh, and the blood loss killed it. Exciting. The blood rose. What's in here? Oh, it's a blood. They can create a blood loss inducing swamp. That's kind of crazy. And this is Golden Rune 13. The rocks down there are... That is... Yeah, that's definitely where the seed is. I can see it. It's purple. That's funny. I... What I could do... Is just jump down. What I should do first is test... Whether I can get down there and survive. Just run down into the swamp without reloading it. Now I can focus on other things in my leisure, but... It's it's interesting to be in Mogwin Palace this early. That's for, that's for sure. This... Oh! And, 
Somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone. Ancient Dragon Rod Smithing Stone, Drain of Color. Skill of the Ancient Dragon Lord, Hidden Treasure of Farm Azula. Special Armaments of plus 10. Ancient Dragon Lord's Seed is said to lie beyond time. Soon lightly twist time. Learning the creation of a weapon capable of slaying a god. This presumably would take an infinite amount of time to make a weapon like that, but that... Bloodhound Spang is going to plus 10. There are few, if anything, there are... That's basically the one thing that's worth doing that for. So right here we have that. Oh, but can I? Oh, hmm. Let's just jump down here and... Okay, so that's livable. The question then is, can I horse? Cannot horse. And where is the portion of the southern area that I could run through? It's something. I just don't want to die here. Hmm. Oh, hello. You run through. That's not it. That's... That's just a stone sword key. Oh, hello. Hi. And we... Oh, okay, cool. And roll, roll. Hmm. This is... Newman's Rune. Either way, it's not the seed. So those rocks behind there would definitely be the seed, so... Hmm, alright. And no horse. Come on, just let me use the horse. Maybe I could use it in... Farther back. Okay, because this was the muscle entrance. The rest over here is just more of Sifra. We came here, we pretty much immediately got the map. But... We got another Newman's room. No, this is a Lord's Room. Where did I get that? Grace draws up the inhabitants of the lands between true vestiges of gold. One who is destined to become a Lord. When the Elden Ring was shattered, all that remained was a dis distant duty. Lord's Room. That. Right, corpse in front of a pillar along the western path. Right, okay. So then, can I use my horse anywhere? Please. I. It's gonna take a bit then. Big thing is, I'm not sure I can... I don't think there's a safe way to drop down there. At all. No, actually, yeah, you can You can run on horseback. Once you get over here, you can use the horse, so... Just need to check and see... Where the... Oh, and a... Oh, right, I forgot! We got the Gasha Dokkan over here. That's right, okay, cool. Thanks, and... Just gotta keep on running past and avoid the- Oh! Okay. Alright. Well! Hmm. So these things, I think, might have a summer. Maybe. Well. Hmm. So I don't need to clear, any clear everything out. What I do need to do is be fast enough. Mm -hmm. Okay. Be quick or be dead. So the best way to do this would be Flask, Golden Vow, and no attention given to killing anything this is entirely about. I'm just rushing through as quickly as possible. Nothing else matters. And room, what tainted excrement, but... Huh? How did I get that? Whatever. Okay. Just run away. Um, yeah, continue shooting. Can't exactly hit me here, can you? And we got... Some dead crows. And then, over... Wait, what? Oh, because we're being invaded. That's right. We got those guys to deal with. Forgot about that. It's a good thing that we did this now. Nameless White Mask. Fun. And we immediately and Oh, okay. Cool. And so we have to... Oh, but we're... Heavy load. Right. Okay, so let's take that off. And, come on, you stupid. Okay. Come on, you... Okay. Thanks. Take and... Go back. Cool. Take that and... Oh, my goodness. Okay. These are basically just... NPs. Other versions of Varane. Okay, cool. Almost white mask has died. 
on the back. Oh, that's right. So eventually Varet will give us his items. Cool. There are three of them, if I recall correctly. Well, the main thing is the southern island over here should have location of the other golden seed there. Just gotta go get that. Figure out where it is. But, our intention is not to pick it up right now, because it would be pretty much impossible to. This is almost certainly it. Okay, cool. Hmm, alright. And that's I Bly the Blood Lake. In that case, I will quit out. Should be able to come back like that. Just check. Golden Seed. See, map link, central island, and come on in that. Hmm, it's not there. Near the massive birds. Okay. Interesting. That central island. So I need to familiarize myself with the geography of the area. Oh, it's literally on a. On a tree. Okay. Cool. And that to get up here would be that oh and we got another nameless white mass, so it's good that we checked out. Location first. Okay, cool. Where is the nameless white mask? Cool and alright, I cannot one. Two and die okay. Mmm. We dog, we dog. One two and Three. Okay, come on. Okay, heal. And of course you're over there, and of course all the dogs are also doing their things, and I, I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay. Come on, come on. Up. Okay, and of course you're using your swarm of flies, you mongrel. I hate you so much. Okay. Do not want to pick that up. Do not want to pick that up. I dodge. Okay. Thanks. Uh, can I... What is my... Do I have a problem with... I am at medium load, so I don't know what gives. I, okay. Cool. Thanks. And what weapon are you? You are using a misericord, aren't you? I would think. Okay, whatever. And oh my, what? What? Okay, more dogs? You've gotta be kidding! I, stupid! God damn you! Go to hell! Uh, why are there so many dogs here? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, these guys are. They're like farmer. Hmm. You must white mask. Northwest in the Bloodfield Lake. Okay, well. Full war surgeon set. There's a rune and a. Hmm. Some blood. Of himself. Avoid directing their attention. Geysers. Remain defeated. Do not to be killed at all in one attempt. Okay, that. Okay, interesting. Hmm. I hate them. I really do. They're actually just vile. Well. Put on. Golden Vow again for defense. And then. Snuff Grace. Praise the horse. Go. Okay. Go past the Gasha Dokoro. Giant skull enemy. Nice thing is. We're okay now. We can mostly just kite that thing. Shouldn't be able to shoot us at all. Yep, we have terrain in our way, so blocking. So this should be, if we sneak up to it, we can avoid aggroing most of the dogs. Fun. Okay. And now we've been invaded, so this is an opportunity to take out the dogs over here first. They don't interfere too much. Thank you. One, two, and nameless white masks. It's the other one. Gonna be one final white mask. Hi, hello. Get over here, you. One, and... 
Go back and... One... Two... What a ridiculous skill. And... Okay, cool. Thanks, and... Can I... Hmm. Thanks. I... There we go, dead. Okay. Hmm. I... And this white mask has died. Okay. So now I know what I need to do. Let's go down here. Get that one seed. Rush over to this tree. And it... We'll see what happens. It could easily go quite wrong. Here's our run. Didn't clear out every enemy. We are just going to... Hope it goes right. Mind here on these rocks... Just gotta drop down correctly, find a way to get through and avoid so the other enemies. This should be one golden seed. This is... Yep, we got that over there. So now what we need to do is find a way to drop down without aggravating too many of the corpses. Some of them will explode on me, so we just keep on running. And this is... Oh, well, I... Okay. This is also going to work, I think. Okay, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. And, hmm, all right. Hmm. Which way then? I, I worry. I worry. Mushroom. Just gotta work our way back to the start. It's the only thing at the moment. Right back to the start, and nothing else matters. Make sure that thing does not unload. Hmm. Okay, we're at that grace. We don't want to interact with the grace. What we want to do is chug my res flask. Chug my... Chug my... Golden Vow. Get on the horse. Pray. But both of the nameless white masks there are dead. I should not have anything getting in my way. Other than the giant skeleton that got summoned, which we can... Hide behind intervening terrain to avoid getting hit by. This should be fine. It should not be able to hit me. Alright. Cool. Be funny if it hit me from behind, but it's good that didn't happen, and it should just be right over here. And as you can see, it hasn't despawned yet, and let's make this happen. And effectively, golden seed duplication. We take those. So down over here should be one more Nameless White Mask. I'm gonna fight him real quick. That should make Varay appear, I think. Position where I can fight him, and there we go, cool. Should be fine, let's buff up again. Just to make it as easy and inobtrusive as possible. Make some time for them to show up. Okay, cool. There we go, and just one, two, three, Four, and me went the Ash of War spam. All right, and that we got the War Surgeon set. Nameless White Mask is died. White Mask, War Surgeon gown altered. Surgeon gloves, War Surgeon trousers. All right, so we marvelous success. A blood tainted excrement. All right, uh, brought the excrement of carnivorous beast. Went to the new dynasty. Half digested flesh. Dense colonies of tiny eggs of unknown but surely revolting origin. Burning White Mask, were Surgeons, Effectively Mercy Killers, right in the Zeracord, I think they were holding that too. Weapons of the Wear, when bloodletting occurs, it raises attack power and there is blood loss nearby. Of the Surgeons that were abducted by the Lord of Blood, none were able to tame the accursed blood, none but Varane, that is, though he was an exception. So then, he should be by one of these spots. And give us his weapon. Well, I... Hmm. Big thing is that the invasion stop after you kill Moog. So we had to do that before Moog. But that said, I don't think I will be fighting Moog today. Where's Varane in the mausoleum? White Mask Varane. He is in... Oh, Mogwin via Invasion, that's right. And then, Mausoleum Dynasty Midpoint, Corridor, you found it, on the four gas for strength. After you exhaust it, 
Body fingers and Vara's bouquet. Can it be respawn? Cause something completable. Ogwen Palace, but oh, if you go there even without doing the quest line, he's still there. And teleporter. Okay. So where is that summon sign? Oh, it's right there. Interesting. Oh, invade his world. Well, I. Mm -mm. Before I do that, I think I would like to. Turn my bloodhound's mate into a weapon to kill a god. I think that would be just fine and dandy. Using that ancient dragon smithing stone. Well, if they're dead, all the same, I have your arms in. And, and there we go, somber ancient dragon smithing stone, and that is some pretty phenomenal damage. 615 AR. No oh, but... Really? He didn't say anything about it? Oh, maybe it's because we haven't gotten through Landell yet. But there we have it. We have a weapon to kill a god. Can go and take down Varve. Should be perfectly fine. But... Hmm... I want to work my way back through here first. Hmm. We did that. It's a midpoint. So we can invade Varre now, which will be the end of him. We will. So the guy we met right at the start of Limgrave. Here we go, and let's make this happen. Feet White Mask Varre. Where is he? That's my question. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. Flame Brand of Strength, and... That's Cerulean up. You should be okay. You should be just fine. Where is he? Oh, hello! My Mass Barre, and... Well, I... Oh, huh. Oh my god, I gonna do this. Say that to you instead, and keep dodging. Okay. Oh, a knight of the dynasty seeks blood above all else. No matter where it be from. Hello, Varre. And you'll drop your weapon now. But to whom? I have given everything. I bet. Pitiful. Goodbye. Festering Body Finger and the Varve's Bouquet. And this is the only way to get that. It kind of sucks, actually. Still Mace, Charming Bouquet of Roses. Petals are sharp and edge, leaving the roses perpetually colored with blood. Flex White Mass Varve's manner of speech rather well, enticing in its splendor, but full of deadly consequence. Blood tax, blood of skill, granted by the word of blood, twistable power, for you thrust, rob the target of both their blood and their HP. Okay, then. Hmm... So it really is mostly just Mogan here, though. The Sangui nobles do have their own struggles that cause me. Mm. So he should just be gone now, I believe. Yeah. Go way down. Dastard ahead. Tongue ahead. Mm. Well, let's get to buffing and take down 
few more of these guys. Should be a few more nobles around here that I can blow up. Come on. It's around here, wasn't it? Hmm. No, there are other treasures to spot, so... Oh, do they not respawn? No, they definitely respawn, but... There we are, and can I... Thanks, and one, two, three, and roll, roll out of the way of that, and it's fun. Okay, cool. So, others oh, over here. And there you are, cool. And... Thanks, two, and dodge. Okay, I need a two... Three, four, all right, cool. Fun. Hmm. Try to always have our buffs equipped. Anything here or ambush behind? I think I might have gotten the Lord's Room there, but how many? Something else here, clearly. I. Uh, another Sanguine Noble? Maybe, probably. I. Uh, no, it's just a corpse. There should be at least a couple more in here. We're gonna work, work our way backward and take out many annoying enemies as possible. Hello, hi. And, alright. Die, and. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Die, and. Cool. One, two. Mm hmm. Thanks. Interesting. So then, that coin purse. So is that the Lord's Rune, or... Hmm. Visions of a head. Let's try to not die here. So what then was... Calmness, in short, no attacking the head. Aye, the best way to do this would be... Shoot Flame of Frenzy in the middle of this group. And... Hmm. It... It's an idea, but... Oh, they're probably a lot more vulnerable to holy than they are to... Hmm. Fire, given they are... Blood enemies, and... Mm, gotta wait for this madness to subside. Honestly, this would be a reason to use clarity. The clarity spell. So it would allow me to... Oh, come on. Come on. That's just... Ooh, blood loss on that, too. One, two, three, and we need more starlight in here. Okay. Hmm. All right. More damage dealt, the better. And out of the way. Hmm. Now we can try that again. Okay, cool. And just blast them. Thank you. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Blast again. Huh. Alright. Wonder what I might get for taking out this entire group of giant group of corpses. Oh, well, I got a one, at least. Hmm. Really just do I have anti madness I do have anti madness boluses. That's nice. I should craft more of those then. This is Yep, we are starting to deal enough damage to actually get kills, which is good. Okay. And, okay. Mm, we need more of that, right? Okay. Come on, give me more. Give me more flasks. And lots of deaths, lots of explosions. Good stuff. And, cool. Alright. Oh, but what? Okay. That was kind of strange, actually. Hmm. Maybe I'll go up on here so I can get the vantage point again. That's an idea. And boom. That was a pretty nice idea. Okay. Another charge and see how well I can. It seemed to work pretty well. Mm -mm. Slash and there we go. Cool. Fun. Mm -mm. We're pretty close to a level up if I feel like it. Thank you and roll. Hmm. Question is just... Is there anything else down here now? Didn't get any flask back. Oh, it's probably just... If you fall down here, you get screwed. 
Oh, but it was just a great ghost squabwort that was actually growing. Huh, okay. Raise the crowd. You know, I don't think I will. I really don't think I will. Hmm. How moving we've been through here. If we can link back to that side of grace, should be okay. Now this, it's an interesting location, but again, this is literally meant to be endgame. You get here from an area that is already a bonus area. And it's fun to be here, but it... I think unintended might be strong, but it... The way I went about this all was a little... A little silly. Okay. Cool. And we... There we have it. Where are you? And... Crush. One. Two. And, okay, alright. One. Two. Okay, alright. Thanks. Cool. And give me some of that. Got one of those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Starlight. Starlight. And... Over there, we can probably get another kill in the time we have. Using this, grab me strength, and how much more I... Hmm. Those fully charged charge heavies are useful there, for sure. So then, hello. When and where? When and where are you going to show up? I... okay. You have to come from the other direction. It would make some sense. It was somewhat directional, maybe. I, well, if that was it, I'll take it. Not gonna, not gonna complain about things being a little less painful than I expected. We have them. Let's, some of these. Let's see what this is. This is a blood rose. Hmm. All right. Main thing is, there's stuff over here, and I'm not sure if and how I'd get to it. Maybe it's just terrain for the sake of terrain. Probably, honestly. How much will this steal? And it just isn't all that much. Okay, cool. One, two. One, two. Three, and all right. One, all right. You done it. Okay. Okay. Slash and... Oh, well. I am in a position. I could actually just use Stanching Poluses. That would probably actually be the best way to do this. Oh, okay. I... Oh, but... I actually rolled through the blood loss damage. I didn't think I'd ever see that happen. You can do that. You can dodge your own bleeding. Which is hilarious nonsense. And, hmm, alright. Slash, take you down. Slash, oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. Come on, you. Slash, slash, and roll out of the way. Out of the way, and, hmm. -mm. Stanching bolus is sure. I can craft more of these, can't I? I'm sure I can. And, alright, hmm. -mm. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of mushrooms and a decent amount of runes. We'll, we'll take that. We'll take it. One, two, three, and roll. One, two, three, roll. Hmm. Take. One, two, three, roll. Okay. What I could do actually is. It's the one that. Focus, robustness. Mmm, I don't get one that has robustness. Right now, at least, but. Get that right now, and that will help us a lot with our blood loss and build up resistance. And that. Oh, and that's just Sifra over there. That's right. We're actually facing right over there. We just can't see it through the mausoleum, but that was where we teleported to. To fight that one crucible knight. That's right. Cool. Alright, then we can afford to be a little more a little riskier now. That's fine. Flame of Frenzy is not going to do it though, which is sad. Alright, cool. 
One, two, three, roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go way through. We already beat all the white mass as well as Marvin. So it's a swap, and then maybe I could. Maybe I could attempt Moog, even without without a shackle, without the crystal tear that prevents his instant death attack. Well, not instant death, but huge damage attack from proking. I deals fire damage, so I could actually maybe Golden Vow and various anti-defensive defensive capabilities, I could. Tank it. Tank its fire damage. It's an idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Stanch that. Yeah, if I had... I could have actually taken Vestral Constitution here. That actually would have worked. I... we could make... 20 of these accursed things. I'm not gonna be using Land Octopus over or Urban Cave Moss for much else. Okay, cool, cool. Thank you. Alright. Then we... Mmm, that builds up fast. At least the mist goes away fast, too. Two. Three. Mm -hmm. It. Getting both golden seeds there was incredibly nice. That's undeniable. That felt like a very significant victory to me. Okay. The crows over there. It's another question. One, two... Three and all right. Mm -hmm. Take that. Two, three and out of the way. And we just hit a couple more times. And thank you. Cool. Blood miss. Mm -hmm. It would have to be holy oe. I don't know. Maybe something akin to maybe special incantations could work. But even then, I. That's just silly. Some silliness. One, two, three, and... One, two, and... Uh, mm, okay. Slash it. Roll, dodge. Out of the way pretty much immediately. One, two, three, and... Okay, alright. And we just stanch with our boluses. And since we just crafted them, they're actually very close on the inventory. And Oh, well, that was a mistake. Thank you. Cool. Can I... Oh, I can! Alright, and it doesn't proc blood loss, but it didn't kill kill. Okay. Mm -hmm. Zombie, zombie, zombie. Thank you. Thanks. Mm -hmm. It is interesting how they have. They've got the revenants, they've got those who live in death. They've got these rotten corpses. And they've got tarnished. And all of them are entirely different kinds of these undead. Different kinds of undead. It... It's... I'm not sure how they keep it straight, or if they even do. It... That would be a funny thing to ask Miyazaki or R. R. Martin if I ever got their ears. Just... What are the differentiations? What are the delineations between the kinds of undead in this game? Just... Tarnished are immortal, sure, but lots of things are immortal in this game. Let's... Oh, right. Oh, but... Mm, it can't see me all that well. Can it even turn around? Well, okay. Cool, and... Ooh, all right. Oh, and it killed the other one, but... The thing is, we can use Blood Flame build up too. Yeah, trigger it to have Blood Loss. I wonder how much damage it would deal if it hit me. Hopefully not instant death, but you never know. Okay. Die Slime. Thank you. Cool. Then we... And lots of bones, right? Okay, cool. Because it had a bunch of things in them. And dodge, cool. Hmm. What about determines whether it's dodgeable or not? Might be a terrain question. At least partially. Hmm. I... Eh, uh, there will be other ways to kill those crows. I'll live. Maybe those ones are just slow at it? Maybe. Blood Rose, and okay, alright. Go ahead, explode on me. Or try to. So we're working our way back down, that's good. Go on the swab, we can again try to fight Mo again. Okay, alright. Mm. Okay. But it doesn't do blood buildup on enemies, and it doesn't even do damage, so. But yeah, so some of them 
just immediately start spewing and then explode. Some of them kind of sit down a bit before exploding. It's interesting. I wonder if that has to do with the manner in which they're killed. The big thing is, they don't actually count as undead. Now, things like a Whitney of Proper Death are not going to be as useful on them as a Mount Pike. Actually, what I could do is, if you back up, and just... No, even that doesn't really work. Not for a second that if I spaced myself very particularly, I could avoid experiencing any of the blood loss buildup, but no, no, not with this weapon at least. Okay, cool. One, two, and okay, alright, alright, thanks. Cool. Stanch that. It... I'm actually making a lot more use of item crafting than I ever expected to. A lot more use. Thank you. One, two, three, and alright. the starlight back on so we can see a bit better. I do like how it's not just the sort of bluish light that's in the rest of Sifra, but there's a bit of a reddishness from the bloodiness. That red crimson glow. Two, three, and... Well, that was, we did already get it. So... Probably some kind of rune. Whatever. Hello, hello, and can I... Yes, we can! Sure. And one more hit. Don't want to knock you off the edge. I want to actually get the kill myself. Hmm. Down there, that would not work. Bug ahead, huh? Then we, one, two, three, and all right. Mm -hmm. It would be funny if they could do blood wants to build up on each other and cause a chain reaction of sorts, kind of like the Mimic Tears and, I mean, the Silver Tears and Nokstella, the ones with lightning on them. There might have been some electric ones in Nokron, but I... Don't know for sure, and I would say probably not, probably not. Okay, dodge. Oh, okay, well. Ouch. Take that. Thank you, cool. And just out of the way of that, and thank you. It's not a bit of build up, but not all that much. Oh, then. One, two, three, and dodge. Alright, we got multiple. That was good for time's sake and efficiency. And I slash, and we got multiple again. Nice. Stanch that. Cool. Thank you. Mushroom, blood rose. Two, three. We're almost back to that one side of grace. What is interesting is that if you come here using the Pure Bloods Metal Proof RA's quest line, you get the map pretty much immediately because it's right around. Oh, well, that didn't even do all that much. That surprised me. I don't really need to worry that much then. Over here, it sends you around this way, where the map is pretty much immediately. But if I recall correctly, if you go in the, uh, the Waygate and Consecrated Snowfield, way away in the game, far up north, it sends you to the bottom right here. So you have to go through the entirety of the swamp without a map. Which makes me happy that I came here using the metal. Because it skips a lot of the really annoying parts of this, then. To end. The big thing is that the skeleton, the giant skeleton ghosts, and they're actually, those were in <laughs> Dawncraft 2, which is funny. They would show up in the nether, which is interesting because it suggests that the mod makers were kind of having the nether sub in for the underground areas in Elden Ring, which makes some sense, but still. But they would summon those skeletons, and they had, so they had all the Norics in Dawncraft, which is funny. Okay. One, two, three. Thanks. Cool. Hmm. Right. Shroom and Blood Rose. And work our way through the swamp and then try to take on Moog. But this is on try. And it... I think what I've got will do me pretty well, but we'll see. It's gotta have fire resistance before all else. Here we are, we can get a level. Level up. Get a level of vigor, always good. Yeah. Yeah, because since we beat Varvang, 
Don't have to worry about accidentally making anything disappear by being Moog now. It's all good and done. Okay. Check over this way and... Mm -mm. So that corpse was where I got the map from that guy. Mm -mm. Alright. So if we work our way backward, I would think it might be a little more manageable. I could probably take out Albinorix with summon skeletons before they summon the skeletons. Given that they would presumably summon them ahead of them in order to defend. Now I can actually use the horse too. I feel like it. I feel like it. What else over here? We got nothing really. Mm -mm. Let's see. Uh, try this out and... Hmm. We do have our map, which is always good. Kinda. There's a tree over here. I wonder if that has anything to do with anything. Don't imagine. There's no tree spirit here or anything, but some people have gone down there like fools, so. It seems. Another tree over there. Don't imagine there'd be a crucible night, but it's funny to think about it. Oh, interesting. I, all right, and can I want? Oh, all right, then. Okay, fun. And what? So who summoned that thing? Huh? Okay. We some close. That was strange. This is interesting. Okay. So actually, you know, Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength will actually... It's a hard enough encounter right here that I think I will actually buff up fully. Okay. Missing Spoon. Should be one summoner over there. Don't know how many of them are summoners and how many are... Just The big thing is... Should be... Should disappear when I kill these guys. One, two... Three, four, and... Okay, all right. Should... Yep, that got rid of one of them. It's nice. So then... There are others somewhere. Just gotta find them all before... That was good. That was real good. Can we... One, two, three, four, and... There we go. Cool. And... Gasha Dokoro is gone. Good. Then... Sacramental Bud, okay. Mm -hmm. Nason Butterfly, alright. Mm -hmm. That Blood Tinted Extrament and a big rune, too. Mm -hmm. I. Is it just three? Well, there was another right over there, but. Mm -hmm. Going back is helping significantly. And this way instead of ahead. Thank you. One and. Two and die. Oh, nice. The blood loss got that guy. Good. Okay, so. Thing is, making sure we do not alert the final one too early. We got it from behind. We should be okay, but which way is it facing? Facing over there. So if we can sneak up from behind or the side, we should be good. But I. Golden Vow. Zoom away more. Flame Grammy Strength. Okay. It. It's fun to have a buff oriented build. A build that gets a lot of. Get to use a lot of my stats here. One. Two and. Oh, that was not as good as. Hmm. Well, no, it's dead. It's dead. Oh, that would have showed up really far ahead, too. Interesting. Hmm. Well, that should be. Most of what's annoying, I would hope. There's those really annoying giant ghostly skeletons. Aside from that, I don't imagine there will be that much more getting in my way, I hope. So, that went pretty well. Having a plus 10, plus 10, 
Bloodhound's Fang solves a lot of problems. It. Oh, we got Formic Rocks, and this is another Rune Arc. Exciting. Hmm. So we got through Mogwin, I think I can afford to just pop them. Wouldn't imagine that there'll be much more getting in my way just in general. Skin Tone 7 and Golden Rune 12. I. Yeah, we we're in a good position here. So what then? What then? Do kiss Urba. I do kiss Urba. Do I? Maybe. And then this is... Oh, we got a little cave with Elven Orcs in here. What I wonder is, is this going to be a side of grace or what? Either way, I think... I could buff up here and I think I will. There... If I'm going to be in a late game area like this, there's no reason to not play it safe like that. And bring me strength. Thank you, cool. Some tears, and there we go, cool. One, two, and how much more? One, two, three, and all right. One, two, three, four, five, nice, okay, cool. Get some of that back, Elden Orc Blood Clot, Golden Rune, all this weird flash and corpses, all right. These weird tumorous gross. Hmm. Work our way around here. We can work our way back over this way, maybe. The thing is, staying away from those giant crows, most likely. They really suck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Alright. Cool. One, two. Good thing they're all pretty weak to slashing. Small size, and okay, one, two. Oh, you can actually intercept that by just attacking them. Fun. One, two, and okay, I, okay, all right. Oh my goodness, okay, I, ooh, that almost killed me. Very almost killed me. I, I got lucky. I got quite lucky. Okay. In that case, we'll put them over here. Put on buffs. Why buffs? Blood Flame Blade. Old Words Talisman would be endgame, but to be really, really good. It just increases buff duration by about 40%, which is really, really nice. Should be more cookbooks in here, presumably. Uh, okay, nice. And can I one dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. All right, and die, die. And hmm. that was probably a bad idea, but if it worked, it worked. Okay, cool. And then, another group to reapply flame. We actually still had it on, but there's no reason not to reapply it. Hello, then. Hi. One, two, three, and. Can I? One, and. Two, three. Didn't do all that much damage, so. Intercepting it is the move. Okay. Hmm. The way around. Starlight again. I wonder if there's something like a bloody Miranda flower around here. I could see that. See that being a thing. Hmm. Would it? And part of it is the fact that I have been focusing on rune acquisition this whole playthrough, but Heroes Rune 3. Oh, I haven't gotten a single Heroes Rune at all. Heroes who walked the battlefield abundantly blessed by the Earth Tree itself, upon earning their honor, simply died. That. It's a bit funnier than they probably intended it to be. Maybe they did intend it to be funny. They honestly probably did intend it to be funny. Okay, Golden Vow. Flame, grant me, even though we need that. And oh, hello, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Come on, come on. Slash, slash, slash. Got a few more in here, presumably. Another glove wart was there. One, two, oh, there, there's a scarab somewhere, and I think it's going to give me, no, that was Swarm of Flies, that's nice. Blood Flies, Water Blood's Power, Swarm Blood Flies, Salt Foe, Damage, Physical, I believe, Bottle Swarm, Onset of Water Loss, Swan Motion, Palace, Water Blood, Swarm of Festering Blood, Set of Spawn from Extramin, that land, so is that poop? This place is so screwed up, that poop gets cancer. That's insane. 
so where is the scarab I'm hearing right now? Let's put this back up. Then... One, two, three, and... There's that scarab, okay. Question is, is anything gonna show up and attack me? We're of plump sort, we're of underground. So in that case, actually, the best thing to do would be hit this with lightning from a distance and try to... Yeah, okay, cool. Fun. Then whatever gets there, we can encounter like this. Ash of War tax. it was an Ash of War 2. Order Bodge, we still power for your thrust, capable of thrusting, colossal weapons accepted. Yeah! It seems as if poop gets cancer in this game. That's how screwed up this place is. Oh, but that, is that... Is that what's underground? Can I hit that? Is it gonna be an Albinoric, or... Gonna go with blood loss, or what? That looks suspicious. Oh, okay, they... Oh, okay, so they just come off. Oh, interesting. One. They don't even have an animation. That's kind of hilarious. Okay, cool. Any others, or... Is that it? Summer Smithing Stone 9. Nice, which means... I think that's going on. It's definitely going on for Dawn. On the line, Grey Bow. Hello there. Hi. One, two, three. All right. Get a bit more light. Here's Rune 4. Okay. Hmm. It... What I'm getting now, I should probably just cash in for levels as soon as possible. Because they're quickly going to sort of... Stop being as useful as they are right now. Hmm. Alright. So this then... Maybe this was actually the entrance. It's hard to tell entirely. Blessing Spoon. Hmm. I wonder if that's actually a crow or just the corpse of one. Golden Vow. Oh, and they're coming up now, out from there. And oh my goodness. A lot of them, too. Okay. Huh. Well, one, two, three, and we just gotta make sure we engage each one at once. Thanks, and oh, well, they actually... This kills easily. Okay. When, oh, well, all right. What? Okay. Oh. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So coming from behind is clearly the best idea, but the question is, what counts as behind here? Hmm. Cool place. It, not nearly as bad as I expected, but again, I am very overleveled. I don't feel like killing every single one of those skeletons again. I really don't. This may come as a surprise to you. It shouldn't. Alright, let's run as fast as we can. And they're back, which means skeletons. Okay, cool. Do your thing. This is where we were before, and can we... Don't ever get this, and I think this should be. Well, alright. Hmm. This may be sort of the way in. I think it might be, actually. I think this might be where this starts. And can I. Thanks, I. Okay, I. Okay, alright, that was vile. Okay. Huh. Oh. Okay, alright. Hmm. Okay, I. Cannot. The main thing is that I'm actually better off using normal hits than Bloodhound Step. Or Bloodhound's Finesse. Because getting out of the way actually hurts me. I actually want to stay close. So I can keep them stun locked and not have them just go sicko mode. Okay. But, there's not that much left here, so. The only thing to really do would be maximize my fire resistance. Try to survive Moog's big wave attack or just kill him before he can even use it. That would be really nice. That said, I doubt it would happen. I doubt I have enough capability for that. So, 
Go over, get my runes back. Hope that I don't die this time. Okay. Cool. Alright. Thanks. Alright. Fun and oh my what? Okay. Huh. That was also an option, I suppose. But they were all lined up. If I had had if I had discus of a light, if I had any kind of actual non-garbage holy damage spell. I would have made short work of it. It is kind of funny that you can't actually get any holy spell other than Whitney of Proper Death, which is deliberately kind of garbage. Until we get to Altus. Okay. So, let's go through here. Early Moglin is just funny. More than anything else, it's just funny. It picking up an ancient dragon smithing stone before doing anything meaningful in Altus is just funny. Blessings bone and take that. They're not really chasing me now, which is good. Take that. Golden Vow. Well, then grant me after a word from our sponsors. Okay. And then we grab this, rush in, and start cutting, start cutting, and die, 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 and thanks. Cool. We did it. Yay. Okay. It's all over here, then. Blood Rose, and this is, I think, the approach. Smithing to 6. Cool. I want some light. Hmm. I, I think this was the intended method of entrance, but it's a normal Albinoric. It's kind of sad. Okay, cool. Yeah, because the others are much, much stronger, but that was one who I suppose was not able to accept the cursed blood and therefore did not gain the strength that Moe would have granted. Okay, and anything over here, or... What is this? This is... Nothing! Okay. What's... This is actually a place where we can farm enemies pretty easily. Oh, very weak to holy, so you can actually... It's a pretty popular farming spot where you go in and just... Oh, okay, cool. Block that, why don't you? Mm -hmm. Come on. Use a weapon you get from the final boss, the Sacred Relic Sword, and unleash a big light wave that does a good amount of damage, for one. And it's all holy damage, so it kills Albinorx very easily. Just stand over there by the grace, which should be over here. And let's destroy these Albinorx all at once, more or less. Thank you. I... This definitely was not necessary. Well, I... They're here. Hmm. I... I actually am feeling kind of bad. Not bad enough to stop, but kind of bad. Okay. So then, here we have it. We have... The... Set of Grace at the start of Mausoleum. So this would be... Palace Approach Ledge Road. Dynasty Mausoleum Entrance. Dynasty, Dynasty Mausoleum Midpoint. Then, so this would be where I got... Where I would normally come from if I was coming here through Consecrated Snowfield, which is... Literally, endgame. And so this would be... Mm hmm. Golden Rune 11. Okay. Fair enough. Collect some Formic Rocks. It is interesting that there are Formic Rocks in Sifra, even though you never actually encounter any any giant ants in here. It... It seems like a bit of an oversight, especially since they describe Sifra as having ants in it. What up the Mausoleum? Which means we can buff up, kill those other Alvinorix. Go around, try to escape it. Oh, this was 
That's another path. Okay. Hmm. So in that case, I wonder, is this anything in particular or some kind of cave? Back around and through that swamp and there is a drop off here. That is true. And, oh, there we go, and I can roll at least, that's good. And these crows, hmm, it's not great. Let's put some buffs on and see how I can take them on, if I can. Cool now. Flame grant me strength. Hello, then, I, all right. Go ahead. Let's use terrain to make this happen. A bit like dogs, actually. Let's, oh, okay. Can I? Thanks. And swirl and oh my. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, all right. I, okay. Okay. My my lord. My work. Okay. Huh. Okay. I. Hmm. I could make this happen with. Could try fully charge heavy attacks. It's probably gonna be the best way to do it. Hmm. Well, let's get on horseback. I do not need to fight these guys. No intention of fighting these guys. Would only be a waste of my valuable time. Oh, oh, that was something. Can I? Oh my goodness, that really? Okay. Hmm. Go down. Hope they start ignoring me. They should. I'm not that interesting. Look at that. Honestly, sure. Let's get that up. Blade. Flame Brandy String. Take my... That. Okay, cool. And... Can I... Just... And... Slash and... Alright, cool. Can I... Cool and... Nice! Okay, so that is a good way to do things. Cool and... Can I... It's kind of hard to get that critical off. Well, we can... That worked. It worked quite well. And there we are. The giant crow dead. I like that. Those things are vile. And then this is Pneumatic Warriors Cook with 24 and that Swarm Pot and Rooked Fly Pot for Blood Wasp build up. Bastard, so to speak, Archer. Use that to. Oh, so you can use that to. Presumably to farm it from range by shooting it, maybe. Maybe get it to fly off towards you and hopefully die. Right. Blood Rose, just on the corpse. That was nothing special. Okay, cool. Let's kill some of these awful evil dogs. Thank you. One, and two, three, four, and five. All right, and can I? Hmm. Okay. Well, at least we have good poise, so it's not that. Oh, come on. All right. Hmm. So crow over there. The question is, how many more are there other than that one? I think there are two more. I think. So I'll try to be smart about this. The question is whether the stance breaks will be as easy with what I have now. If I run out of the... Hmm, run out of that effect. Hmm, run out of the stance break boost effect from my flask right now. Okay. Go over, we take you out. And try to dog, dog. And so those are all gone, which is good, but... Aside from that, I also right. We should put this back on. Physical damage negation. So it's all physical again. Okay. Hmm. Over here we have more of that crow garbage. Awesome. Not really. Hmm. Just gotta figure out where the blood geysers are. Blessing's boon. And blood flame blade. Then, Golden Vow, and... Okay, those are just geysers right here, presumably. But... 
other things in the middle of that way that I worry about. But can I sneak up on you and get a fully charged heavy? Yeah, I think. And thanks, and can I? Cool, and there were, oh my, okay, no, we got that. Oh, the damage from Bloodfoot did it, I think. Can I, one, two, and now we just need one more hit, and can I, die, die, I, oh my goodness, I, all right, I, come on, you, come on, you, okay, die already, die already, and, okay, okay, that was nerve-wracking. Golden Ring 13, and Hefty Beast Bone, zoom from that thing. It's funny to think about a bird giving a hefty beast bone. Just they're that big that their brittleness doesn't matter. Disposable weapons, smithing stone, and that. That is nice. That is quite nice. Mm -hmm. As soon as we get Prelate's Inferno Pajure, it is getting buffed up to a pretty high level. And, oh, right, we can get Pro. Amazing. My favorite. And then and that over there. Is that going to be a slime? I think that'll be a slime. Hmm. Oh, and then, what a last time for bird. We're flying boluses and... Oh, I'll probably work around this way, but... What a last was really good on it. That is... Undeniable. So let's try this again. We gotta sneak up. Blessing's boon. Try to get two fully charged heavies for a stance break, hopefully. That works. Now, flame brand new strength. Then heal up, just in case. Not heal up, but restore just in case. And sneaking should be fine. And sneak, sneak up. Doesn't see me. It's too busy eating something. One and can I? Nice. There we go. And oh, I can. Oh, interesting. Nice. And can I? Can I get that? Can I make this work? I one two. Three and oh my goodness! I okay. I dodge. Okay, thanks. I come on. One. Well, it seems to be very weak to blood loss. What's interesting is that it seems like the blood loss itself was doing stance damage to it. Not that I'm mad about that. That makes me happy. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. That was a little wild. And so, yeah, I think the only thing left to do, really, would be, yeah, take on Moog. Presumably. And can I... All right. That was weird. Then Beast Bones. Then something over here, which was... Okay, more raw dogs. Great. One. One. One, two. Oh, but I didn't have it two-handed. Is there going to be a bird here or a weary of dung? All right. Hi. Hello. One, two, there we are. One, two, okay, thanks. And this is four arterial leaves. Something incredible ahead. Why is it always grass? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you can even farm them eventually, but it's also just, why would you? Because the one thing you can really make with that exalted flesh is just, it's 12 faith for that on an infinite use spell in Flame Grammy Strength. But it's a little slower, sure, but it's more fire and forget for sure. Mm -mm. What is this then? This is Halo Drake Talisman plus two nice, and that's fully resistant to so that. That could be very, very nice. Ground Tomb ahead, and that is not true. It's an underground tomb, as in, if you fall in, you die, and you're underground. Uh, oh, and a, oh, okay. Fun. Alright, so, right, there we have you. Let's just get these up, and you're going around. Oh my goodness, that was stupid. That was really stupid. I, come on, come on, you absolute mongrel, mongrel. I hate you so much. I, oh, oh my goodness. I, what, 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 what? Huh? Okay. Alright. You know, I, I didn't expect that to happen. But I suppose that's just my fault for not paying attention. So the question is, how will I get over there without... Oh, without aggroing another crow and having to run from it and maybe get killed. Okay, thank you for Blood Dart. 
Jeez, how exciting. Yeah, there is not much left here. Okay. Mm -mm. Go down, we avoid... Avoid crows. As much as possible. We have to sneak around them. Stealth mission. Oh, and okay, right here there is something. This is rot grease. In here, interesting. Huh. This would make some sense. But in the DLC, there's some suggestion of some sort of compatibility between Scarlet Rod and sort of power of accursed blood. It makes sense. Hmm. So there was an item over there. Wondering about the crow and I. Hmm. Let me see. Golden Vow and. Hmm. Get that item in those runes first. Just ride in. The cavalry. And then that sensor key and a. Hmm. Where are you going then? Alright. And get that back. Hello. Use this tree maybe. Hi. Hello. Hi. Cool. And alright, we can swing and okay, alright, all right. thanks, thanks. Alright, can I swing and alright, nice. Just gotta go around and hit it on the head. Well, I okay, come on. Well it What is up with that? Repost spot. That what? Okay. Whatever. Hmm. So you got this thing at plus ten. That really, really is nice. Plus ten weapon before just taking on Morgant with a plus ten. Plus ten Bloodhound's Fang is going to be hilarious. Just being at level one hundred and thirty. Which is, I'm about the level I should be for this area. It's the funniest thing. But, mm -hmm. Go over, we got my runes back. We buff up. Take that. Blessings boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. Flame Brand of Strength. Okay. Cerulean 2s and. Hello. Fun. Get down here, why don't you? Where are you going? And. No, oh, but where, where is. Where is it? Huh? No, really, where did the crow go? I. Huh? Huh? Okay. It. Did it just vanish somehow? I guess. Actually, I could just snipe it from above. It's also an option. To just... If I get random runes, that would be my confirmation that it voided out somehow. Seems like it, it's got a long way to fall, though. Okay. But I... Mm -mm. That over there, but also... That crow over there, I... Mm -mm. Okay. Alright. Avoid those things. Just got you then. Mostly they ignore me, which is good. I do want to kill that one, so there's a spot I can shoot at it relatively. The other part of the mausoleum. Just gonna try some of that then. Hello then, hello. How do I? Hmm. Got a slime here. We got a bunch of Albinorix. So in that case, let's buff up again. Sings Boon. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Vow. Flame Grammy Strength. And... Alright, cool. We can... Lay into the slime. Actually, no, that... Oh? No, that's not a slime. So it was only one skeletal slime. I thought there was another that I saw somewhere. I can't be... Don't know for sure, though. Thanks, and... Can I... Mm -hmm. I have been... Kinda... Reckless here. One... Two and... Three. Big thing is... If I hit it while it's spinning, I can knock it... 
knock it out of its spin with very rel very high ease, but huh. I isn't there another one of the skeletal slimes or I feel like there's something I'm missing. Something I'm not taking note of correctly. And that just a hand. Skeleton oh skeleton, don't give up. Well, you know, that's its own that's its own decision to make for itself, I think. Got its ice breath. It's cool that it can do that. Fun. And uh, we should put some buffs back on. Blood Flame. It's funny how good Blood Flame is against them. Flame grant me strength and just could not dodge on oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Fun! Not really. Okay, and the fact that I can just kill. These really are the closest things to bone wheels in this game, actually. Not the rams, these guys. Because if you don't dodge it and just keep getting hit, and it doesn't seem like they do a lot of poise damage anyway, they can easily just kill you without many problems. Thanks. Two. Three. And can I... Mm. Thank you. One. Two. Three. And let's see what's on there. This is... Smithing Stone 8. That is probably worth getting, actually. Anything here, or... This is... Oh, nice. And this is... Blood-tainted excrement on the, on the corpse. The corpse... The corpse had poop on it. It was... It was a poop corpse. Okay. Thank you, poop corpse. And over here we have... More you, and I think that's... Everything in the mausoleum. It's just a couple of ones hidden underneath, but other than that, I... That should be everything. Oh, but Rada wanted to kill. Wanted to kill that crow, so I'm just sniping at it with... Orange eye laser should be more than enough. We'll see. Come on, then. Oh, I didn't even notice their hair. Huh. That just makes them more disgusting. Okay. Cool. And... Alright, we can run and... Thank you. Over there and... Mm, almost blood loss. Very almost. And then we... Should be up top here that we can shoot at it. I think. Presumably, I... Yeah, hello there. Hi. I just... Oh, and there's the slime. Okay. Cool. So I need to do some of that too, but... Big thing is, Golden Vow and... Flame Grammy Strength will... Help me out a good deal. And we can... Shoot at you. Cool. And... Alright. Great stuff. And... Where is it an... Oh, did it... Fall off and die? It... Oh, that's interesting. It seems like it voids out in a location that I can't really reach. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Big thing is the slime is here and I can't TP out while I'm by it. I'm gonna try killing that crow just for the sake of thoroughness and posterity and then think I'll try Moog a time or two. In the end, I'm not supposed to beat him right now. Well, especially since I don't have... That's good. Also go upgrade... The Dawn Bow, which... Might actually be... No, it's... The crow's still too small for it to be too effective. Hmm. Well, whatever. Okay. Go over and... Level up Redon, though. Should be good. Armament and... Well, I... I should still do this. Nothing else that immediately comes to mind, but... Uh, 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 uh. Might want to save that for Body Helix. Weapon to every damage type would be good. Iron Grey Bow. 
That's a little bit more, and here we go. Strong thing. Go back down to Mogwin. Take out that stupid crow, and yeah. That should be. Kill Mog, hopefully, and that should be. Decent end of the day. The funny thing is, killing Mog would also give me access to the little sea. Oh, also talking to Gideon would tell me about. Give me information. Could give Gideon information about the mausoleum, which would also give me a spell, but I forget which. It's nice to be able to get here right now. Mm -hmm. Let's try this out. Go down. Try to make sure it actually fights me. No guarantees. Get this. Drink. And something just died. Probably the one that explodes. Thank you. Thank you. And mm, we need that then. I applied the same buff two times for no real reason. Hi then, hi there, I. Okay, alright, and just can I Thanks and Well that did not hit. Can I spin it okay, I dodge, dodge, okay, thanks. I take that and can I again Oh my goodness, I okay, thanks, I I okay, and can I Another, and there we go. Okay, let's go for that critical, and well, we, whatever. Okay. Fun! Not really. It, the fact that they thrash around while they're downed to just make it even harder to critical them is the definition of insult to injury. I think that was the beast blood from it, and it is funny that it can go out of bounds without dying. It... It's a very Mogwin Mausoleum Giant Crow. Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum. It's just... I know it's Mog, but I keep saying Mogwin. Maybe I need... Maybe. Maybe I... Maybe I do need to be taken out back and shot. Alright. So we can actually tell him about that now. Melendale, Pets No Longer, Best Hope, ends. No, we can't actually tell him about Moog yet. Huh. So that would have to be after we can get sent an Altus, but... Go over, we can... Should I go up and see what might happen? So, if I'm lucky... We got Flame Drake plus two. Let's see what... Vanish Knight is my highest fire resist option. Then, Flyn's Greaves, that will probably be good. Then, Heavy Load, Heavy, Medium, Point Eight, or that Hood. Okay, and this is what we look like. Kind of stupid. Okay. This... Should be nice. Can see how well we can take Moog down. Fully charged heavies would actually be a better option than Bloodhound Step, but actually Bloodhound Step would deal more damage then. I think it could still stagger. We'll see. Don't say mean things about yourself. There's clearly nothing down there, but I you know, there, there's nothing down there, right? I hope. Okay. Go in, we buff up. We have a brief rest by the head. Behold, Sinner. Okay. Let's put some buffs on. Walk in. We should get a cutscene, presumably. Blood Flame. Golden Bow. And some Grammy Strength. Take that up. And physic flask, cool. All right, walk in and there we are. We got our cutscene, but our buff timer should not deplete.
That's the hand of Mikola, who we'll see again. TLC is all about him. Blood there. <laughs> oh. Mm. Is that going to summon Moog? I actually haven't seen this cutscene. Talk about a dramatic entrance. The funny thing about this guy is that if you look under his model, underneath his robes, if you look under this guy's robes, he's just wearing Nicola. a vest and shirt and pants. Nicola. Could try a rune arc here, maybe. Bit of additional damage, maybe. Welcome, honored the guest, to the birthplace of our dynasty. So this guy, like Margaret, is an omen. Let's take him down. All right then. Hello. Let's see how well we can. Nice and okay. Mm, ooh, interesting. That was something. Okay, cool, and ooh, oh, oh my goodness, I, wow! Ooh, okay. Hmm. This, hmm, okay. I, I think it's gonna, it's gonna have to be fully charged heavies, or maybe. Using Bloodhound stuff to dodge is not going to really be an option, that's the thing. I'm going to try to learn this fight a little. The big thing is, if I can find a way to survive the phase transition with a, without the special flask that just counters this fight specifically. Because there is a flask that counters Big Attack he does. Also, if you can hit him there. I nice, and oh, I, okay, all right. Thanks. Thank you, and... Oh, my goodness. All right, all right, then. Hmm. Okay, I... Dodge. Can I... Dodge. Can I... Thank you, and... Can I... Move in, and... Hmm. Thanks, and... Trace. Ooh, okay. And... Ooh. The damage ideal is good, but... Honestly... Uh, this might do better with a hammer. Let me check. But in the end, I could have. The main issue is that I kind of have to rush this fight. Oh, the Lord of Blood. God boss, and. Okay, so. Lion's Claw would work. He is the same amount of weak to strike. So. I think we will go with this and try to see if stun locking will do anything or even be possible. It It's strong enough and this is a great hammer. I would think I should be able to get him to stagger if I can successfully pull a lion's claw. I hope. Okay. Because at this point, hope is all I have. Hmm. It's all about mm, dodge and can I swing it? Mm, I okay, mm, okay, all right. That mm, damage there leaves more than a bit to be desired. I dodge, okay, thanks. I not slam it, okay, and dodge, okay. Mm. Huh, huh, huh. I. Probably just have to dance with the devil and use Bloodhound Spain normal attacks. It. Hmm. Or I could be really, really funny and just use normal hits with a great bow. Shoot him from a distance and avoid part of part of the equation entirely. I. I'm tempted. 
Especially since he starts so far away. That'd give me a lot of opportunity to just lay into him. He's not fast. He's not fast. I did not mean to do that. Shouldn't make a difference, though. I'm dying anyway. Take that. And Blood Flame. Golden Vow. And Flame Brandy Strength. Cool. Mm -mm. Fully charged heavy attack. Fully charged heavy attack. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Alright. Okay. Cool. Oh, alright. Blood Boon was a bit much. Okay. Cool and cool. Interesting. That attack is Blood Boon. And can I. Alright, can I. Slam and. Miss entirely because. Big enough that hitbox is pretty deceptive and got. Okay, dodge. Okay, dodge. Dodge. Ooh, alright. Blood Flame Towns is something too. Alright, I. Oh my goodness. I. Dodge, oh my, okay. Dodge, oh my, okay. Hmm. Hmm. I can be parried. Mm -hmm. If I... I'll do it before I hit Lando. That's what I'll do. The big thing for me is... I'm gonna try it one time with the bow, just to, just to be sure. But if I got and then just leveled Creolite's Crusader, that would be really nice. That would work very well. But as of right now, it's not really an option for me. Red of Blood Flame. Gotta love it. And can I? Can I? Nice, and don't- oh, okay. Thanks, can I? One. Two, and- oh, well, alright. Fun. Dodge, and- mm -hmm. Dodge, dodge through that, and- Dodge through that. One. And- Two, okay. Mm -hmm. Slash, and can I- Back in it. Nice, and- okay. Interesting. Uh, okay, alright. Mm -hmm. I- can I draw and can I Ooh, okay. Dodge can I There we are, we got that done. Let's go over and get a nice critical. Buff up with something else and can I Oh okay, so it just immediately does that. And can I heal, 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 and knee heal. Knee heal and knee Okay, well hmm. I could survive that with a different tier. Interesting. Okay. I... Okay. This is promising. I could actually live this. I've got fire negation on here. I've got you know, a good amount of fire negation. It's a shame I don't have a tier that... Well, the main thing is making sure that I've got Golden Vow up. I think that could ensure survival. Main thing is surviving the phase transition, and then I can take it slow from there. Mm -hmm. Defense, that'll stay up the entire time. And... Negations, that's good. Put one blade. Golden Vow. And Flame Grammy Strength, and this should be good. Yep. To take the guy down. The other thing is that when Blood Loss occurs in the vicinity, he does get an attack buff. And that might be an issue. So it might actually be good to proc Blood Loss as quickly as possible in order to make sure that we don't have to deal with all that much. And can I... Alright, and... Okay, well that... That's way too slow. Okay. Mm -hmm. I... Dodge... Oh, well, I... Dodge... Can I... One and... Well... Combo is something. This is a cool fight. I do want to give it a few more tries. Big thing is that... 
There's a tier that negates, pretty much negates a single hit that I do have, and that would be pretty useful here. The big thing is that I'd have to get through phase one without having the effect of my defense tier, regular defense tier, and that could be a tall order. Okay. Mm-hmm. Main thing is, the big overhead swing has a annoying delay to it that I don't like dealing with that. Dodge, okay, nice. The ones I don't go in recklessly, I dodge, okay, fine, fine. Dodge, dodge, okay, mm -hmm. All right, thanks, cool. I dodge, okay, mm -hmm. fine. Dodge, dodge, okay. It's the dodge times I need to get down. It's the thing. And I, mm, can I roll in and dodge? Okay, well, I did not expect that. Uh, thanks. And one. And dodge. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Take that. And can I dodge? Can I, thanks. Blood flint. Towns. Okay. Mm, tough. I, and got. Thanks. I. Dodge, okay, go cool. and thanks, and another, okay, and, and, come on, thanks, and, okay, well, I, mm. okay, we can peel that off, cool, well, we, we lived, we actually lived that, it's exciting, cool, golden bow, and, come on, well, I, okay, interesting, I, dodge, I, mm. dodge, okay, nice, mm. okay, and, dodge, and, come on, one, dodge, dodge, and cut, slash, and, mm, it is, it really is, I, dodge, and cut, I, dodge, okay, cool, swing it, dodge, and I, mm, okay, and, oh my, okay, all right, heal, and, got, oh my, oh my goodness, okay, heal, and, got, dodge, okay, I, all right, fun, not, okay, Mm -hmm. Main thing is, I need more healing. I... I could do this. This is entirely within my capabilities. I would need... Heal off a bit, but... Allocate flasks. Charges I... This should be good. I actually three. Three. Hmm. Hopefully that could make a difference, but actually I if I'm here, I'm putting on Opaline. That if I'm already back there, I may as well. This should be a configuration that allows me to take Moog down. Just gotta remember to do open line before phase two, and then I can hmm. then I could actually probably get some damage in on Moog while he's doing his phase transition back, because it does give him a lot of. Hmm. It gives him health back, but I'm not sure he has damage resistance during that time. Mm. Hey, Blood Flame Blaine. Golden Bow. Blood Blaine Strength. It's either the water or probably the fan. I do have a fan on right now. What does it sound like to you? That's my question. It might be the fan. It also has a good chance of being issues with... Okay, cool, and... Oh, well, all right, that was bad. Fun, I... And... Dodge, cool, I... Oh, okay, I did not expect that to hit. And just... Dodge, dodge, hmm, okay. Hmm. Dodge, okay, well, I... All right. Thanks, and... Dodge around, back, and... Can I... Race and up. Oh, hmm. Oh, there was a 
Oh, right. We didn't do that. Jump it. Dodge. Okay. One and Get it back in. Dodge. Cool. One and Cool. Thanks. Oh, oh well, we... Oh, we broke the portal us. It... I'm not sure what it would be, then. The only thing I can think would be just issues with heat itself. Because that could lead us in the level of corruption. And it is getting quite hot. Including the PC. The PC itself is getting hot. Okay. Well, I... think... we should be okay. Big thing is not wasting any of the Cerulean flasks. Not wasting any of the flasks. Where are my runes? I don't see them. They're over there. Okay. Whatever. Alright, and just dodge. Cool. Can I take and... Oh, well, I did not expect that to hit either. I, okay. Cool. Thanks. Side. Then... Can I... Sting it. Okay. Alright, and... Wow. Hmm. I think it it's probably a heat issue. My computer's had heat issues for a while, mainly related to it having too small of a case to really fit a lot of fans in. It's pain. Because when I picked stuff up, I bought a smaller case. Well, I ordered stuff online and got a smaller case. When I almost certainly should have gotten a larger one. Because I... What I really should have done is just, I don't know. Tried 3D modeling it to see how things would go. And just... Dodge it. Okay, nice. I, thanks. And okay, cool. One. It, okay. Alright. Thanks. I, okay, heal. Where are my... Okay, the right here. Okay. Fun. And okay. And okay, alright. And thanks. And can I... Mm, that actually worked. Okay. Huh. Sick that, and... Please, and... Ooh, that damage. I didn't think that would damage. Okay, and dodge. Okay. Dodge, and... Got, mm, okay. And... Can I... Dodge, and... Take down you and... Hit. Oh, wow, that... I did not expect... To take damage from that, but... Hmm. Main thing is... The annoying thing is that bloodstain. What I really should do real quick is go in, pick it up, leave, spend enough to get exactly one more level, and then just not worry about the bloodstain. So having to worry about the bloodstain is actually a real handicap for me right now. But I don't want to lose those runes. They're actually pretty, pretty decent amount. We'll see. Come on, come on. It's actually right over there, which means we can get in pretty quick. Mm hmm. He's not all that slow, though. I. Mm -mm. Thanks. And talk. Okay. All right. And really, really, you've got to be kidding. Okay. God damn it. I. That's what I need to do. Just spend all these runes and we've come back. Stop worrying about my runes. Just engage him immediately. It's something. It's got a... This and... Fun. It's got to quit out. Thank you. Go back and... Spend them. In conjunction with... A Lord's Rune or something. Which I need for one more level. The big thing is also... I... I should burn a rune arc on this, actually. I should at least try one. That basically 62. Hmm. 62,000. That. Hmm. Lord's rune and that hero's rune would be. That is bright. Newman's rune. That's basically just enough to level. We'll go back, level. And then the runes I have left are runes I can lose. That's fine. 
but you have to dodge through his blood spray attack a bit earlier than you would expect. It's a bit much. Take that actually with... Mm, we'll take mind actually. Just for the sake of it and see what a rune arc does for me. And there we go. We got a little more defense, a little more lots of things. Try this a couple more times, and if I'm lucky, Mobile will go down. And I'll have done basically every single thing there is to do before Altus. Mm. I mean, south of Altus, before I actually really meaningfully do stuff in Altus. It is really funny just think how much of simple this will be with... Well, I will be able to get more smithing stones there, including... Well, the bell bearing for five is in mountaintops, though. That's the thing. Either way, we should be in a good spot now. I think we can make this happen. Let's see. Blood Flame Blade. Golden Bell. We have a lot more... a lot more FP now. It's good. Okay. And we go in, we kill Moog, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Run in. Run in. I and dodge. You cannot mm -hmm. spin it. Okay, nice. And, and, and oh well, that didn't quite work. Up. Dodge. Well, mm -hmm. the timing on that is god awful. I hate that. I dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I? Thanks. And, can I? Dodge. Can I? Thank you, Ants. Nice, take that down. And not mm, dodge. Okay, well, I did not expect that to hit me. Dodge. Can I Thanks. Cool and dodge. Can I Thanks. And okay. Cool and can I Oh well, alright. Take ants. Do okay, thanks. And come on, come on, come on, ants. Mm. I dodge. Mm. Can I Take ants? There we okay. Hmm, I, all right, and heal, heal, and hmm, heal, I, dodge, okay, how can I, dodge, dodge, okay, can I, take you down, and can I, move in for a slam, and, okay, thanks, and let's just take this, and cool, heal, nice, take that, and heal, heal, oh, well, I, huh, I, let's try that one more time. One more rune arc. We having a kinda be a speed demon about it is not helping my ma not helping matters. Mm -hmm. One more rune arc. After that, I'm gonna have to try not wasting these things. Okay, Clean blade. But the two are not actually. Mm hmm. This is kind of weird. It sure did not meaningfully prevent that. I guess it bypassed it? It's weird to think. Well, I can shog Crimson and hopefully have that help. Maybe. I Dodge. Okay, well, I <clears throat> Thanks. And we got... Okay, nice. And... Dodge. Can I come down? Okay, thanks. And dodge. Mm. Thanks. Mm. It's tough. I, and I, thanks and go back in and slam it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Oh, all right. Thanks. Okay, cool. I, and dodge and get Thanks and okay, cool. I, all right. And can I take you down? And okay, there we go. We got that on. Nice. Cool. Cool. Take that. Start healing because now you're going to start kneeling. And knee heal. Knee heal and knee heal. Okay, there we go, which means it's time to buff back up. Good stuff. Um, sounds a bit similar to the Fatui theme, I won't lie. Okay, and we just gotta run and see how we can hold the valve, flame grant me. And cool. Nice. Alright, and cool. Run and dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. Dodge. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I don't know where I'm going. 
Okay. Well, not dodge. Can I? Oh, well, I, all right. Thanks. Not, well, okay. Not, run it. Dodge. Can I, okay. Run it. Okay. Cool. I, this, how do I do this? I, thank you, Moog. Word of blood. Okay. Nice. Okay. Cool. And all right. I need more of this. I need more crimson. Mm -hmm. Tough. Okay, Cerulean. And can I? Dodge it. Oh, okay. Fun. I dodge it. Mm, can I dodge it? Got things out of the way of that. Oh, please. All right. You, okay. Fun. And not really fun. Okay. I dodge it. Okay. I keep messing up that specific attack. Dodge it. Okay. Can I? I need to out of the way. Can we quit? Yeah, we got to quit. Okay. Cool. I. Hmm. We got close. We got very, very close. Big thing is, it doesn't seem like that one tier actually does anything for me, so... Well, I avoided death. Yay! Try that one more time. Got to second phase. We even managed to reapply buffs. It's just... It's that one to overhead swing that always catches me. What's really funny is that maybe I could maybe make it work if I use it. Shield. I hmm. Let's see whether strength dot or dex not gives me higher AR. Now it's six six seven. Take that. That's seven oh three. So three monstrous physic. Three versus that. The dex is better, actually. Okay. And it doesn't do all that much, but... Oh, no. Never mind. I should... I should, use, I should be using the stance break one. I'm a complete idiot. Right. There we go. This should actually be good. This should be really nice. It's... There are a lot of effects to manage in this game. Let's see if we can out heal Moog's silly kneeling. Big thing is, the more stance breaks we'll get, the more damage we can deal during that phase one, where he's less threatening, the quicker we'll be able to take down phase two. And then, if I'm lucky, that'll be the end of Moog. Yeah, I'm, I'm a higher level than I was when I beat the game on my mage build. Because I've been having Golden Scarab equipped all the time and using Gold Pickled Falfy for their buffs. Okay. Blessings Boom. Blood Flame Blade, and that should last the duration of the fight. Presumably. Hopefully. And Flame Brand is strength. And go back. Traverse the Mist. And cool. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna make this happen. Hopefully. It means nothing to me. It. It. In the end, it's not my problem. It. I try to stay away from things that are controversial. Okay, uh, and. Dodge. Can I. Can I. Cool, and. Dodge. Okay, thanks. Dodge. Can I go over and can I uh, dodge it? Can I thanks and stance break? There we go. Oh, got all. I think. Okay, nice and cool. And go in and slash up and can I? There we go and heal, heal and heal, heal and thanks, thanks and cool. All right, it's time to buff back up. And you're at half health, which is good for us, I think. Mmm, well, this is something. Let's just get some distance. Thanks, and dodge! Okay, cool. Blood Flame Blade. Dodge! Okay, well, alright. Fun. Not really yet. Dodge! Mmm. Okay, uh, again, I. Uh, always, always messes me up. Okay, uh, okay, Golden Bow. Thank you. Flame, grant me strength, and. Hopefully, um, okay. I, how did that hit me? What? Okay. 
Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. That's cool. Dodging. Okay. Wait, what? I. Okay, and. Never mind. Okay. And I. I. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Mm -hmm. And I. Dodge. Got one. And. Can I. Dodge. Can I. Blood flame. And. Cool. Just go back and. Thank you. I. One. And, oh, we miss entirely. But thanks. Okay, and. Alright. Heal. And. Can I. Dodge. Dodge. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Got only a bit left. I. Uh, what are you gonna do now? You know, Moog. Thanks. It. Can I? Oh well. Wow. Mm -hmm. I. All right. I. Dodge. Can I? Can I? Slash it. Okay. Thanks. I, dodge it. Got. Dodge it. Okay. Thanks. I, wait. What? Dodge it. Can I? Slash it. Okay. Ah, oh, we were so close. I got greedy. Mm -hmm. I. One more time. I can afford to spend another rune arc on this one. Okay. <sighs> Why do we need to rune arc up here? Cool. Thanks. Golden Vow. Flame brand me strength. Oh, we use that. We can use that to restore some of that FP, actually. That was kind of interesting. Okay, cool. Let's make this happen. Trying to run out of blue flasks. I dodge and okay, we actually managed to settle away at that end. Dodge, cool. One and can I and dodge, can I? Thank you, and can I run back and slash it? Okay. Dodge, dodge, okay. Thanks, you could take it. Nice, we actually broke the stance, which means we can critical. Critical, nice. There we are, and cool. Thanks, okay, nice, and can I? Thank you, and thank you, and thank you, and cool. Cool. He heal. He heal. Heal. You heal and heal. You heal more like heal. Okay, cool. And we got that and can we Oh well, alright. Um, not really. Okay. Which means we Blood Flame up, stay out of your way. Thank you. Golden Vow. Flame Brand Strength. And okay, well, alright. Thanks, and just dodge, dodge it. Okay, cool. Alright, let's make this happen. One and can I Dodge, can I? Okay, cool, and all right. Jump back and uh, dodge, dodge. Okay, well, all right, and one, dodge, take and can we, one. Oh, well, what? Okay, and need another heal, 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 and okay. Need to come on, getting close and dodge. Okay, cool. I dodge. Okay, nice and can I? Okay, one. Okay, well, I all right. Heal, heal, and you heal. Dodge, it got, okay. Thanks, and... Oh? Hello? <laughs> I don't have the tear, but I do have Moog's head. God bless. Moog's Great Rune, Remembrance of the Blood Lord. That's fun. And did I... Yep, and I did remember to use my rune acquisition, and it... And that's about six levels. Thank you. So let's go ahead and spend a couple of those, but... We could go to the DLC anytime we wanted, actually. That's funny. Okay. It's Grace Discovered. It's the Side of Grace. It's such a good weapon. Oh, there's Leda. Well, not my problem right now. Arcane and Vigor. And that's a bit more HP. And Yeah, well, the VOD will be up tomorrow. I can pass you, or you can get a beautiful, beautiful view. This is something incredible. 
Let there be joy, behold death. Beautiful, yep. See down all the way to see for a Hellhorn Grounds over there. Or Hellhorn Grounds up there. And you can see a bit of the aqueduct. Stars. Can't really see. No knock on or not sacred ground. You can see. Oh, that terrain didn't fully load in. <laughs> but yeah, that. That was nice. Just remember that. Cocoon of the Empyrean. DLC entrance is going to be over there, but before that, let's just go back to the hole. Yeah, I didn't need. I didn't use Moke Shackle. I didn't even use the tier that negates that stupid attack. I just healed it off and danced with him till the end. Good stuff. He has anything to say now, or he has nothing to say about Moog yet. You got to his domain and killed him. But still haven't gone through Altus, he has nothing to say. So in that case, I suppose the next order of business is doesn't really matter anymore. We could do Dactus, we could go through the Waygate and Deep Root, but go through the Ruins from Precipice, we gotta remember to summon Trig off at the end, take us up to Altus, and then I think I'll actually start with Gelmir Volcano, because the big ugly looking hammer I want is gonna be around this way. But that was that was tense. It went a little longer than I expected and wanted it to, but I Moog dead before Altus. That ain't bad. Thank you for watching, and yeah, Santa Ragon.